I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. F thing sucks. In five. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. I'm gonna come. All right. Perfect. Hail Gary, cheers to the chat. As better be their next meetup. He will be their next meetup, I promise you. If I have to go and kidnap his ass. Hi everyone, this is Az here from Heel vs. Babyface and I have here. You gonna fuck on me? Nobody's gonna fuck on you. Oh. Three hours later. God damn it. Oh my fucking god. No fuck oh no. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Friday night tights! You're about to get frost bitten! Get him! Fasten your seatbelts, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers, better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair and Julie, and that is just stopping you. I fuck you like you're retarded, because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat, I see you in the chat, hit an F right now, jerking off to your girl. Frost bitten. Go Frost! Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Go Frost! Why like tights? Get him! Frost bitten. Go Frost! Now press if you're not jerking off, I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. <laughs> I'll <say> Weird. <laughs> Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I am not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Yeah. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? <laughs> wow. People keep confusing me for free pubescent Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid transition. Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Why do like tights? Frost bitten. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily. Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pockets, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. <laughs> X-Ray, girl, she is a beautiful young oriental. X-Ray, girl, give me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-Ray, girl, I'm not in for you to 
just broke your chopstick tube. <laughs> you don't like it? Go somewhere else. Peace. Peace. <laughs>
Yeah, I am, but I think that's just my desire for carbs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, my mouth tastes like pennies. <laughs> like, everything smells like bread right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thanks for being here, Az. From your room, you know? Wow. Well, yeah, you could, yeah, you could have been Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we got another guy, Shad. What, to, uh, is, what, is it early? Did you have to wake up early? You tired? <laughs> Yes, I gotta wake up early, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know, it's loud. You're so loud. You sound. I, know, I can't help it. Sorry. I have to really turn myself down. <laughs> I got up at five thirty in the morning, a crack of dawn, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. And I feel really self-conscious. This, this my camera is just way bigger than normal, and it's. Uh, oh, you don't want to like, look at yourself, is what you're saying? Yeah, it's weird. Look I think you look great. Oh. Well, yeah, okay. I think well, you should get a little closer. closer. We get a couple like of Modocs yeah, in here. That'd be good. Down. Yeah, you can really. really. <laughs> we can yeah. see your nose hairs. Yeah. Okay. We are hearing that. Uh, Shad, Shad and, uh, Shad and, wow, we can almost see the outline of your sword. <laughs> uh, chat is saying that both of their audio levels are, are really low, so just want to note that real quick. Uh, uh, that, we could get that boost. Yeah. Oh, here. it's big and red. What was that noise? <laughs> so I usually want to get that checked out. I'm to have any boosters. <laughs> right? That's why he's not allowed to be here, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It's not. Yeah. It's not May tenth yet. So. Yeah. Or fifteenth. Uh, the the artificial That's, date that we. Yeah. It'll all disappear then. Happens. It'll all disappear yeah. then. It's, it's all amazing. good. Yeah. 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 We're good. We've it, done it. It won't travel anymore. Yeah. Yep. The science. You got to follow the That's science right. on that one. Good lord. Oh my what god. Yeah. It's, it's been a crazy uh, week. Uh, and we all made it here almost on time. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not even close to being on time. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, <laughs> no. uh, we yeah. had some technical issues, and uh, and we had to eat, to be yeah. honest with you. That was really <laughs> the priority. Should, it was really eat. the yeah. pizza. <laughs> you don't want a bunch of grumpy people on a... Oh, wait. We're like that anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you looked at me hungry, said that. Yeah. Grumpy people. We hungry, decided, we we no hangry people. After yeah. some pizza, Hollywood, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, not I think that's because Chrissy but. had the cheese pizza. But, uh, hey! but I will say, we did get some Papa John's, right? Despite the fact that there's no more N words at Papa John's, still the best chain pizza around, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. They know how to make a good pineapple pizza. They're pretty mm. damn good at it. Trust so. the Papa. I had a piece of that, Gary. I don't know if you saw. Mm -hmm. I had I had a piece of Gary's disastrous. It's pepperoni Canadian bacon, which whenever you get Canadian involved in something, that's not a good idea. Yeah. Um, oh, look at it. <laughs> that ah. is a lie. <laughs> right. So, and then what is it? Jalapeno, pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So I had a piece. I don't have any hot that sauce to put on it, but I, I, yeah, I awesome didn't shit. immediately want to take a dick in the ass, so it didn't turn me gay or anything. But <laughs> well, I mean, a, if, we're slow burn. if we're mentioning pineapple and pizza, <laughs> I have to give our, our buddy uh, Odin a shout oh. out. Shout out to our buddy Odin, Odin. Yeah. Uh, because oh, yeah. it Odin. will be official this weekend that mm. you will have lost, oh. and you were always going to lose. There was oh. never a doubt. Five months ago, I wow. predicted on this show that Mario would make a billion. And uh, so you're going to be enjoying some pineapple on yeah. pizza. When does he have to eat it? Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's going to turn him gay regardless. As soon so. as possible. Next, uh, next as soon as Friday Night Tights, I think. Yeah. I think that. Okay. I'll, I'll leave that one up to him. So, uh, But, yeah, Odin will be eating pineapple on pizza. So it'll be wow. official probably Sunday. I think the about Sunday. Yeah, exactly. I've never been any. rooting so hard for Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. Not since Donkey Kong, man. I think, Back I think in Kotaku the day. Team Odin. <laughs> oh yeah, Kotaku they didn't yeah. like it. They didn't get Zelda uh, Tears of the Zelda Kingdom. Game. Yeah, yeah. And because... once we get that bit out of the way, I can beat Dan Vass ass. So I'm. Oh, I can't wait. There we go. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, all right, Dan. Oh, Odin Dan. says, yep, pineapple Dan. pizza coming next FNT. And Ooh. say, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There you there go. You go. Your future yeah. is uh, your future is very gay now, Odin. So <laughs> there you go. We Next get, thing you know, Odin will be rocking sealed. Bon Jovi after he eats his pineapple <laughs> oh, and pizza. No. We'd always do a two for one. Him and, and his son both having pineapple pizza. <laughs> he he enjoys like it. The, the one thing we don't have to worry about for Odin is a man bun. Uh, what the fuck? I don't think that'll be coming up anytime soon. <laughs> it's practical. I don't know how many times I got to say it's, it's practical. So is a ponytail. Are you a samurai? What is literally? There's no difference between a ponytail and a man bun. Yes, there is. There is a lot of difference. Okay, I think one belongs on a woman's head in the 1800s and the other one is practical keeping your long hair out of your face. Yes. Oh. And you know what? Pony, you know pony gets sweat on that still. Oh, what's, what's one is that? also gay. Yes, yes I agree. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> lies, slander. I agree. We'll ask the chat. 
There's a poll up. Oh, oh don't ask okay. the chat. Don't ask the chat. All right. Yes. Don't ask the chat. Hey, the chat knows best. That's right. And they That's do. True. Unless they disagree. Oh, with I've me, got my feelings. Unless they disagree. I've got my <laughs> feelings on ponytails too. I, I don't think they're great, but they're better than man buns. They, they're right. sexually questionable. Man buns just gay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like, okay, you're if you're like working short hair machinery, and you got That's your ponytail why I'm going with, with hat, Dan Vask. Go subscribe to Dan Vask on YouTube so we can be <laughs> no, Barry. No. Need to get him to one million, okay? Where's, yeah, the, where's my camera? Guy, man. The, go subscribe to Dan Vask. Okay? Can we mute him? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Robert can take his seat. Yeah, yeah. We got so Robert Barnes is in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Robert, Robert Barnes. Shout out to Robert Barnes. Uh, we'll try to get him in here. We get a setup. Or if Odin keeps promoting Dan Vast, there'll be an open seat here pretty soon. Uh, Permanently. Uh, so, uh, you know, quarter uh, black. That's quarter, quarter black. black. Motherfucker just so, call me Odin? Uh, uh, no, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I all I see, with, all I see is a gay man like, bun and a pineapple yeah. on pizza eater. So <laughs> hey, all gay to me. I hate pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're here this time, Jeremy. How's it going? I am here, and this is an awesome studio, by the way. So, shout out to Sticky Paws. Yes. It's uh, super, super cool here. And um, Vegas. I enjoy Vegas every time as someone that doesn't drink, doesn't party. But I did spend a hundred dollars on slots, and I walked out with a thousand bucks. Well Yo, done! Nice. Wow! Congrats. Yeah. And, then, and then I went back the next day and Wait, lost sorry. most of it. Did so. you say <laughs> slots? Slots like did the slot you, machines. You spent a hundred dollars on slots. <laughs> well, yeah. I was I, 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 I did I didn't want to talk about our video call the other day, uh, Odin. But I kept throwing money at uh, Odin, and he kept uh, he kept just throw like he was like just show me some pineapple and I'll give you anything. He showed me his nipples, and I'm just roasting Odin all day long. I can't wow. help it. But no, as uh, as is missing out on the sluts. The sluts have been great here. Uh, oh, the, in, the, the, well, they have loose sluts and open sluts. <laughs> yes, so, yeah, it's really good. It was the Wheel of Fortune slot machines, though, man. They're like, yeah. It was just you, I had the magic. Jeremy, you you do know that I uh, I'm a recovering gambling addict. Yes. Are you no. Really? No. I I heard yes. about that, but I, I don't, like I don't know. I don't know. If Las, that's Las real. Vegas is probably the last place on earth that I I want to go. I had no idea. I think the best way to make sure you're over it is to test yourself. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's uh, that's why on the wheel of fortune I'll slut machine and make sure you have a chaperone. <laughs> that's why I used to be very uncomfortable about drinking next to Gary, but now I'm good because he is. Like, he's never tempted at all. As you said multiple times, alcohol was never his thing. So. No. No, there's a big pile of coke. I mean, like, this would be a good show if I did that. <laughs> and it just no shows also after that. Also be my last. So, Aww. there you go. Well, everybody loves a good downfall so they can see, you know, the rise. Yeah. You know what I mean? I It'll be kayfabe. People right now, it story. looks like people just look, love a downfall. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing, yeah that know. is true. Uh, but, yeah, we uh, it, it's been a lot of fun, and the meetup was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Gary, and, and it was awesome. Gary is a fucking rock star, by the way. Uh, he's He's... He's really close. He's really close to just disavowing all of us. That's how big of a celebrity he That's is. Uh, he is a big deal. But you should have seen the line for this guy. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was absolutely yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Um, but well, I get a lot of me. Yeah, hey, that, that, you're the you're the you're the guy everybody's asking for. Mm -hmm. I even signed your crack. As yeah, I signed your crack, and it was an honor. It was an honor and yeah, a privilege. I, I use this same principle on meetups as I do with women: treat them mean, keep them keen. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, great job to to everybody uh, in the. I'll give Garrett the fellowship. Everybody in the yeah, fellowship. Yeah. Uh, in the one nine nine, and uh, it's really it was really awesome though. So shout out to all of you, and uh, can't wait to do it again. So yeah, it's awesome. Good or the con constituency. That's what Robert Burnett said. You know, you have such a nice constituency. Uh, <laughs> very official. Like, wow, wow. they never. <clears throat> I don't think. So I don't know about the sound. Exactly. Of that. Yeah. Exactly. No, but it was cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll talk about that. I think it was really cool that Robert got to experience yeah. like what the fellowship, what we all are, and yeah. what we defend. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, maybe word will get around that they're actually really good people. For so. sure. We'll see. There's good people on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> a wise man on one side. So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, well, I'm glad to have you here, Jeremy. Yeah. You got your little Cobra Commander yeah. back there on the shelf. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Pretty things. cool. Yeah, I was at Super Nintendo World yesterday, and uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, Universal Studios Hollywood is is very – it's a lot smaller than the Orlando Universal Studios. A lot. Yeah. And Super Nintendo World is super cool. And listen, they did something groundbreaking at Super Nintendo World. All right? Now, this is – I. Don't clip me on this because I don't I don't want credit for it because it's Universal that did this. They decided we're gonna put Nintendo music in the Nintendo theme park. 
What? Whoa. What? Whoa. what? Whoa. I know. I know. I know. Like, so Disney. That's on the edge. I know this is like. That's catering uh, to bigots. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> but like not putting Nintendo music in the Nintendo theme park. I mean, who wouldn't do it? It's, it's like having a Star Wars theme park and not putting Star Wars music. <laughs> yeah. No one would do that. I know. Right? No one would do that. Well, like that again, except for Disney. Yeah. Disney doesn't cater to bigots, and obviously Nintendo does. That's true. So, yeah. That is very true. But yeah, uh, it was really cool. The theming is fantastic, and the Orlando uh, Universal Studios is supposed to be three times bigger in terms of the Super Nintendo world. So I'm looking forward to that. So, But thank you for hooking that up, my friend, Chris right. Moore. Of course. So, it's good stuff, man. Universal Studios has... The actual movie studios there taking up a mm. lot of the space yeah. that they still is, film at. So, it, well, see, no, it's true. The back lot is literally yeah. right next yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. You can sneak in from the back lot right oh, yeah. in the theme park. Dude, wow. I've done that. I went to, uh, <laughs> if Robert Meyer <laughs> B- Burnett was here, confirmed. he would be impressed that when the first time I went to Universal Studios, they were filming Streets of Fire. Holy. I saw Walter Hill from my Whoa. little part and everything. Nice. Yeah, it was wow. cool. A long time ago. It's like old people or something? Yeah, I have no I fucking know. idea what you're talking about. Yeah. You, uh, mm-hmm. Wait, I'm sorry, Walter Hill? You don't know who Walter, no, Hill, know Walter Hill is? You actually do know who he is. You, just you do. You've seen yeah. 48 Hours, right? Oh, okay. okay. Okay, he directed 48 Hours. Okay. Yeah, he's a great action people director. Stop. Great director, go. yes. Yeah. Chat knows who Walter is. <laughs> We're too young. We're too young. He's got to go back yeah. to nerd I've school. I've seen the movie. <laughs> back to nerd school. So, uh, Ryan, how you doing? You all right? I'm Get doing good. I got a little bit of sleep. For the first time, I got a little bit of sleep last night. I've been freaking hurting. Uh, my internet's been hurting. Uh, my luggage got lost. My fucking shower is either either ice cold or fucking hot as fuck. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong. But somehow, here I am. Uh, this Vegas trip's been a fucking nightmare for so many reasons. But for a bunch of other reasons, like the meetup, like Chrissy's show, like getting to hang out with so many people, yeah. it's been awesome. So. Well, let that be a lesson to all of you. Ryan, with all the bad things that goes on in his life, he still manages to be the most positive person on the mm. internet. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Keep that in mind, it, everybody. Man. That's we, inspiration we, right we there. We talk about it a lot. I'm just so good at so many things that karma has to come and just make a couple things in my life fucking utter dog shit. <laughs> That's how it works. It needs to balance out. Uh, how is the well, fast it, food customer service orders? been? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did any orders get messed up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I haven't gone out to eat too many places, to be honest with you. So everything been okay so far they did like i said southwest put my luggage in denver when i was supposed to end up in vegas oh, no. so Jesus. that wasn't super fun yeah but other than that uh, i haven't had any too big order screw-ups how long did it take you to get your luggage like 12 hours uh, like eight hours from when i landed to when they delivered they hand delivered it to my hotel wow. and walked it out to my room because they fucking they like, better. yeah, yeah <laughs> take the clothes out and put them in the drawers <laughs> I <should have> dress <laughs> me yeah uh before we move on, before I forget, we got to shout out Not Another Dime. Not Another Dime. Right, he bought, bought, bought yes. some rounds for it. Yeah. Bought Ew. some rounds again, yeah. again, for the third year in a row, bought a round for the entire fellowship at the wow. Millennium Bar. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks, dude. Wow. You that's rock. Awesome. You rock. Uh, and that's, uh, oh my God. Where's mine? Where's yours? It's, well, it's, you, uh, it's, it's in the mail. It's, it's in the mail. It's that yeah. custom. We tried yeah. to kidnap you. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. You ran away. <laughs> you fuck <laughs> on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but thank you. Thank you. Very good when I came out of that. So. How's it going, Comics Division? I am doing fantastic. Um, I'm happy to be here. The meetup was great. It's fantastic hanging out with all of you. And holy shit, Chrissy Mayer is funny as hell. Stop it. Seriously, I, I've been I've been gushing all over you all day. Oh, uh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not that kind of gushing, guys. Here you go, comics. Here wow. you go. We got, 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 got a in the room. Don't look <laughs> Sim- <Simple> alert. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, the wedding's on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> wedding is on. I have been gushing all over you all day. Dang, I'm feeling hot right now. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah, and that's I am, I'm a fellow me pass out. I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. But, no, seriously, you are one funny lady. Thank you. You know, first uh, time I, I actually saw any stand-up uh, comedian uh, live. And, uh, wow, especially a girl one. Yeah, especially Wait, a girl that's, one. That's what I, I was telling everybody that. Everyone's like, Chris is really funny. I'm like, yeah, and it's not even, like, just for a girl. Like, <laughs> Yeah, oh, like actually funny. Aww, yeah, I mean, wow. it, it was it was a good time, uh, but I was also pretty drunk, so that could have been it too. That always That's helps. True. Wow. Yeah. No, this is like the third time I've seen you live, and this was the best show wow, so far. Thank yeah, you. You, all all four of you girls were great. Thank the other one sucked. This one was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, those were great as well, but this was like even better. Oh wow! You know? Thank you. It was fun. No, yeah, it was it was really good. 
That's, and I've seen blast. your routine like a hundred times now. Couple. So, couple, yeah. yeah. I'm couple like, I gotta times. do it a little different. Gary's back. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because I usually kind of ask the crowd, like I'll jump around and get a sense of like what people's jobs are. And like that's how I know that the FNT fans are like just better people overall because it feels like every other person is like I'm an engineer I'm an accountant and I'm like y'all have like real jobs <laughs> like, not a barista a in here no you know? yeah. no it's not like your fellow comedians no it's not like in New York City <laughs> where <it's... laughs> oh god it's sorry really fun. not sorry uh, but no you did a great job it was like a second meetup so yeah it was so fun yeah. Well it's done, great. Chrissy Mayer. So yeah, everyone was loving the trans jokes. I gotta d- do yeah. more. That's the that, yeah. low there. hanging fruit. Yeah. Until yeah. they get chopped <laughs> off. So. Oh! oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Twitter, oh, whichever camera it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Twitter. Hi. Take, take, take yeah, a pic, Garrett. Hey. <laughs> Greetings. Uh, hello, Quarter Black Garrett. Hey. You uh, traitorous motherfucker. Uh, I'm, oh. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not leaving you. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm talking about damn vast. I'm not worried about Dave Landau. Uh, Oh, yeah. I'm definitely leaving you there. So subscribe to Dan Vask. Uh, Yeah, listen to that shit. It's been so much fun. Vegas, uh, third year in a row. It's been fucking a blast. It's getting better every year. I I think that it was busier this year, for sure, than last year. Oh, absolutely. It was insane. Great to see everybody uh, coming back. Same faces. Getting to hear, like, updated... Uh, life stories and the things that they're doing is so mm. much fun. Oh, and I'm, I'm seeing the light there, so I gotta. I'm gonna send oh, it yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. We did install a light that uh, yeah. tells everybody else when to shut the yeah. fuck up because Gary has to have the last word. That's, yeah. that's right. Uh, that's how we do things here. Yeah. He owns us. We, we, call, we, we call it the, Dave, the, well, we call it the okay. Dave Landau light. I don't it's really know why. Why do you think oh. Robert Barnes is here right now? I have very extensive <laughs> contracts for you all to go over oh. and sign before you leave. Again? Yes. Well, that's a, another audition. We have a couch out front. It's out there. That's right. <laughs> Damn sure have that. Oh, yeah, man. comics will be gushing over everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing. That's, Phrasing. Uh, oh, no. that's how you get the co-host role, I guess. <laughs> oh, showbiz. Hello, x Goo. Are you muted? Hello, am I muted? Oh, no, we no, heard you sneeze earlier. Yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she decided to sneeze directly into the fucking <laughs> microphone. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. I the most swear. Asian sneeze. I know. I know. Like, it was an anime, anime sneeze. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, this vacation has been an absolute blast, and um, I'm sad it's almost over. I feel like I didn't spend enough time with you guys, and Aww. it's because you didn't. I know. <laughs> 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 Not well. Like even at the meetup, I was like standing. In one spot yeah. for five hours, <laughs> and I feel like I didn't move at all. Is that what your parents used to make you do when you got a B plus? <laughs> Actually, it was an A minus. <laughs> she had to stay with her arms at holding books. Yeah. Yes. Oh. If it's not an A, it's an F. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm I'm loving Vegas. I didn't get sick. And uh, I hope it stays that way. You were very way. sick last year. I, yes. I thought you were going to say I thought you had raped. I didn't get raped, guys. <laughs> didn't get raped this time. You know what? That didn't happen it's either good, this time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are like, you sure? Like so it's many nice. things you could have filled in. in that story. <laughs> know, especially with that pause. The like, pause, you left the yeah. pause there just so everybody's like, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> I have some missing time from yeah. Tuesday night. <laughs> but comics hasn't that's more of the gear. Watch it, Kiwi. Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, Chris Gore. Chris Gore. What's up, hey. Hey. Uh, first of all, just an honor to be here and hang out with hanging out with Gary. He and I, I don't know, for some reason, we're like a buddy cop movie they would never make <laughs> when we hang out. So. Well, yeah, because you're too white now. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly. That's right. Exactly. Uh, they would recast me. Well, <laughs> and, and just hanging out with Mrs. Nerdrotic and just everybody here, the meetup was just amazing. Seeing also Comics Division, who's sitting on uh, two uh, long boxes of comics. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, up to the, no. I'm going to bust his balls. But, uh, and then Chrissy's show, second time I've seen Chrissy live. I saw her in, when she came to Pasadena. Oh, my. 
and it was a different show, completely different. She was it was amazing. Because it was and, in a theater with like seats yeah. and lights. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Lila too, the, your opener. Oh, God, she is so great. She's fun. Yeah. Oh, What's great her. about sharing a room with Lila? She doesn't take up very much space on the she bed. She doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, put her in a drawer. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> she actually just goes in the mini fridge at night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, just hanging out with everybody. Even last night we were walking up Fremont Street. I mean that street is wild that area uh, yeah, is just like I, I love it because it's like decadent and weird and you'll just like crazy uh a, a buddy of mine got like smacked by some dominatrixes oh just yeah slapped, wow. just slapped him like what for fun i don't yeah. know that can happen like, it was across the face you walked by just, so that was consent <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. exactly but no just uh I, i'm just happy to be here and hang and uh it was great and just the 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 fans it's just amazing it really just takes you back like because i just like hanging around like-minded people where we just talk about nerd shit like all day i don't even i don't care if we agree it doesn't matter um i love that diversity of opinions mm. and uh, i've always liked that so uh and, and the group when you when you meet them it's just a really like you were saying you know, not a barista among them. <laughs> Fuck baristas. Uh, no, but no. I'm, I don't. I mean, oh, unless they're like Chris Gore, them. I'm a barista. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. I mean, if they're hot. But also, like, just uh, no. Just like it's just a really good group of people. And at the show, Very smart it was, too. You can tell by what they laugh at, like how smart a crowd is. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, crazy. Cr Chrissy made a like legacy college joke. fucking joke, yeah. and everyone actually Knew got what it. it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. And then also seeing uh, Ryan at the show, you sat in the back, I did. and you still were not safe from Chrissy because I hid, <laughs> I knew what Chrissy was gonna do, and I just hid. I was like, I'm like, I don't. If she catches my hair, she's gonna know it's me, yep. and Chris, she's gonna make a joke at yeah. my expense. Chris was <laughs> slinking around there like as far low as he could get, <laughs> for real, trying, because yeah, he didn't want to sit in his seat his because his seat was actually like towards the front. And he, he told me, I don't want to sit in the front. Can I sit here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in the danger zone. Exactly. The whole front row, like uh -huh. actually four seats on one side of the front row, were were totally abandoned. So, Hey, like, oh, we saw like Roland that. at the meetup. I'm like, going to Chrissy's show tomorrow? Uh, He's all, hell no! Yes, he, was, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't there. I'm like, where's the ball waxer? And yeah. it's just crickets. I was like, oh, Dang wow. It. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chrissy yeah. didn't see me, but she saw somebody wearing my hat. I think that's how I made yes, it. Yes, the there was a yep. girl. I can't remember your name, but she had green hair, and she was wearing an RK Outpost hat. As like, green-haired right. anti-liberal. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. she's awesome. Oh, she's great. Yeah. And yep. also, then, Ryan sat next to this girl. You might want to describe it. She literally had breasts the size of pontoons. Jocelyn James. They were ginormous. Yeah. Jocelyn no. James. Who yes. is that? She's a, she's a famous adult she, film I think, star. She, I, I think her and Tiger Woods may have had an interaction. Or I mean, okay. she's <laughs> very sweet I thought it was lady. a mannequin. Comically large breasts. Yeah, yeah. So like, Chris you just, drew them. Chris, Chris, can I tell him what you meant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? So Chris just <laughs> texts me in the, in the middle. Thing. He's sitting like a little bit away from me. And I just get a text from Chris Gore. The woman in front of you has colossal tits. <laughs> you guys were in like the kind of VIP area. Yes, it was yeah. awesome. It was, I was with a bunch of porn stars and their boys. Yeah, stands for very important pussy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is like, hey, Ryan, I'm going to sit you next to all the porn stars. What you didn't tell me was all their fucking boyfriends would also be coming. Uh, <laughs> right. Just got to wait till they go to the bathroom, I guess. Well, yeah. Chris, I saw Attack of the Dog last night. Oh, well dude. done, my friend. Well oh, done. Thank you. So Fantastic. hopefully everybody will. We'll check it out. It's uh, available. You can rent it or buy it on uh, what YouTube no. movies. No, uh, YouTube movies, Amazon. Yeah. Uh, go to attackthedoc.com. But also, like we were talking about this before the show, kind of my just it's a thread and a theme throughout because I, you haven't seen it, Chrissy. You're in it like twice. Ooh. So mm -hmm. part of it is like you know G4 coming back. Like G4 really needed to look at the landscape, right? Because I believe my belief in this is it, I think YouTube replaced G4. Mm -hmm. Like it what did. G4 did, talk about comics, movies, video games, mm -hmm. tech, all that. That's on YouTube now. And people doing a really good... And you can find a person you like. Maybe you don't like this person. This person covers Marvel, DC, whatever. You can find your thing on there. And it, it took over, so... Yeah, it's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes from the audience score. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I just downvoted it. Yeah. I hope it's not from Pirate Bay or something like that. Thanks, Az. Thanks, Az. <laughs> no, it's, it's on Amazon, but they've said, sorry, we don't take down votes here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then you told them you weren't reviewing Rings of Power, and they're like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, all yeah. good. But that all means good. a lot because it really was like, like, I was a fan of G4 before I was on the network. Mm. 
Uh, and then I was on like a couple episodes of Screensavers and Attack of the Show. So I was a fan. I was there. but And everyone who worked on the doc, too, they're just all fans of it, right? But I feel like all, also there's like, uh, we're, there's like formats that don't work anymore for TV shows. Late Night is dead. I, I feel. Yeah. Can you even watch a late night TV show now? It's, it's not. It's like, not even funny. No, I it, haven't. So. Not, Forget not the fact that it's years. It's been years since I watched James one. James old Jimmy can fuck right off. Right. Yeah. Who <laughs> yeah. yeah. no, has exactly. cable you're, you're TV? You're getting Jane, uh, Gordon right. back. So uh, yeah, we're sending him back to the out of here. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is, Ryan, that plane's never landing. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. But yeah, man, great job, man. Thank so, you, thank you so uh, much, It was awesome. Jared. So. It means a lot. Yes, yeah, sir. we had a screening. Uh, it was, God, I've been here too long. Uh, it's Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we had a screening yeah, it was like three weeks ago. Like three it weeks ago. It feels like three weeks ago. It feels <laughs> like it. Yeah. Uh, and the Salty Nerd podcast put it on with the Podcast Brothers, and we saw Free Enterprise, and we saw hey. Attack of the Dock. Yep. Thank you for that. So it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. cool to see two like separate eras of nerddom. One was much more innocent. Yeah. And Attack of the Dock was of the like probably the best era of nerdom when people yeah. could take a joke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, America didn't have a stick up its ass, and Olivia Munn. So, uh, yep. which, oh yeah, the, the, there's a lot of Olivia. There was a, a lot of Olivia. <laughs> yes. There's a lot of Olivia in that dock, yes. brother. <laughs> and, and nobody's so. complaining. Nobody's nobody. complaining. No, it's yeah. good. No, no, it's really, really good. And I, th- I highly recommend everybody watch it. If you even if you didn't watch G four. It will kind of tell you what we're fighting for mm-hmm. and like why we do this because th- this shit used to be fun. We never had these problems before mm-hmm. until the corporations came in and started making these problems and then making the fan the enemy. Yeah. So I think it's important to watch it. It's an important film. Yep. You need yep. to watch it. It, it, docu- it. it doesn't just document Attack of the Show and G4. It shows how those things were taken over by corporation mm-hmm. yeah. and then manipulated mm-hmm. and completely changed and the fans of those the people that loved G4 and attacked the show completely disregarded yep. and moved on. So it, it also documents that. And then kind of like you were just saying, the end of it is, uh, is a, is talking about what's next. So please go watch it. It is has phenomenal. nothing to do with the fact that we're in it. Has nothing to do with the fact that we're in it at all. <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. There's, there's, all, it, it's there's so other good. there's other YouTubers in it too. Yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 and across all spectrums. Exactly. By the way, exactly. Yeah. By design. Spectrums I, I, of autism. Or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That too. <laughs> no, but just politically yes. all over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that was on purpose. Yep. So for sh- I. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not because Chris is like, oh no, these guys don't throw them in there. He's throwing a lot of different people in yeah. there to drive home a point. John Campy is in it. Let's just yeah, say yeah, it. Okay. John, John Campy is in it. Like, yeah. And like, yeah. let's be real. Like, John has a, a show that draws thousands and thousands of people, and he does it each and every day. Yep. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that, mm-hmm. that's what this is about. He he's doing the same thing. Yeah, and has been doing it for a long time that we're doing here. And that's mm-hmm. talking about entertainment from his perspective, which a lot of times we don't agree with, mm-hmm. but he's been highly successful yeah. doing it. And yep. A big part of that is because the mainstream continues to fail yes. over and yep. over again. Yeah, that's right. Yep. That is right. And on that note, subscribe to Dan Vask. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I need a mute button over here. Are we uh, done gushing we over Chris Gore? <laughs> I'm re- I'm rooting for Gary. Yeah. I want Gary to win that. Okay, bet. let's. Real I quick. do too, but Here's I like your, uh, trolling Gary on to his reset own show. the bet <laughs> quickly to reset the bet. Uh, uh, and and Dan, you know, my man. Found his manhood and accepted my my terms back. So originally, my counteroffer, because originally, I I didn't read it right. It's my fault. So it's, if he gets, it's a race to a million. So initially, sorry if you've heard this before, that's gay. Like that, (laughs) that is baseline gay, like racing to a million subscribers. That's horrible influencer shit. But since Mm. he's the one who came up with it, not me, I got challenged. I said, sure. Now, he said, if he gets there first, I sing a John... Uh, bon Jovi, so I can't even get it out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's bon got to be bad Jovi medicine. Song. It's got to be yeah. bad medicine. And I, I, I get to pick my own song. <laughs> Wait, you get to pick? Doesn't seem. He fair. didn't I say. I, he didn't say he picked it for All me. Right. Hey, that's the deal. Yeah. I say the and chat then, gets to pick. And it, then he right. like his his counter. And thank you for pointing it out, Ryan. His counter was like a second was video, weak. just saying it was weak. Man buns are getting on. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Gary would be doing like a three minute and thirty second karaoke <laughs> video, right? which could be embarrassing enough for anybody, let alone somebody that you hate, like an artist that you hate. And Dan's was like a five second. Men buns are gay. <laughs> it's not a portrait video, yeah. like selfie. No. And I'm not against me- bad medicine because that is 
It's trying to pick the worst of the worst. Like, all his stuff is shit. I just want to find the shittiest one with the shittiest lyrics. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be tough. That's going to take time. It's going to take, I might have to get a team of people on that. But, uh, Researchers. So he, Researchers. the counter offer was that he has to sing a song about man buns being gay that I write. So he Hang agreed. On, hold on, hold, I think that's hold fair. on, hold on. <laughs> Did you just say you're going to put more research into the Bon Jovi song than you do your own fucking YouTube channel? Let's <laughs> 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 like, roll back here. I have a team. I have a team. Gary <laughs> Beef. I have a team. It. It crack suicide squad. I might. To We're going to have to listen to all of them. I might. Bon I mean, it's competition. You know, you know, men live thrive off competition. Hang <laughs> I'm, I think the I think the bet is gay. But now that I've agreed to it, I want to beat his ass. I Absolutely want to wow. beat his ass. I respect it. I there respect you go. it. You want to beat his ass. <laughs> okay. Yes. I want to beat his Brazilian. Beat your dick into the ground. Beat your dick into the ground. The wooden paddle. I want to beat his Brazilian fake money, can't vote country ass into the ground. All right? Oh, but Dan, I, the offer stands. You can come in through South Texas. I'll pick you up after you get your free <laughs> bill and your free meal. Uh, there you go. Get to America. <laughs> Get to America. So there's the bet, and uh, we'll see what happens. The chat's just talking about all the songs they want. Uh, it's my life, bed of roses. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. It's my life would be good. Uh, uh, bed of roses. Would be no, really it's gonna be Dan good. Bass <laughs> singing a song called "Man Buns Are Gay" and so am I. That's that's what he's a, gonna be original, singing. Original Dan Bass, you need to win. Yeah, you need to win. <laughs> Gary, by the way, Gary, if you lose. I got a really good idea. What's that? Tr trust me. I got, I, well, I'm not going to tell no, it. Yeah, keep it. Okay, okay. It's, 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 it's a strong one, but I got a good idea for you. If All you right. Know. All right. <laughs> we'll talk You're about it. You're such a tease. I don't know, man. I just really want to see Dan Vasquez so you can sing. I really want to see I, it. That's what I want to see. That's <laughs> just, Gary, if, well, you lose, if you lose, Gary, just wear a T-shirt that says Dan Vask has a man bun and it's gay. <laughs> On the T-shirt. Yeah. 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 I think that is a new T-shirt. That's how you win. That's how you win. I've got all kinds of like... There's a lot of fine print that he didn't put in that I can get around <laughs> stuff, uh, which I'm going to do. Trust Good. me. Just you, you <laughs> don't make a deal with the devil, Dan. <laughs> He's going to AI generate it. Yeah, that's that's why Robert Barnes is here. He's going to make sure he takes care of your contract. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Oh, my God. It's been so much fun. The meetup was great. Uh, everybody, it, it was mind-blowing. We uh, Two weeks before... Our meetup, Garrett's all, hey, because we wanted to check on the RSVP. Yep. And he's like, hey, it's, yeah, it's at 450. And we're like, what? <laughs> that's more than uh, that's allowed in the building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, uh, hey, how many tickets do you want to put on here? Uh, 500. I was like, but that, that's more. Okay. I didn't think it was getting, I just okay. like, I didn't think it would get filled and you have a little over because people don't show up. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that was, uh. This was this was the biggest RSVP event I think. What did we have in Orlando, Ryan? Uh, we for, in Orlando we had about what two fifty per events. session or yeah. something. Wow. Yeah, per two fifty per. So we were wow. so around the same. But this was one main like yeah. focused event that yeah. everybody could come to and, it, at one time. And yeah, it was awesome. And we've been there a few times. This is like the third year now, right? For the Millennium yep. Fandom Bar, yep. and uh, by far the most people. And it was great. It really was, man. The energy was off. It was just crazy. Yeah, it was off the charts. It really was. I tried to, the last year, I, I, I got stuck in that corner the whole time and just could not move. And so this time, I, I was trying to go on through Gary's line just to meet everybody, <laughs> to, to stay mobile, because I was like, I'm not getting stuck you in a close. Yep. That's my, that's yeah. my idea. Yeah. Yeah. Gary I, I was stuck at the table, like, literally yes. all night long. Yes. Wow. It was crazy. Uh -huh. And then I went outside and met a lot of people that were still waiting to get in and, and just tried to just tried to kind of move around a little bit, learning from previous. Because, like, in Orlando, you were on one side of the room. I was on the other. Mm. And we just were there, you know, and our lines were. And so this one, I was like, I got to try to move, man. Cause, and I saw, I was like, Gary ain't going no fucking where, so I'm no, going to try. I was locked uh, in. Yeah. Were it's you guys close. still there towards the end? Do you remember this? Like, I don't know how many of you like were there till the end, but there was a guy who pulled up on a tow truck, and he came out. There was a bunch of us still, like, hanging out outside, and he got, we were like, what's happening? Is he going to tow somebody's car? And he got out of his, and then stood on the flatbed and was like... 
preaching about Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Like I he do was remember telling that. us to yeah, repent. That was, was Odin. Kept, was Odin. He Odin kept looking at me. I was like, I thought I was like, I was like, please don't shoot up this place. I mean, like, it would be great publicity. But um, when did when I wasn't that, here for that? I wasn't yeah. there for that. It was like it was really late. It was uh, after eleven. There were a lot of us like, like stragglers hanging out okay. outside. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Who was, was that jackass who got dropped off by a hot chick in a Lamborghini? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what? 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 That would I, be. I think it's like drunk R two D two or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary, did you see it? I, I saw the video. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be right. drunk three PO who's here in the building right yeah. now, oh, wow. uh, probably sleeping as but, we speak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we dude, need a new meme His picture. entrance was so fantastic. It was the most drunk three PO thing ever. Uh, so it gets dropped off. Uh, there was all this anticipation. Finally, this brand new Corvette, baby powder blue Corvette, pulls up. Jay pulls up and then like he's in the pasture seat. This hot chick gets out, walks around, opens the door for him. <laughs> he, he gets out. out how to open oh, it. He, he gets out. Wow. He gets out. She shakes her tits. It was so she great. Shakes her tits that at the end too. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's, that's Jay for you, man. Jay. That is Jay. Yeah, a bit of an attention whore, but we love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to Junk 3 I do. Uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic was pointing out that Lila was working the line, too. She did a great uh, job working the line. Yeah, yeah. She's, she yeah. was no, exhausted. She, she was, yeah, she was awesome. The she bottom of the line, but the line yeah. nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bottom, I mean, most half. people didn't see her, but, like... <laughs> It's all right. She tried. <laughs> <laughs> Comics division saw her, though. They were eyeing yeah. I was waiting for it. Yeah. I almost made the joke Lila, myself. I'm like, I'm not going to give Lila them new material. Lila said she liked you the best of everyone on FNT because you guys see eye to eye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, I, I was standing outside with Comics and X-Ray Girl. They're standing side by side, and I'm like, this just shows you how funny the internet is. He's taller than her, but like the meme is that the X-Ray Girl is just giant, which she is tall. Well, you know, like, uh, but, it was because uh, of the first... Meet up. Yeah. Wore, you were wearing heels. heels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were wearing well, heels and you were drunkenly trying to pick all of us. Yeah, all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the funny thing, too, I, at first I thought you were taller than me, too. I was like, holy shit, you're a giant. Yeah. And she's like, nah, I'm wearing she, heels. She I looked down. I was like, okay, yeah, you are. She picked yeah. Ryan up, too. She, she picked, picked me up. I'm like, I'm like, you know, like, nobody's picked me up since, like, my mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel so special. Yeah. <laughs> she was, I will say, the clothes she was wearing were not equipped to handle Not that first meetup. No, I don't know what. It was um, sexy. There were clothing malfunctions. Her her, her tits were popping out. Let's try it. The pasties. I can't believe I missed that. And they. they, Yeah. Pink out. But we did. Next (laughs) next meetup. Get me drunk. (laughs) Show up. Make her drunk. Give her shots. (laughs) Yeah, don't do that at all. That's terrible. Uh, But if you guys, uh, for those of you that didn't see, we did a we did live stream pretty much the entire FNT event, or at least most of it, over on Geeks and Gamers, uh, Fear the Beardo, and Hollywood Scholar. Basically held it down. Great job to them. 50, so yeah. 50, 50, 50, 50. And uh, so if you guys want to check that out, we can drop a link and you can check it out after Friday Night Tights. And I think they did a good job of kind of giving perspective of the whole event. But it was awesome. And it was only awesome because of all of you guys. So thank Hell you yeah. so yeah. much. Yeah, it's, so, just, it's incredibly humbling. Like every yeah. time you mm-hmm. see that thing, you go yeah. out there and you expect, oh, I guess maybe we'll have like, what, 20 people show up. And uh, you guys blow us away every time. Every so time. It's I, I don't even know how many people. Like, I never got out to see. Like, there was a ton of people peak, outside. Like, too. how yeah. many people yeah. were outside? Dude, yeah, the entire time. I, I didn't get to time. the bar until 1030. Yeah. And then we gave away a bunch of stuff. So we gave away uh, Xbox uh, Series X. We gave away a PlayStation 5. We gave away three Nintendo Switches. We gave Ooh. away some Clint Eastwood figures. We yep. gave away some... Uh, autograph copies of I, Isom. I, I signed some random dude switch. He's like, I just won this. Can you yeah. sign it with yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, I didn't know we hand those out. Sure. What's cool is uh, so when we were giving away the uh, Isom autograph copy of Isom, Gabe El Taib was standing yes. there talking to me. Yes. Yeah, and then he's like, You want me to sign it for him? I'm like, Fuck yeah, cool. let's yeah, get over there awesome. and sign it. And like, Gabe is such a cool dude. Gabe, Gabe is cool as hell. Yeah, Gabe was there. I missed him. We had many like we had many like Team Ripa meeting. Because yeah. Carolyn was oh, here. Yeah. 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 He's been here the whole weekend. She's freaking awesome. She's I love her. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, she won the Xbox. Sheep won the too. Xbox. She really? Sheep Sheep won the yep. fucking Xbox. He did. So yeah. and, and I yelled out, I was like, we're not racist. We gave a black guy an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Sheep City and won the Xbox. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn was there, and it, like, I was talking to Gabe, and Carol walked up and like said something. We were like, "Hey, I think you guys probably should know each other." And they're like, "Had no fucking clue." Wow. I'm like, "This is Gabe." Never met. And she's like, "Wait, that's Gabe." <laughs> yeah, oh, so wow. it was awesome. It was I'm, 
if I'm if I said I, I thought it was Clint Eastwood. So was it John Wayne figures we were getting? I'm, I'm not sure. It was Clint, I thought it was Captain Eastwood. Kirk. So it, was it a Kirk a in Kirk. there too? Okay. I figure, saw some yeah. Yeah. Hayden. Hayden won uh, Captain Kirk. Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Hayden. out to Hayden. Hayden. Oh. We got to meet Hayden. Oh. That was awesome. Hayden uh, for fifty. Hayden Wayne, as I've named him. He's Hayden Wayne. He's our he's our Bruce Wayne around here. So Hayden's the man. Good dude. We got to hang out with him, but. Yeah, it was it was crazy because like Gabe was like, you, you want me to sign the the ice? Fuck yeah, man! Let's yeah, get over here. Do. Let's do it. But that's what you get when you get an FNT event. That's right. We are try we try our best to just do what we can to give you guys a good time, uh, give back as much as we can. We're no, we, no one tries harder than I do. Exactly, yes. exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, no one tries harder than as. And uh, but it's super fucking cool, man. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on the event here. I mean, we got some other stuff we're going to talk about, like woke Hollywood and shit. But man, it was it was awesome. It, it really was. was. By the way, as that's a great idea. I got I, I got your message about. Mm. Okay, good idea. Uh, hail to Mrs. Nerdrotic. This wouldn't have happened without Mrs. Nerdrotic. So uh, give her some yeah. love in the chat, please. Woo. And. Uh, and the staff at the Millennium Fandom Bar, they were like they were busy great. constantly, yeah. constantly moving, mm -hmm. and mm. they uh, they love us. They actually like us a lot, which is nice. Uh, we make them money. We yeah. make them no, a lot of money. Surprised. They were freaking smiling. You guys made yeah. them a lot of money. You were nice to them. It's like you're nice people or something yeah, like that. It's it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. You it's are weird. the best brand of bigots. I just want to I like <laughs> express my gratitude for being the nicest, most <laughs> inclusive bigots I've ever met. So, yeah, they, everybody at the space uh, where we had the comedy show last night was also very... And this doesn't I don't hear this a lot at shows, but they remarked on how great the crowd was. Like, wow, really great people. Everyone was drinking, like nobody's throwing up, no one's in the, <laughs> no one's like getting fingered in the back. Like Yeah, that was just the comedians. Yeah. Yeah. They're just decent people. <laughs> but they uh, yeah, yeah, they loved you guys. Uh that was a good that was a good spot. That was a it really was good really spot. Fun. The space. Amy Winehouse performed there. No way. Oh yeah. wow. Wait, recently? Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I saw her require yeah, a neck. She held an event for yeah. uh, Biden voters, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the crowd was a little dead. <laughs> oh. I saw her at Coachella. She was uh, great. I wanted to see her. I had tickets like in twenty seventeen and then she, you know, took a turn. Yeah, mm. so. took a turn for the worse. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She was fantastic. But it was really and now fun. she's dead because now people around dead. her were pieces of shit. Yep. 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 She kept that body looking pretty good with those drugs, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. For a while. Yeah. And then it, and then it went, then yeah. went a little too extra. So, yeah, hard turn at the end. She yeah. looked like she could use a, a cheeseburger she at Coachella. Used it's about a balance. Brush. It's about a balance. Yeah. yeah. No, but she, like her, dude, so her album is so fucking good. Uh, what are you guys doing? You guys playing with your. I just need to move it up a bit. I'm not touching it. Yeah, I'm trying to do it quiet. So attitude adjustment. It was like yeah. Jer yeah. no, they saw Jeremy adjusting his mic, I was like, and then oh, yeah, everybody yeah. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> decided Let we should do it too. Let's do mine. Yeah. Me yeah. Sweet I, I, I'm a trendsetter. Okay. What can I say? The only uncomfortable thing is as the stream goes on, you'll notice people are all holding their farts during a stream. So <laughs> yeah, we can't <laughs> mute. No mute button. There's we nobody. Yeah, everybody except for Garrett. I don't know what you're talking about. Holding. Let him rip. Explains it. it doesn't, it's not healthy. <laughs> Garrett has a weird ritual that you told me about today, where he refuses to eat before he yeah, goes I don't live. Yeah, eat before we do a live show. Wait, Which, really? Yeah, not like not like a stream. Like usually on Friday night, it's just me and my house. I don't care. But like when I'm out and we're doing like a, a road show, I don't eat. I don't know why. Yeah, the nervous like, shits. You don't like, want to have to poop. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's like I'm getting stuff ready. I'm trying to do. I know a good book you could read while you're sitting on the toilet. Oh, really? <laughs> Celebrities poop. Hey. hey. It's right there. <laughs> Available on Amazon. I don't know if I'm not one. kidding. Plug. I even did the audio book. You did the as audio book? I did an audio book of that as a joke. And it sells. Oh, wow. oh my God. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. All right. Uh, and we'll talk more about meetup stuff later. It was great. If you were there, great. But I know we have, to sh we have a show to put on, folks. She almost go on. So let's talk about which are getting ratioed. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is kind of incredible because this is a show where Henry Cavill is still Geralt in this season. Right? He's announced that yep. he's leaving, that he's not coming back. Everybody knows why, because the writers, the producers, everybody, they don't care about the lore. All they care about is pushing their own identity politics. And Henry Cavill announces he's leaving. Season three can be my last one. And... There has been a massive backlash for this. We saw it with, with Witcher Blood Origin. A lot of negativity surrounding that because of that announcement something coming so close. But now here are six months later from when Henry Cavill announced this. And the trailer immediately gets destroyed. Yeah. This is something that Netflix thought would be their Game of Thrones. That was, you know, both seasons were in the top ten Netflix viewed series of all time. And now they're sitting there with a dead franchise on their hands. 
because they couldn't keep the dude uh, another who one. wanted wanted that as the role. It was his dream role, and they pushed him out. Yeah. What's, what's the ratio at right now? They, yeah. Uh, when you say they wanted it to be Game of Thrones, it actually could have been. I reckon the, the the fantasy is rich enough, the story is rich enough. They could have had a, you know a huge show on their hands, and it's amazing how much they screwed up The Witcher. And who here has even seen the trailer? I haven't even bothered watching no, I haven't it. Seen I it. Know. I haven't watched it's it. It's not even a trailer, Shad. I mean, it's just a, a three of them wandering around calling each other's name. It looks like it looks like CW promo shit. And uh, the current ratio is 233,000 downvotes to 54,000 upvotes. When all they had to do was just respect the lore. All they had to... That's all you had to do? I mean, you fire everybody down to the quartering... uh, Catering staff, and you keep Henry. You, you your Don't show is still alive. You win. Come on, man. I, no, fire the fucking quartering too. Uh, I always fire him. Fuck him too. Always fire. The- <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it just we are in a time. These corporate heads, whether it's whatever business they're in, fans, customers, independent voices do not matter to them. They think they know better than yeah. you. They think they know better. We know what you want. We don't care what you say you want. That's their attitude, and so. All the comments about Henry Cavill right now, all that does is makes them even hate him even more right now. That doesn't, and again, I'm fine with that because fuck these people. But uh, you look at the comments, it's all about Henry Cavill, all about Henry Cavill. And all that does is makes the corporate heads hate him even more. And it's so, we're just in this weird kind of time frame where the people that are in charge of this stuff don't care about the actual customer. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. It's no, so weird. And and it reflects this this trailer. I mean, I don't know. I, and go back and look at how, how well Netflix trailers perform. But 2.3 million views in three days is pretty sad for a major show with Henry Cavill, that, which was it, it was a top tier. It wasn't Stranger Things for Netflix, but it was close. Yeah. It was in their top mm-hmm. five. It was their top five best shows. Stranger Things is ending. So The Witcher is ending. Uh, Squid Game season two pro- probably about as good as idea as Joker two. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. But that's that's a year away. So they're in some real fucking trouble because they chose a hack writer over Henry Cavill. Yeah, and I do think that with with all of this stuff being said, people still had a problem with Witcher season two. They had a problem with Witcher season one. One. And unlike oh, we talked about this, unlike a lot of other hit series on Netflix where Stranger Things 1 does good, then Season 2 does better, Mm -hmm. Season 3 does better, right? Witcher wasn't the same way. Mm -hmm. Witcher Season 2 is viewed a little bit less than Season 1, which could have been an indicator from the beginning that people had a problem with what they were doing. And uh, so you combine that with then the only reason that people had to stay committed was Henry Cavill in his role as Geralt, and that's a bad combination. I never bothered watching the series. Well, shit. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Well, I mean, like, I don't understand why. I, I mean, again, I, I like I said, these people think that, you know, fans' voices don't matter. But it's like, is there no one that just recognizes that if you put Henry Cavill in something and fucking build it around him that you're going to make a shit ton of money? <laughs> How is that not possible? I don't understand. Well, that. there, there well, it's, are it's a lot easy. of Don't make him the main character like he's supposed to be. It's refusing. Well, it's f- refusing to acknowledge the obvious. He is a white straight male. He mm-hmm. is masculine, and that is just persona non grata in Hollywood. Yeah. We've been talking about it for five or six years, but now we have some actual data. Like, oh, uh, Top Gun Maverick did pretty good. John Wick did pretty Hollywood. good. It's not even a white dude, but it's mis- masculinity. Yeah, dudes. Well, well, I know. Like the the the, no- the notion out there is that he's uh, difficult to work with and stuff. And it's like, and Chris or Chris can answer this better than than me. But it's like, isn't that typical of any big star? Yes. They all are difficult to work with on these projects. Yeah, but Harrison, typ- Ford, yeah. Harrison Ford famously wouldn't say the line "I love you, I love you too." Yeah, which yeah was yeah, the yeah. actual scripted mm-hmm. line in the Empire Strikes Back. He said, "My character would never say that. That's stupid." And they stopped production for half a day wow. to come up with a better line. It was, I love you, I know. We're still talking about that. Yeah. So yeah. being difficult or caring too much, maybe. I mean, and Harrison Ford fought with George Lucas about like uh, about a lot of the stuff related to Star Wars. But I don't think every actor has comes equipped with the best ideas. They think they do. Oh, mm-hmm. Patrick Stewart. Yeah. yeah. Major pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. And some of his ideas for season one and two of Picard are came, really dumb. Are yeah. really dumb and came from Patrick Stewart. So sometimes I think I, I, it's a gauge of like the... I mean, look, film, TV, all stuff, it's collaborative for sure. But when you sideline someone like Henry effing Cavill, you're a moron. You're a moron to do that, especially when you see these 
TV shows and movies that have very strong male characters, they tend to do well because that's what I would argue. Not that's not only what men want to see. Women like strong male characters. Yep. Heck you yeah. Know, the, uh, like it's it's a trope in Marvel movies that every male character has to take their shirt off. Yeah. And that's when X-ray girls' pussy explodes. <laughs> My gosh! Like so comics, uh, all go. over <laughs> comics division. All over, all, all over. Uh, all over. How do you like it? Yeah. I, I might need the whole box. <laughs> but, no, but I'm saying is, you know, women like that, and so there's nothing wrong with it. To back away from that is just fiscally irresponsible and moronic, and not giving the audience what they really want. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's ridiculous. So the ratio, first of all, I haven't seen the trailer. Um, I, I watched like most of the first season of Witcher. I thought it was decent, you know? I, I thought the story, I didn't know much about it. Everyone says I should play the video game, so I will. I will. The game is good. The game is, uh, I'm an expert on the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you finally get out of that room? I, yeah, did you find I, did. A door? I, know, I know how to open a door without a <laughs> This is true. Well, I, I saw. I, I've seen a few people that are you. Know, they, they try to be critical of, of Cavill from a perspective. Say, is he really like, like that? He's not a mega star like Tom Cruise. And, no, he's not. Like from he's he not could Tom be, Cruise. Though. He hasn't like proven to be a box office draw from that perspective. But The Witcher season one proved that he is a rock star. He is a he's a draw if you build something around him because that's why people tuned in. Remember what was that viral clip, Ryan? Of like. The lightsaber. Somebody put a lightsaber. Yeah, in Yeah, someone put a lightsaber. Went in the mega opening viral. Battle scene, yeah. and, and everybody responded like, "Man, if I saw this in a Star Wars movie with Henry Cavill and yeah. a lightsaber, like that went super viral." And that's why people were drawn to it. And as they again, I didn't see season two, but like they dialed his character back. Correct. Yeah. So they dialed like, like baby. His character was season. already pretty dialed back in right. season one. Yeah. And then well, they and, took and that to another And they level. massively changed the book it was based on. Yeah. Like, yeah. Massively. And if X-Ray it, girls saw that, her <laughs> pussy would explode again, yeah. like the second Death Star. But back to your yeah. point, Jeremy, the, the whole issue with Henry Cavill... Girls more than once. If, if he was actually given the opportunity to be a star, he could be. Yes. But again, yeah. because of the anti-male, white male bias that's going on in Hollywood yes. right now is the reason why he's not. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. I mean, because he should be James Bond. Yeah, he yeah. should be. He's got no charisma. 100%. Biggest star in the world. He yeah. should be. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially in genre. Like he respects it so much. And yeah, it is a little dumbfounding that when Netflix, that you know, the executives at Netflix choose this like inexperienced, fucking stupid writing staff over him. And like they know, they know like he's more adherent to the lore. And they're like, no. So why did you buy The Witcher? What was your fucking purpose to buy The Witcher to not like? follow the story at all mm -hmm. so what, what what is your purpose we, we could recycle that argument with every single ip yep. yeah. yes. why do you remake the little mermaid if you're going to make her black and make it not about her yep. trying to find a, yep. a dude can we why acknowledge you... how aggressively he said the word black 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 <laughs> that's just how i say it. I, think black black I think it's about planet. it's about branding they're black buying world sorry they're buying a brand that has a a built-in audience yep. so they think Name recognition. but then to remold it into something that the audience despises is is I, and we've seen it over and over again. It's just utterly ridiculous. Yep. So and, and and to me, a lot of this stuff, especially when the fantasy stuff like Rings of Power, which we oh recently suffered through, it they just turn it into generic. They they make it so generic. It's about ticking boxes. They've just gentrified any interesting aspect of the story. Rings of Power is probably the best example of something going badly, going south with such a dedicated fan base that you recently saw Return of the King, Gary, in theaters. I did. Uh, he, in, in, in the L.A. area, all the shows were packed. I mean, packed with, like, single seats here and there. It was it was insane how successful that was. Mm -hmm. And, by the way, this weekend, Return of the Return Jedi is in theaters. Yes. Yep. It's kind of crazy just saw that. playing in theaters. I'm curious to see, like, where that charts. Odin's it's, not here it, to tell It's going you know. for a yeah, couple like weeks, numbers. though, right? Because I think it's going to play for a couple weeks. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just curious, like, where does it rank? Is it? Where is it in the top ten box office? How well? A, a movie with starring Luke fucking Skywalker. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. uh, has I, I, gotten boned by the new management at uh, Lucasfilm, yeah. who doesn't understand Star Wars. I, I'm tempted so, to see it, but I don't want to give Disney money at this point. You are? Yeah, but... You know, I don't. I mean... 
uh, you know what? I'm still gonna go see it. I really don't yeah. care. I want. It's I want Return of the Jedi. Yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 I know. I know it is, but it's, it's still owned by Disney right now, and I, I don't want to give them my money. Right. I mean, this is the argument. Yeah, I, I own the DVD, about, so yeah. That's the argument some people have about like Picard season three. Well, I don't want to reward Paramount. It's like, well, let them know you kind of vote with your. That's what you want to see. Yeah, yeah that, I that want is to a see more of that. Mm-hmm. Although I do think it's an anomaly. It's a one-time thing. Yeah. It's not to be repeated. It's but. Uh, Man, we don't have private chat here, so we can't say BRB when I go take a leak. <laughs> Bio. I do. You have to Hold announce it just like just that. You have to announce it. And, and then it makes it awkward. Yeah, there you go. Which is the whole point. Chris Score has a notoriously small bladder. So. Yeah. yeah. Really? And yeah. a really I small penis. Kidney, so that, That's what I heard. Uh, do you really? It's my mutant superpower. I yeah. urinate. Where's your other kidney? Three times. I, no, I just have one. You oh. say it's in Mexico one, somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely in Mexico. I'll show you the scar. No, I just, I just think it's was remarking how we're usually talking in the private oh, chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little exchange with Garrett about something. <laughs> we had to sort of silence. Yeah, we uh-huh. put links of like our favorite memes that right. are in the... Yeah, yeah, we, can, yeah we cannot yeah. show. Don't do... show this one on stream. Yeah. Don't yeah. show it. Well, well, it's shown. Guys, Dad, guys, should we, I... should we just go do some hoovering or something? I need to go... I need to go and urinate. <laughs> it might be messy. Okay. I, I, I shot, I, I'll be back and I'll tell you how. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm okay. Uh, oh, I'm okay. As, as somebody who's actually played the Witcher game like a lot yeah. longer than I have. Uh, so you're not the expert. <laughs> no, I'm not the expert, to be honest with you. He had to help me walk through a door. He was very frustrated with it. But, uh, yeah. What are you laughing at? I look like I'm in pain. Uh, Jay is signing Frosk's back. What? What? Last oh, it's last two nights it's ago. A, okay. Oh. Yeah. It's a meme. I thought this was so, acting right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like season one of The Witcher, did you? No. Not at all. I thought it was all right, but I hadn't played the game yet. So I wasn't like, you know, I, I, I had read the books. And the books are okay. I like I like the books. They're not well written, but they're, they're, I like I like them. It's a cool world. It's a very yeah, cool yeah. world. And there's cool world building. And we talked about it on Real BBC as like the world building in in The Witcher fucking sucks. You have no idea where you are, except for have you, have you seen the German movie? Uh, sorry, the Polish movie. Yes. The Hexer. Yes. The Hexer is better than Lauren Histrich's shit. Yes. I agree. Uh, from from what I can gather, because I need to read the books, but I, I from what I can gather, it's more faithful to the books in terms of what actually happens on the screen, and it actually has Geralt in it, what? which is uh, which is desperately missing in season one. He's barely in the uh, finale. He's in it for like two minutes. Yeah, that's true. In the finale, no, I, I saw the I saw the first season for exactly what it was, which was just the Yennefer show and uh, the whole purpose of the front getting the franchise was again another company getting a well-known ip so they can push their own political agenda in this case intersectional feminist shit waffles and uh yeah it was i knew exactly what they're doing and i thought it's shite and then season two was a, just a catastrophe absolute catastrophe that series season and I'm as that's the reason why i didn't bother watching it when i heard people talk about the witcher i was like if Geralt is not gonna be the main character and it really is the Jennifer show what's the point in watching it yeah exactly same I, I, you know, Yennefer's great as a side character. Chris is great as a side character. Siri is great as a side character uh, in in the uh, in the games, and Siri only appears in the third game anyway. Uh, so uh, to have to have Geralt, who is the driving force behind everything, sidelined so that they can push this horrible bitch who was horrible when she was a hunchback, horrible when she became a witch, and horrible when she got power, to then lose all her power. And come back in season two and be amazing without having to do anything in season two. Meanwhile, Geralt's just getting getting absolute scraps. Scraps to work off. And uh yeah, I, I can see Henry Cavill just being like, fuck this. This is this is and he even said after season two, he was interviewed after season two, and they say, What do you hope for season three? He says, I hope that they actually can do the source material. Yeah, we found uh Lady Greymaster <laughs> found that audio clip. Uh, from the podcast from a couple years ago that we played on FNT of him like warning us about season two. He's like, well, yep. the showrunner has a different vision and <laughs> they want to see that vision through and that vision is she fucking sucks. Okay? 
And uh, they say Henry is hard to work with. Holy crap! Like I would be too in that position. If yeah. You, if you love the source material, you you. And so I actually think Henry seems like a really agreeable person. Honestly, it's just that he was in a really crappy situation with people who hated what the the actual thing that he loved. And so the people hard to work with sounds like the writing staff. So yeah, it, it sounds like if you're a normal person and you work with Hollywood writers, you are going to be considered a very difficult person for just Well, you know when that, that woman, uh, that whistle that whistleblower, was saying that Henry's really difficult to work with and all this sort of stuff, She gave, they, they gave themselves away because yeah. they said one of the... He was really difficult. He, he stopped wanting to take his top off. Right. And he just mm-hmm. like, okay, if, if, if Henry was a female actress... And uh, she was being told, uh, for instance, to take her top off, and she was just like, "No," and they were like, "Yes." Yeah, it'd be a completely different kettle of fish altogether. I hear yeah, Amelia 100%. Clark was really tough to work with after season one of Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. That... well, she, uh, yeah. she had a. I mean, Amelia Clark had a, a contract for a bit, and then when a, when that sort of uh, get your kit off contract ended, then she renegotiated that she won't get a kit off again. Mm-hmm. They could have replaced Amelia Clark with that girl that was sitting by you at Chrissy's show. That's true. <laughs> She's more agreeable. There, right? there, is, there is not a fucking dragon in Westeros that could hold up those tits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a picture? Do we have pictures? Yeah. yeah I, well, they're there? all over online. But. Okay. Is there any I'll... visual aids? Yeah, Why did I get a picture of the two of you? I should have asked. I should, I should have, have asked her. Like she that. would have done it. I'm sure she would have hey, done more than that. Yeah. I would have oh. said, my friend wants to get a photo with you. Can I t- I'll take the picture? Yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> Too bad it didn't happen. Oh, oh well. Missed there opportunity. We Major missed opportunity yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. bring him in. <laughs> yeah, still. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, you we're, not gonna get, we're not going to get all professional what? now. That's right. Like, no. why would we start? I put the wrong oh. picture in the chat. <laughs> what what did you do? <laughs> and we got, listen, we got a Robert. Oh, no. We do have a Robert. We yeah, got a, a Robert. lot of Roberts who are supposed oh, to be on the stream. <laughs> but we got one Robert that is here. We've got the great Robert Barnes. How's yeah. it going? Yeah. What's up, Robert? How goes Hello. it? Hello. How you doing, man? Oh, it's great to be here. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm always in Vegas. You guys are... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 how's it been? Good, good. Good to see you. The uh, You guys are still awake and alive. How long have you been here? I got here Tuesday Sunday. Night. And I'm leaving today. So, yeah. So by, I've by been vehicle, here. I assume? Yeah, by vehicle. And I have I only slept one full night, which was last night. And uh, other than that, yeah, it's been, it's been just constant running. And uh, I, I like Vegas every time I come here. I, like, I like it more and more, especially this time because the weather was a little bit cooler this oh, time. Oh, yeah. Good job, well, we Gary. A lot more pleasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good job on that, Gary. Because, yeah, usually it's brutal here. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, I, I really enjoy it here. So glad oh. we got the chance to meet up with you finally so oh, absolutely yeah but the uh, how was the meetup it was excellent dude uh much bigger than last year and the year before even it's uh it was huge amount of turnout a lot of energy and we had the whole place this time last time we only had that small the, like that first section that room this time we had the whole place and uh i heard some awesome. dude like flew here from the philippines just yes to come yes wow. yes yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah wow yeah project egg roll project right. egg roll I shout out to drunk 3po chat. yep <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a, we that's had, a lot of days working in Nike factories to save up airfare for that trip. <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> was crazy. And then uh, the best part is he had to ask his mom if it was okay. And Aww. she said it was that's okay. Right. So hail, really sweet. hail yeah. mom. That's yeah. awesome. And we also had a guy write a, uh, don't get mad at me if I got your bike wrong, but I think he said Harley from Edmonton. Oh, yeah. It was a Harley. Yeah. Uh-huh. From Edmonton. Extra girl was... took a ride on it, I think. Ooh. She did. What? She was gushing. Oh, we were. <laughs> <laughs> Some no vibrations. I, I finally get to meet you. You were at I saw I saw you briefly at a at a meetup a couple of years ago. Yeah, and like then, the first one. You yeah, he's at the first I one. Never yeah. saw yeah. you again. Yeah, uh, yeah. and I felt terrible. And, and now you live in like Texas. Now I live in Texas. How's and that I, going? I love it, dude. Uh, it gets a little hotter than it gets here. Yeah, and I'm okay, I'm totally down with it because it's fucking free. I'm full of it's. I'm surrounded by freedom. I, I don't have my gun rights back, but soon maybe. Uh, yeah, everything. I don't miss California not even a little bit. Well, I remember that first that first year here. Ryan comes up because I was I was still yeah. kind of in that same corner. You're like, dude, Robert's here. He's been waiting to you know hopefully you can go meet him. I'm like, 
we're not important enough for Robert fucking Barnes yeah. to hang out for any significant amount of time to come yeah, meet Robert, us. You Robert know? Barnes so, is just chilling on a couch with a drink with yeah. some dude talking his ear off about some gay anime shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it was super cool. So, uh, yeah, so that was two years ago, right? That was, yeah, it was two years yeah, ago. Yeah, whatever it was, man. Mm-hmm. Time is going Well, we yeah. had, we had our, our first meetup was like a very casual affair in, in the Millennium Fandom Bar with like 10 people. Right. Wow. Yeah, that and then was the a second long time one. That was. And the There's second one was the side it? room. I know. There's yeah. a side was it, room. Was uh-huh. it the room at the bar that you had originally or the other room? We had that side room. Okay. We, and then the, we the had first one, year. The first one wasn't anything. It was just, hey, got to have a couple people go to the bar. And it was like a dozen people. Um, that was in 2019. Yeah. Right? And then 2020, we're like, okay, we're going to run out the side room and people can flutter in and out. We're like, wow, a couple hundred people might have showed up to this. That's kind of crazy. And then the next year, Last well, October COVID, yeah, yeah. was mm-hmm. bigger because we had to push it back because of COVID. And then this year was just off the chain. It was insane. insane. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I love I, I, Yeah, we're going to have to probably think about uh, Alex, the owner. I can't say too much. Is We're, we're working on the problem of getting a yeah, bigger like, venue. What's next? A convention center? Maybe. Yeah. Well, we, we yeah, got to yeah. have something where under, eight, the under 21 could get in because we have a couple of kiddos out there. No yeah, under eight, yeah. Gary. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's above eighteen. We'll just say that eighteen yeah. and up. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, because like last year, I mean, you had to go out there. We felt bad because we didn't because that kid it. showed up. Yeah. I know, yeah. and we forgot. No. I fuck. That's my fault, yeah, dude. Yeah. That was my fault. So we hung out with them. He was a good kid. Yeah, it's good peeps. So. FNT kid. We we dubbed him FNT kid. That's right. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got, listen, there's some. There's some out there that would love to go to something like that. We had. Uh, Mrs. Cannoli Squatch was here. Yeah. And her. I Squatch. Think... Some yeah. Squatch. Yeah. 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 Was and... it, is it Squatch? Because that sounds. Uh-huh. Cannoli Squatch. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the name. I, I don't know cannoli... what the fucking origin of it is. I thought it was Cannoli Sasquatch. So it's Cannoli Squatch. I think so. That's that's sounds weird. Drunk but that sounds weird. Sounds like weird. No. It sounds like a, a condition. Mm-hmm. Okay, Whatever. but they're really nice. Sorry, go on. No, that's, but yeah, they FaceTime because uh, they they have like a 16-year-old daughter that watches with them. And they FaceTime with her and said hi and everything, so that was really cool. Yep. Yeah. No, it was. We had uh, Damien hanging out with us last night at Fremont. Uh-huh, who couldn't go to the meetup. He, but yeah, So yeah. we went to a bar. He still hung out outside the bar. Exactly. So I, I came out because I don't drink. Aww. I don't give a shit, so I hung out with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with him. We, we'll, we'll be uh, sober together. He didn't want to be sober, but you know he's got to waste time like we all did. The bar we were at last night had a big or steal purple beer from his mechanical dad's fridge. penis bowl. Yes, there was the, there was the mechanical penis that uh, Lila rode. I didn't. I didn't. Whoa, uh, wait, I didn't what? want to because I didn't want to cheat on my mechanical penis at home. No. So, uh, <laughs> comics yeah. is gushing. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a horrible thing to call Frank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, place. for later, Jeremy. Happy, happy, happy tissue or sad tissue? Happy tissue or sad tissue? Oh a man, bit of both. <laughs> it was good. It's uh, cannoli sasquatch. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Cannoli sasquatch. What, whatever. Cannoli sasquatch. I, listen, I've had a little drink. Okay, a little it's drink. All right. It's a little right. drink. Robert Barnes, like, what's going on in your world, man? Uh, well, earlier today, we we're working on a uh, uh, trying to do an amendment of a complaint, the Brooke Jackson case, which is the big vaccine injury related issues I'm about sorry, Pfizer. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the. Uh, uh, because that was a case involving basically what happened was she witnessed a lot of stuff that showed that what Pfizer was doing was fraudulent and the court right now won't allow the case to go forward. So we're, uh, asking again, you have a right to bring a motion to amend. So yeah. working on that and then just a range of other cases across the country. So it all varies. It's been, uh, interesting times the last several years. It certainly has. Oh yeah. We, we had, uh, well, well, we had somebody, we, we had at least one person I know of, um, that was at the meetup last night who was in the Navy and, you know, got fired because they refused to take a certain Yes, jab. that's right. Yeah. Um, so she was there last night, and uh, I think she's going to get paid pretty well wow. based off what I've heard. That's good. So. I hope so. I mean, most of those people that stood up, they ultimately revoked the military mandate earlier this year, which was good. And so, but I mean, what they were doing to people in the military, I mean, they, I mean, they've treated them as uh, uh, guinea pigs for, mm. well, I mean, yes. you know. And so the, yeah. and it's been, you know, different degrees. I mean, going back to the mustard gas experiments, World War I, all the rest. So the, uh, the fact that they did it again, with this experimental vaccine, uh, by its own admission, experimental vaccine, uh, and that they had information. It was the Defense Department that did the contract. And, you know, Trump's contract called for the delivery of a safe, effective vaccine for the prevention of COVID-19. 
and what they delivered was not safe, was not effective, was not even uh, legally a vaccine, and didn't prevent COVID-19. And that was the grounds for all the different suits we're bringing. So we're still working with Bobby Kennedy, uh, who's now running for president of the United States. Mm -hmm. So that's always interesting. The uh, On several cases that we're having to appeal because the courts are just not allowing us to get into court to challenge what took place. You know, what, we, whether what the FDA did was legal, whether what Pfizer did was legal, with whether what the defense contractors did was legal, or what anybody else did was legal. And so everybody that stood up for their rights, for their just bodily autonomy, their uh, rights to own their... If you don't own your own body, what do you own? And so conditioning employment, conditioning education, conditioning licensure, all of it based on whether or not you took a drug that they couldn't even say re legally was safe, effective, and actually worked. And now we know really was none of those things. And so all of those cases are going to progress and proceed. And some of them will get up to the U.S. Supreme Court, and we'll see what the Supreme Court does. It's well, weird to have someone smart on the show. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, because I was just about to say, like, well, crazy. you're covering you know, important things, and we're covering you know gay yeah. people in movies. Yeah. So I mean, I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about a black fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, while we have Robert here, can I take advantage of that and get some free legal advice? So, Robert, if I, if I hypothetically wanted to sue Gary, I mean, if I hypothetically wanted to sue someone from Australia in the U.S. How would I need? How would I go about that? Uh, you know, that's not that's not that hard. In fact, actually, there's a gentleman in Australia that may be helping out with some uh, uh, of our cases here in America concerning the vaccine. Just brought a big class action in Australia, actually, about that. But yeah, it, you. In fact, we're looking at whether Australians can sue in the United States for things like vaccine injuries. There's the Alien Torts Claims Act, so that's when you're suing the government. But there's a lot of ways you can. If you if someone is located here, did a bad act here. Uh, if you can locate them here, then you can sue them here. Doesn't matter who the where you are. The nice. Point. You just gotta be able to serve oh. them, basically, right? That's Shit. It. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, <laughs> enjoy. Everybody enjoy Shad's last show. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can I work through uh, a U.S. attorney or? A, a, a yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Australia's. I had a case in Australia. It was uh, Larry Williams, whose daughter's Michelle Williams, who uh, okay. you know, oh, yeah. the, who was married to Heath Ledger. Uh, he had a lot of interesting backstories to tell, but that's another story for another day. Ooh. But uh, he, they were trying to extradite him from Australia to the United States. This was before all the uh, craziness uh, with Kim.com in New Zealand. The, uh, but in Australia, you, you, the prosecutors can be defense lawyers. The defense lawyers can be prosecutors. It's totally different and distinct in certain aspects of it. So it actually creates a better legal system. But you generally would want a U.S.-based lawyer if you're suing in the U.S. because an Australian lawyer cannot appear in the United States. <laughs> Uh, on behalf of anyone in the United States. Rightly so. so. Like, I was a consultant in those cases. I couldn't appear in the Australian courts as a lawyer. I'm taking notes. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to sue anyone, but it has been an interesting question that I'm like, what? how would that work? You can't sue anybody for nunchucks, okay, dude? They already exist. They're <laughs> <insane. laughs> All right. They're not Let it go. Weapons. Let it go. We it represented in the law. What's a, I got a more important, like, this is a more, like, because Robert obviously covered a lot of serious things, so I want to kind of keep it on that point for a minute. But, Robert, what is your stance on Gary versus Dan Vask on who's going to hit a million <laughs> subs first? <laughs> so, well, you know, the uh, I hope Gary does. <laughs> oh, see, Gary got a fan. All right. Go. Damn it, that backfired on me. That didn't go the way I wanted it to. <laughs> well, Dan, like, dude, he's doing good. He's about to catch me. So yeah, and, mm -hmm. and I was like way ahead of him, but you know he puts out a song, he's he's a song every fucking four months, and but yeah, yeah, every four up. months the digital panties get thrown at him. <laughs> you know I gotta I gotta grind, so you know I just double, I'll just put Tom Hanks on every one of my fucking thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> I've got full Josiah on my th on my thumbs, and just like uh, break down Woke Hollywood for the I, next year. I heard year. Jerry Springer left Hollywood yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Oh, wow. that brutal. permanently. Oh, that. Is rough, right? Uh, uh, used to be a great, uh, uh, Jerry Springer used to be a great player. Well done. Back in the day. Well yeah. done. Uh, all right, all right Jerry, Jerry Springer. I, I do have to explain the joke for those yeah, that aren't aware. Yeah. So Josiah has the most clickbait shit ever. And uh, I forget who it was. There's an actor recently who got lost on a fucking hike in California and is dead at the bottom of a ditch somewhere. They just didn't find his body yet, Julian, right? Julian, uh, what's his last name? I don't know. Julian... Sands? Sorry. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Julian but, Sands. Yeah, Sands. Julian Sands, yeah. thank you. So, Jos I see a video from Josiah with a picture of Julian Sands, and it, the title is, This Actor Just Left Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, 
this motherfucker's dead. <laughs> and, like, and, and, and the implications like it got too woke for him or something. But no, this motherfucker's gone. <laughs> just died. Went on a hike and died. <laughs> so that's what Jerry, Jerry Springer just left Hollywood. Oh. Rest- Jerry Springer just left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, I, 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 I like. Spr- well, I, he, he was I used Power. to watch this shit. I, used to I watched watch the hell out of Springer yeah, back in the that day. Show. Was great. That was that was like that was like WWF, yeah. man. That's it all was. it was. It was yeah. great. I loved it. Now we just get to watch conservative commentators. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but um, bump. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's becoming quite the clown show. It really <laughs> is. It really uh, is. Great. Uh, you w- know what else is a clown show? Well. Go Never on. mind. I was going to say Disney Star Wars to give us our fucking next. Oh, well, well, we, need to, we, need to watch, we need to read a couple of these. Though. Let me read a couple of these, especially from WG, the great WG. WG. Who has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for 50. I can't do uh, it like 50, that. We got no 50. 50. 50. There you go. God. I'm working on it. For fi- and I don't have my applause. Sorry. I bring my soundboard what? next time. I know. I feel naked Hang without on, it. I, 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 you know what? I'm going to pull up the applause on gonna, YouTube. Excuse me while so, I whip this yeah, out. I'm going to uh, applause sound effect. So then if we just go. It'll work. Thanks. That was kind of. Well, you yeah. pulled it away it's too soon. It's not the same. Not the same. It's like I, my pull out game, I typically pull out before. Well, you got to have a good pull out game, right. all right? It, it's I, really I, all I, about I, a good pull out game. I disagree. <laughs> Uh, I disagree. <laughs> well, you're young. That's always okay? been a policy. You're young. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Shut, I'm going to shut up. I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Uh, bad Rememory uh, Show uh, in two parts for $40. And I got to scroll down now. He wants, I, to, he wants to hit his class. He wants to hit I do. Class. But I also have this at like, this is kind of too small for me. Usually I have it blown up to 200%. That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I blow it up to 200%. She doesn't care after that. Uh, first off, oh. hail chat and those who went to Vegas. Hope everyone had a good time and has a good time tonight. And we will. Uh, but I felt the need to stroke mm. your egos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a little pause there. Uh, my little channel... Uh, is getting better views on Picard than all of, all, all of Star Wars. RMB was spot on about this season, and Gary has been right about Star Wars. There you go. About Star Wars, I like, huh? Yeah, I like being, well, the, it being fucking dead. Yeah, I've been saying yeah. that for like four years. I was eventually going to be right. So. It, 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 <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it takes like long, honestly. Like if you Kathleen Kennedy to be fired, eventually exactly, you'll be right. right? Yeah. yeah. It's weird. Sources yeah. have told me Star Wars is still dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, Picard season three was fucking Star Wars awesome. Wars left Hollywood. I know. <laughs> good one, as. 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 As has been as critical. Shad saw it, too. I want to hear both of your guys. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to talk about a little Star Trek Picard here. All right, oh, let's, so let's, let's um, let's do it. as repeat again, like how you felt when you saw those last two episodes, dude. Uh, very actually emotional. Uh, particularly the end of episode nine. Weird, because I I kind of had the same. I've been watching the Red Light Media things today about it. This Red Light Media watched about yeah, and I kind of had the same uh, feelings. I enjoyed the first like four, and then the next couple which a couple of people really liked i was sort of like i actually thought they were like okay and then the last bit was just was just phenomenal and uh yeah it, it uh there's there's a there's a way to do fan service and there's a way to just do member berries and uh the way that they did the fan service in in picard it meant something. Every, everything meant something. There was mm. a reason to do things. There's a reason for Ensign Rowe, well, now Commander Rowe, but there was a, a reason for Ensign Rowe to appear. There was a reason for Tuvok to appear. There's a reason for the Enterprise D to appear. Now, these are all in, in bubbles, big ass member berries. Member, the, member them? Member them? Shelby, right. uh, of course, from Best of Both Worlds, uh, uh, parts one and two. Uh, her coming in as an admiral, yeah, you know, you could you could see these things. They they actually weren't just just fan service. I mean, they were fan service. Don't get me wrong, but they were but they served a, a purpose in the show itself. There was a reason why they needed to take something like the Enterprise D from the museum. There was a re- so uh, yeah, just having that. Sorry, I've got my fucking stormtrooper helmet talking to me. Um, 
the reason that you know <laughs> having having that done and, and having something like that actually service the plot as opposed to just be a jar jar member this you know we've right. just got mm. this in because uh -huh. this is he this is star this is a star wars you like a star wars don't you <laughs> uh and so to, to actually have something which which had meaning had impact uh and at the same time didn't feel gratuitous it felt necessary to the story and a function of the story uh, but yeah that that end it was just it was just such a such a great ending and and uh to have the the cast on that end you know on the emprise d just doing what they do there was that that moment for two episodes where patrick stewart actually felt like picard yeah which is, I think, the first time in the whole of the three seasons we've we've had that. Instead of Patrick Stewart, we actually got John Luke Picard. And, and you so, have yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to wonder, as as I wonder out loud, I'm about to say something that I already know the answer to the question to. Uh, if Star Wars did Disney Star Wars did play anything into that decision to hey maybe we should reunite the crew, but the entire crew including the Enterprise-D, which was one of the biggest criticisms of all of uh, Star Trek Picard was that was a character in the show. The Enterprise has always been a character right. in Star Trek. So, uh, you know, I can't say for sure because I'm not in the head of Terry Metalis or anything like that if that played into the decision for freaking Paramount and Star Trek, which has been shit, the, the shit of shit, to own fucking Star Wars. Well, I mean, I, I, look... I, somebody, somebody uh, on a tw on a stream I did yesterday said, "Hey, did you see what Terry Metallo said to Robert Mar Burnett? That's not fair." And I was like, "Well, what did he say?" And they were, and they said, uh, "Well, Robert was criticizing Starfleet Academy, the upcoming Starfleet Academy," and Terry's just like, "Oh, stop this shit, Robert! You're better than this, or something." Yep. And they were just like, "Oh, he's just like everyone else." And I was like, "Look, I was like, okay, this this kind of looks like a little bit like." banter because terry and, and robert know each other and i said and secondly i said you don't make the series that terry metallis made while being a complete fucking shill it doesn't he do, it doesn't work i mean one of the the things which stood out massively for me was when crusher said beverly crusher said the borg haven't been seen for 10 years and he just like they were in the last fucking season <laughs> yep. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> raised, he, he fucking, <laughs> yeah. So he was sorry. Terry's literally just going fuck this. You know all this bullshit that they've been doing, all this absolute fucking dog shit, and fucking up the Borg, and fucking up this, and fucking up Q, and fucking up that. Uh, he's just he's just going nah, out the window. Yeah. Borg haven't been seen for ten years. Oh, Q's alive. I thought you were dead, Q. I, yeah. I'm a Q. Oh, fuck yeah. it I, I, yeah. I, I, so It's just just great. Shit. Ironically, it sounds like Terry Metalis actually did erase the sequels. Uh, yeah, to a degree. <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, he's. I was. Oh, go on, Chad. Oh, I was just genuinely surprised. I thought, like, you know, my cold black heart was just over, you know, the franchises that are getting ruined and stuff. And the nostalgic kind of love that blossomed when I was watching Picard Season 3 for these characters in this franchise, I was like, it just felt great. It's like, wow, I, I didn't realize how much love I still had for those characters and seeing them given true justice and attention and all the characters had moments to shine. Now, there are, of course, some, you know, odd things that happen plot wise, but overall, the writing is actually really decent. There's they're, they're, it's very attentive to the setup and payoff and the overarching story of the entire season. Like when they first go to the Fleet Museum, there's a little bit of a hint saying, what about the thing in Hang It Out? And it's like, no, no, we can't use that. I got yeah, not for this. And so they know where the story was going through the whole season. And I find it such a contrasting point of reference to something like Mandalorian that just had filler useless episodes in season three. And it was just so meandering and pointless where contrast this with Picard season three, every single episode was doing heavy lifting to progress the plot. It was significant and it played out and then every single character got a good moment to shine. It didn't make fun or belittle a lot of the characters we love. They uh, uh, Even the new characters also got, you know, their moments as well. Jack is a great fun character and uh, uh, and so overall, I, I loved it. I thought it was great. 
but there yeah. was there were some great little stabs. There was some great little stabs at Kurtzman and, and Goldsman. Like Elnor at the end of Picard yes. season two. <laughs> he's assigned he's assigned to the Excelsior. There's only one ship which gets blown up. It's the, the Excelsior. Excelsior. <laughs> Jesus. So, I didn't so I didn't Elnor, realize that it's Elnor funny. Got, Elnor got killed. So yeah, if, if And if, nobody if, even mentioned his name. No, no. And and that being Sulu's old ship too. Yeah. And Sulu's old ship as kind well, of, yeah. Kind of funny. No, there's plenty of stabs. There's there's plenty of deep cuts and not so deep cuts, but some deep cuts to, to show that like this is a Star Trek fan doing it. Star Trek fans will notice this. A normie won't, and it won't affect the story, right? But if, like, if the, but to, to to what you said about like uh you know like t- Terry can't go out and say Starfleet Academy's like I don't know how he feels on this by the way nobody knows how he feels but like I would imagine as somebody who's a fellow showrunner. At a, at, just in Hollywood's not going to go. That show looks like fucking shit. Yeah. It'd be great to hear it. Yeah, it, it would I be. would love it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can't do that. But you can't do that, okay? Uh, but like, let's be real. That show looks like shit. That looks like absolute dog shit. It will. It will be worse than Star Trek Discovery as. It, it'll be terrible. Yeah, I, I mean, what, one of the clever things. I mean, Terry did some very clever things in the series. I thought, um, particularly when it came to data, actually. Because, uh, you know, in, in Picard season one, we had this embarrassing scene at the end of, this, oh. of season one where a dead Picard is talking to a dead Data. Oh, God. Yeah. About, I'm in love with you. And then Data <laughs> says, can you just fucking kill me, please? <laughs> that's so, basically so, how the audience felt. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's how I felt watching it. I was just like, <laughs> I just want to fucking die. Uh, just like Data. So you had Data apparently dying again after being killed in Nemesis. Uh, but in this series, you know, Terry did, he he went back and he did the sensible stuff. Uh, he made us fully aware that, um, n- no, there is there is part of Data alive because there's part of Data alive in B4. B4 is set in the Daystrom Space Center, not the Daystrom Institute. So you got the you got B4 and the Daystrom Space Center still looking as B4 looked out beforehand. Then you've also got the knowledge that uh, uh, that uh, Sung has created this mixture of Data's personality based off what he took from B4 and also Law's personality. So now you've actually got two elements of Data going. Uh, and then he put B4 in there as well. So you've got you've got various different aspects to create this, this symbiotic person. So now we've got Data back. And this is a data who really doesn't remember anything after Nemesis. His his memory will stop and cease at meant Nemesis. And even if this data is destroyed, we still have the B4 part of data alive. And he made sure that everybody was sort of aware of how all the different aspects, because Law was killed. No, Law's not dead, because Law is still deactivated in, in uh, wherever he is now. Uh, but Law is still active. Well, he's deactivated, but Law could still come back. So he, he's essentially saying that the you know the data and the whole um, positronic aspect of it is so much more complicated than Picard sat down going, I, "I'm in love. I, I love, love you. you. Yeah. <laughs> would you would you please put me in my bum hole?" And Data just saying, <laughs> "Can you can you kill me, please? please. Can you?" Get- like, I it's agree. just nice little things like that because because as a sci-fi nerd, sorry, I'm going. This is it. I'm going nerd. But as a sci-fi nerd, these are the things that you love to hear. These are the things that you understand and, and get it because you are yourself saying it. But data's not. not I mean, we still got B4, and we know that data's been implanted in B4. So how can you kill data here? It doesn't make any sense. You know, yada yada yada. You know. So he was. He he did quite a few elements of the stupid. Let's have an emotional moment, which makes no fucking sense, uh, and turn it into some actual sci-fi. As someone who is not a Star Trek fan, in terms of like Next Generation, I didn't watch too much of it. I'm not really attached to it. I didn't watch Picard season one or two. I didn't watch season three. But seeing the clips go around of the crew reunite, I think that was episode nine. Was it the end of episode nine mm-hmm. that was that, yeah. that shot? And it's like, that's all Star Wars had to do. Like, that's literally all you had to do with those characters. And they are very lucky that, I mean, these guys are like 70 years old, if not older for some of them mm-hmm. at this point. The, the oh, fact yeah. that they're all still around, that they all still look good, 
that they are at least relatively good is pretty amazing for them to do that. Yeah, for being their age, they looked great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it was just a cool moment to see and a cool moment to see fans celebrating and getting emotional over that. And it's something that's it seems so easy. Why don't we get that more in Hollywood if you're going to do these things, you're going to use these characters? Why don't you give the fans what, what they want? Uh, it seems easy, but it's not for some reason. Well, but, and uh, the other thing, too, is they had a lot of fun with it. It's like, you know, you had Beverly Manning um, uh, Tactical, and she's just blowing the shit out of everything, and it, it made me yeah. laugh. And then it, they cut to the scene, uh, and everyone just turns and looks at her, and, and she's like, you know, it's been, tw- you know, 20 years. <laughs> You know, she makes well, a joke about it. But also, <laughs> yeah. set up and pay off. Like a lot, lot of things happen in 20 years. Season. Yeah. But yeah, at the very beginning of the season, you see her handling weapons and she's going yes. hard. Uh, like, And so there's already a good setup to explain that she has had a lot of experience recently in combat and handling weapons and stuff. And so it made perfect sense that she could handle tactical. Right. Uh, I loved it. Like, again, set up, pay off, they're very aware of what they're doing and. Uh, it was satisfying. As yeah, well. and they did a lot of great things. And I've heard a lot of the criticism being, oh, well, this is nothing more than Star Trek Greatest Hits. So I was like, okay, yeah, to a degree, I can agree with that. But it's done well. It's a story you know, that is well done. It's paying respect to the characters, to the, to the series. And that's all I think anybody asked for. It's like uh, there's stuff I can still complain about, like the fact that nobody can find a light switch. You know, it's, till the yeah. end. <laughs> yeah, till, yeah, till the end. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I haven't seen it. I'm not really interested in watching it. But, I mean, and I've seen some people get mad because so many people are enjoying it. It's like, I'm happy people are enjoying it. There's enough bad shit out there yeah. right now. I'm happy that fans of this property are really enjoying this. And I've seen a lot of enthusiasm yeah. across the board. I saw people trying to say Gary was shilling before yeah. they saw it. And then <laughs> they know. went to see it, and they're like, holy shit, he was right. It's like, yeah, that's we're going to be honest. All, all we can do is be honest. If something's good, our job... Our job is to be honest with the audience. That's it. That's all we can be. Um, and uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, I'll tip you later. But uh, all, I, all we can be is honest. Our job mm-hmm. is to inform you guys as to what's out there. It's up to you to decide if you want to go and t- give your time and money to it after that. Yeah, We're not and, the yeah. arbiters of And everything of what in do. there that these characters went through was earned. Like the whole thing was – I don't want to spoil the end. Uh, but – there's been some complaints about certain things that happened at the end. It's like, no, all that shit was earned. Yeah. It wasn't just handed yeah. to yes. them. Can I jump on that? Because I talked a bit about this on my stream on Night's Watch. And and there are, there are people in the chat and a few comments that were saying that it's woke, that season three was really woke. Right. What? And I, no. I want to talk about yeah, that a little that, bit. Yeah, please do. I, address that right I, now. I, I, like... We, it shows that people are only trying to service a narrative if you say it's woke when, whenever there's a strong female character on screen or something like that. No, 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 no. The thing that makes us say a strong female character woke is when they're made to appear strong at the expense of the other characters right. around them, specifically the male characters and stuff, or they're a Mary Sue because they don't know how to write a proper arc and for them to grow and to learn. And so there is an end, you know, in Picard, and I'll avoid, you know, the major spoilers, but mm. there is, uh, you know, someone becomes a captain and someone becomes, you know, second command and stuff. And there's been comments that because the captain is a, is a woman, that it's I, woke, yeah. it's the woke narrative, when, no. hang on, no, that, not, not at all, because it's perfectly justified in the plot. It, it, it actually makes complete sense why the person is in the role that they are. And the male character around them isn't belittled. In fact, he's actually put in a really prominent position. Yes. Experience yeah. yeah. To support her. More, and, than, and so more than, than he should have been. Yeah, More absolutely. than he should have been. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. And so it's boggling my mind that people would try and actually call out and the, the show's um, equally the gonna the show which is not gonna happen by the way yeah uh the show yeah, is gonna I, be I equally about seven of nine and jack it was their show uh with, and then uh uh terry talked about it they, they would have brought in other ds9 and other voyager characters mm-hmm. from the past that they they couldn't work into next generation but the show's not like it's not happening i, I know a lot of people Star, are, if, if you're a star trek fan <laughs> You know, people who say that they clearly they either don't watch Star Trek. They, they're not Star, Star Trek, Trek fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Star no, Trek fans. They're not Star Trek yeah. fans because yeah. we we you know we've had Janeway. You know, we've yeah. had uh, bloody black female heads of the fleet in Next Generation for Christ's sake. Uh, the the in Next Generation going back to the fucking eighties, eighty seven. The um the the uh, the youngest person to make captain and become a captain of Starship was a black female. 
you know, we've seen all these things happen. Nobody was complained about anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's and Star Trek. It, it makes it, sense in that world. Exactly, it makes sense in that yes. universe. Yes. And, and because it's because it's, it's it's yeah, it's it's a it's a um uh sorry, hold on, my brain's just gone dead for a second. It's uh it's a meritocracy. It's about yes. it's about the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So when Star Trek says to you this person is the best, you believe it. Because you see how the other officers, you see how the subordinates, you see how everybody acts. Because there is a very structured chain of command. Mm -hmm. And exactly. you don't get you don't get pals in space. You don't get that. Certainly you have your your, your friend moments, but when it came to command structure, especially on TNG, there was a very very strict command structure. And so when you have that, and then you go to oh. DS9, and you have, uh, you know, Benjamin Sisko as commander, and people going, well, why isn't he captain? And it's all, well, you, you kind of like a captain of a ship and a commander of a space station. So I sort of understood that. But it was still nice to have him then elevated up to a captain uh, a couple of seasons later. And then we got Janeway, female captain. How many of us complain about Janeway? None. Nobody does. We've been through this whole process. Who is head of engineering? Belana Torres. What is she? Female, half human, half Klingon. Who was complaining? Nobody. You know, we we because if you're a Star Trek fan, you understand the universe, you understand the rules, and you understand the context of everything. So when exactly. a character's there, you are really seeing how how good the characterization is, not the position that they hold, not the gender of that person, nothing like that whatsoever. And that's where Discovery messed up because Miss discovery wasn't about the meritocracy it was literally about inclusion and diversity which is the very antithesis of the meritocracy and that's why discovery fell apart because it was emotional friends with no command structure in space and it was an absolute joke so yeah if you said the end of end of picard season three is woke because we've got a female captain we've got a female first officer you don't know star trek you don't know anything about it so fuck them well, yeah, that's and, that's what we have. Setting. That's what we have on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is where we get uh, what you were alluding to earlier, Shad, is and what Jeremy spoke of, and I put it on Twitter. I've said it a million times now. We, if we're not being honest, it's just another fucking narrative, right? Right, and I'm not I'm not interested in competing narratives and supporting another narrative, right? I'm I'm yeah. interested in being honest. I will point out what I see. I will point out when. You know, Star Trek has been a great example of like you made something like shitty and woke that never needed to be shitty and woke, but that could be said about every yeah. fucking thing Pretty much. we've covered. Mm. These were just stories, and these were like we're not talking in depth political thrillers or some Fellini film or some fucking independent political film or some independent documentary. Although Disney likes to hire them now to direct Marvel movies, we're talking about fun shit. We're talking about Star Trek. We're talking about, you know, uh, uh, fucking Doctor Who and Star Wars. This is where we used to go to relax. And that's why I always bring up Jar Jar Abrams saying the quiet part out loud while our shit was burning down in 2020. No more mm. white comfort. Right. That That is a neo-Marxist bullshit fucking saying that he, that he was just repeating. Does he believe it from a, the comfort of a $16 million mansion? I don't fucking know. Or, or is he just doing it so they won't burn down a $16 million mansion? I don't know what the motivations are. I don't care. What I know is the result. The result has been they're taking stuff that used to bring people together and they're using it to divide people. And then we get one thing that like doesn't divide people. And not everybody's going to recognize it. Now, again, if you're one of those people who said they shit on me enough, I'm not going back. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a good point. That's totally fine. Yeah. That is absolutely totally fine. With fine. That. Yeah. 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 If you, say, if you say, I, I, don't, I don't want to watch it as because, uh, I, I, you know, the first two seasons were shit. I don't want to support Kurtzman. I don't want to support Paramount. Fine. I ain't got a problem mm -hmm. with that. I totally, I totally agree with you. But don't start making bullshit up about the show. Don't, <laughs> yes. start, don't start making... You can have an opinion by, by... That's fine. Again, no problem with an opinion. But when you start making bullshit up to try and create a narrative for yourself, no, 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 no. Don't be disingenuous. No, no, mm -hmm. no. 
I mean, like, out of any setting that you would actually expect to be really diverse, it'd be the freaking Federation in the future where you, you expect multiple aliens, let alone multiple types of humans and stuff. And yeah, they're all there on merit. But because, you know, it's the future, everyone has, all, you know, the ability to achieve. Of course, you're going to expect that. And it's very different in context to say a, a setting that's based off medieval European history like Rings of Power that has a very cultural kind of grounding. And so... We always approach, you know, is this, you know, types, is this type of diversity forced? Is it injected into a setting out of context? Are they changing historical figures like Anne Boleyn Black, right? Then you can clearly see that that's obviously for a woke agenda. Right. But for something like the Federation, where it's obviously, and you would expect it to be crazy oh, yeah. diverse, um, yeah, just because yeah. you have all these, you know, multiple different yeah. types of people in all these different positions... That's what you would expect for the setting. And so when if people are starting to call Picard Season 3 woke for, you know, just because it has, like, you know, female characters and stuff, one, like, Picard holds his own. He, he, he actually he starts to speak aggressively to um, uh, Crusher, Crusher. And, mm. he, and that was a good, important scene where it was like... Mm -hmm. she, the male characters were given justice and got to stand and uh, and have their strength as well as the female characters. We see the balance. It's the good writing that you want. And for people who would just want to say it's woke because it has like, you know, a female character position, that gives weight to the arguments where people say, oh, if Aliens was made today, you'd call it woke and everything. Bullshit. And Shut up. With... I never would, and yeah. I don't think anyone here would, no. because we base it on the context and where it comes out, like a leader if, battle uh, angel. Shad, Shad, if it. fucking Aliens was made today, or Alien, it would be a massive fucking hit, because it is a yes, timeless it story. Would. Yes. It would still yes. be a massive fucking hit. <laughs> That's the difference, you dipshits. If Star Wars were made today, it would be a massive fucking hit. Mm -hmm. You know they, they don't understand timeless. They they stamp they they stamp these things with fucking expiration dates and and they make them timely uh, for the modern yeah. audience. And that where's the fucking modern audience? I'm still waiting for the. Oh, you know what the modern audience likes? Tom Cruise movies. Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> they like Mario and Brothers and too. Avatar movies yeah. and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. The modern audience likes good movies, just like any other fucking audience what? in the history of the world. Right? Shockingly Shocking. enough, it doesn't matter how much you push your bullshit into it. People are still going to gravitate to good movies. That's it. Magnum Norse for one hundred dollars. I feel so naked without my clapping. Sorry. <laughs> I like the awkwardness. I like Gary being yeah. awkward when he says it. He doesn't it just. I, sometimes he's doing like phantom hits. I uh, do. I was doing it the other day. I do it. I was doing it the, uh, at yours. I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a little autistic. Um, please, uh, I'm a little retarded. I'm Wait, a little. No. I'm a lot retarded. Uh, please react to the strange way of life trailer. It's gold. Thanks, Pedro Pascal, for making me pee my pants laughing. Oh, is that the new? That's what it, I heard. Brokeback Mountain. It. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see it. You that. It I haven't that. seen it. So yeah, they wanted me to react to it today on let's my stream it. too. It when doesn't Ryan look real. And when Ryan had no. It doesn't internet. look real. Like it. No, I mean it's real, but it doesn't look real. It looks like a fucking parody of itself yeah. or something. Jesus. What's it called again? Brokeback what? Pedro. It's called uh, Bend Over at Me Bum. Strange way of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that last night. I had no idea that this was even a thing. It's, it's called Oscar Bait Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's with uh, Ethan. Is it Ethan Hawke? Oh, and, Jesus. Uh, they even Pascal. do the same freaking poster. Yeah, is, the, th is it, the thumbnail. Is well, it a parody? It looks like a parody, but it, it's real. Are you sure it's not a parody? Uh, it's not I, like a cla It's not a fucking comedy. I, it might be a comedy, but it's not a parody, if that makes sense. It it's looks like, real. It's... Yeah, but it, we, if we if we watch it, you're gonna laugh at it. Um, I should just call it beautiful and brave and get it over. <laughs> Stunning and brave. <laughs> the Stunning movie. and brave. Yeah, the movie. Mm. If we can uh, find a way to share my screen, I don't know if that's possible. I do know how to. Quit oh, look at this. that! There we go. Oh, amazing. There we go. We all right? All right. All right. Make sure my audio is on. There we go. Uh, Strange way of life. <laughs> It's is this like a, a movie? Melodrama. Oh no! It just the trailer looks like it's fan made. It's like an it's over the top drama yeah. from the fifties. Yeah, it's, it's like a parody of that genre. Oh, it's gone. Thing doesn't work. There, there you go. Got it. Yeah, Joe. 
Dude, it's yeah, it's directed and edited like this. Got to be college humor. This cannot be real. It's Pedro oh, Pascal and Ethan Hawke. I mean, I can believe them being gay, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> the parody. It's a, a Pedro Almodovar makes these like over the top drama comedies that are kind okay. of dark and what the so fuck? it's like yeah, it's. <laughs> It's a it's a parody of a <laughs> melodrama from the fifties. What is there? Oh, okay. what, what, what what's the what's the ratio on that thing? Uh oh, it, I, I can't see it being ratioed, bad. But... Is it ratio? It's it's not. It was three. I, well, I think dude. I think it looks fucking hilarious. Yeah. It's got one hundred thirty thousand views. It's got three hundred uh, three thousand seven hundred upvotes. Two thousand four hundred. Wow. Down. When, when I saw it, I reacted to it on stream like two days ago, and it was ratioed then. So. I don't know which YouTube channel I saw, but it, I think I bought it on the Rotten Tomatoes trailer, actually. But it's it's so weird, man. It is. Because, like, yeah. the, the way they have him sneak up behind Pedro Pascal and everything. It's... Ryan, if you like that, I could send you more gay stuff to react to. I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair, Chris is the first one that told me Bros is a disaster in the yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, just and, wait. Uh, and, and he was Santa right. Santa Inc. Santa Inc. Yeah. 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 Chris sent me. He's like, hey, this I remember is this that thing called Santa Because Ryan Inc. hit me up. He's like, Chris told me about Santa Inc. I, I re didn't you do a video on your channel? It blew up. Up, yeah, and yeah. then everybody else started doing them, and then so he, but he had told me from the hey. beginning. He's like, Chris is the only reason I knew my, about my that. biggest uh, video. Chris sent me that article and told me for a month, <laughs> make a video on this, oh, <laughs> make a video on this. I'm like, all right, I'll make mm. a video. I, I Thanks, sent, Chris. I sent another video in the private chat. I don't know if you want to look at it. It's uh, it's two minutes. It's an unlisted video. It's not public, but it relates to what you guys were talking about with when you guys were talking Picard season three. Um, First of all, great conversation. Christy and I left, and uh, <laughs> we went to the bathroom. Can I just say how amazing Separately. Christy is? Because uh, we grabbed a couple drinks, a little warm in here. Yeah. Um, so Christy went to the bathroom, then I went in after. She left the seat up. I just want to say wow. thank you. It was great. <laughs> thank you, no, Chris. I, I, know, I know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to imply? Hang on, hang on. Are you trying to imply, <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> trying to imply that she went to the toilet standing up? No, yeah. I'm saying she yeah. was considerate. She was a considerate also, woman. Also, I have a penis. Did, did you ask her to put <laughs> it down, Chris? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that like look for a woman thick enough that she doesn't need to put the toilet the toilet seat down? Oh. <laughs> Only Ryan. Oh. I, I don't know if you want to show that, Gary, but uh, I, I uh, you know, it just it relates to what you were saying with Picard of like, well, what's the future for Star Trek? And it's it, it it's clearly a fan made thing, but I'm looking. At, first of all, the quality is insane. And uh, let's take a look at it. I don't, I don't know if you want to just because I think it'd be I think the audience would be interested. Regeneration. It's not Doctor Who. No. No. That's degeneration. Yeah. Very beautiful landscapes mm -hmm. we're looking at. Very serene. Very peaceful. Yeah. I feel calm. It's a crick. I feel calm as well. Nice dolly show. Oh, there's a spaceship. Ooh. You know what that one is. Let me see. Recognize that? Look like Buck Rogers ships and A wings. Yeah. This is fan made. It looks a little Vulcan to me. This looks incredible. This looks fucking yeah. good. Yeah. Oh! Is that the rock Baby Yoda had to sit on in Mandalorian? <laughs> This is from a travesty in a film called Generations when they killed Kurt. Fucking hate that movie. This is insane. Yeah, this, this is, is beautiful. This is absolutely yeah. insane. That's got to be Spock. They got a defake Spock. Yep. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Wow. Who did this? Oh, I, I need, don't know. I need this. I need I, this. I, I want to know. know. I, I, wow. I'm saying some, some, someone just, people send me stuff. I get stuff. Yeah. I, I, it's fan, got to be fan made, but could that be like a, a pitch, part of a pitch for another show? Seven six five eight seven four regeneration in two K. That's amazing. From one day what, ago. What star date? What star date does that equate to? Is is that uh, Kirk's death? I, I don't, I don't I, know. I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know does either. It but but I, it just quietly sent to me. I I someone it was has me. to know. Some... I made it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? You're looking at that. We were talking. It's got a hundred and twenty nine thousand views and it's unlisted. It, yeah. So someone's spreading it. Wow. Yeah. Oh. But the the the, the emo right because Spock is half human half Vulcan, that reaction to the Enterprise burning in the atmosphere because that that's what that would have been, wouldn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. uh, that reaction was just like perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, perfect. that was pretty dope. It's just again, it kind of it just brings it back to the people that are working on this shit don't actually care. Cause, no, uh, <laughs> like that, something like that no. looks better than ninety five percent of shit we're seeing right now in yeah. Hollywood. But this is no, the potential. No, 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 ninety nine point nine percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the potential for fan made things. I mean, and a lot of people even cross over from making fan made things to professional things in Hollywood. Well, yep. so it's completely within the realm of possibility to do other stuff like that. But that, that to me, that's your Kirk show. Kirk did, got a terrible, terrible send off in the Star Trek universe. One of the greatest fictional characters of all time, right? Mm -hmm. Captain James Motherfucking T Kirk. And it was the worst send-off generations, I think we all agree, you know, oh, generations. Oh. Yeah, it was terrible. And that's how you that's how Kirk goes out like a bitch. I mean, to me one of the best uh on screen movie screen like send-offs of a character is Spock. His death in Star Trek II the Wrath of Khan meant something. Yes. He died in yes. front of the the people he loved and respected that he sacrificed his own life for. Yes. And Kirk dies falling off some tr you know big structure what? Wait, what? She hasn't seen it. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Uh, Chris. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, what? I get a spoiler warning for, for uh, sorry, 50 sorry, year old sorry, movies. Sorry, sorry. I, thought, <laughs> I thought she got stung <laughs> by a bee or something. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, Gary, look at Gary. He's mad. Look at him. X-ray girl. At the end of Gone with the Wren, Rhett Butler says, I don't give a damn. Sorry to spoil the 100 year old movie for you. Yeah. But look, I'm just saying that William Shatner is alive. He just had a documentary about him that's at that was at South by Southwest that's going to come out. I saw this interview with him that was like happened there. He has more energy than anyone in this room. He can yeah. kick all our asses. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, how's this guy like so full of life and whatever at ninety goes up to freaking space? Yep. I mean, make make because a, the, the, make a uh, six that's what he's about, two. Chris. Yeah, he's about life. That is William Shatner. Yes. William Shatner is living life and he loves life and you can tell you can tell with every project that he does, every fiber mm -hmm. of his being every interaction that he does even when people are coming at him he's just so sort of nonchalant about his destruction of them because he ultimately is just like whatever to you, I've got life to live and it, I think, you know I, this is a man that could, could go on and on, if he, he could achieve so much if he was just allowed to go on and on and on, it, 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 oh man well, someone needs to show Terry Natalis that video. You guys were talking earlier about Henry Cavill and how he was just so emasculated in uh, yeah. in The Witcher. Look what they've done to the not just Shatner by you know excising him from promotions of Paramount, you know, and Star Trek stuff. I mean, you know, Kirk as a character has just been. They're not even going to have him in the show. You know, like I mean, well, to a degree where he's not particularly important. I just Captain James C. Kirk. Look, I grew up watching that original Star Trek series. Con so many conversations with my dad and friends. Like you would bond over how great Kirk was as a character, and to have him go out like he did in Generations. Chris, was, Chris, oh, um, Chris the qu important Terry, question is: Do they make Metallus him gay? Is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Terry Metallus has got a bridge here, though. Yeah. Because in the in the Daystrom space. Yeah, uh, station. There's a little, there's a little nod to, to return. You know the novel series by William Shatner, yeah, the yeah, Return, yeah. that he wrote right after Generations. And there's a little nod to that, and that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But I'm just saying, there's a lot of possibilities, and a movie that no one in this room, I'm sure, has seen. Bo is afraid. Um, it's the one with Joaquin Phoenix, right? It's the one with yeah, Joaquin Phoenix yeah. from Ari Aster. It's fucking pretentious. It's bullshit. But that movie is about the emasculation of men. 
That is what the theme of the thread of that film is about. That men can't even be men without being criticized anymore. It's uh, if you look at it through that lens, it's an interesting movie, but it's it's pretentious garbage. It's going to bomb at the box office. Yeah, it's like an A twenty four bomb, right? It's an A well, A twenty four can put out really interesting stuff. You know, they yeah. did X and Pearl. So they've done like some cool horror shit. I, I tend to like their stuff because it's weird, but this is just, they spent way too much money on right. an art film is what they did. Same thing with bros, you know? They spent too much <laughs> money on a movie that should have been a limited audience. It's limited market, you know? Yeah, you get it. Gay, gay people, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's, you can do that. I mean, that new Pedro thing looks great. I can't wait. As and I are going to go see it. We're going to see it yes, together. Yes, I am. I, I I'll think that looks it. funny. Yeah. I think that looks funny. I'm going to go see that. Uh, Roland the Wretched, who did not go to Chrissy's show. Wow. What? Unbelievable. Well, he didn't want to get roasted Oopsie. for it. She got, le- she got left hanging when she asked, who's the dude who waxed his balls? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> she asked about you, dude. Yep. And you didn't make it. That oh, leaves well. an impression on a woman. Mm-hmm. $160 <laughs> in four parts. It says, great event Wednesday. It was cool to meet so many awesome people with a wide variety of interests, even a fellow waxer. Wow, nice. We're connecting people. That's what we're about, right? Uh, And honoring, it was honoring to have so many people say, I know you, or you're that guy, in response to hearing my online online name, fucking hell. It was great to meet most of the rest of the FNT gang. Quarter Black Garrett is a good dude. Despite his take on pineapple pizza and man buns, quite frankly, <laughs> which angers him, uh, didn't get to spend much time with comics. Uh, well, because you're like uh, rolling, you're like tall. Yeah, you're like yeah. two feet taller than him. <laughs> no, no. Shout, he, he, shout out to the production. We crew did get the here. meat, though. We did get the meat. But shout out to the production crew here who did an amazing job with comics using that forced perspective thing like the Peter Jackson movies <laughs> to make him in scale uh, with everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. The they, they, did the did it, they did the same thing so. the Harry Potter movies did with Hagrid, basically. For right. Comics. <laughs> so, make him look normal. Yeah, comics was trying to get your attention roll. You just couldn't see him. Uh, <laughs> no, we actually met. We did meet. Didn't get to spend yeah. much time. Okay, I read that. But I think we have a lot in common. News. Newsflash. Ryan is a nice guy. No, he's not. <laughs> no, that's, he's just putting out an act for you. Ryan's actually a major asshole. <laughs> um, Jeremy uh, was the only disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I try, and I succeed. He reneged on delivering gay Ryan, and I can say <laughs> unequivocally, he is gay. Yeah, Ryan. no, I didn't. He, he accused me of that, but I said, here's the deal. He's always gay. Yeah. That's you know, my, so that's I was like, it's just power. like the Hulk. Like, it's yeah. like, here's my secret. And I said, go up to him and just ask him. And he'll say, that's my secret. I'm always gay. gay. Yeah. And apparently Ryan's the one that failed to deliver the line. I, I don't remember that. I drank a lot uh, at the meetup. So I think probably excuse. 15 or 16 drinks. So that's oh. why you were told. So wait, so in that same Super Chat, he said Ryan was nice. Yeah. Yeah. He said Ryan's that that nice. means Ryan's wrong. gay. Yeah. 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 It's nice, but not gay. Yeah, because Ryan is not nice. Not at all. He's never happy. He's never I, satisfied with anything. He's I'm, always pissed off. I'm nice meeting all of the people at the meetups. I'm nice meeting all the people at the meetups. That's for <laughs> yeah. sure. It's about the only time. So, uh, I hope Odin has been working on his penance. He is Aww. watching. And I hope Chrissy found a... Uh, a e- equal, uh, an equally retarded oh. person in her audience that night. Not as retarded. I'm not going to comment. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that at all. Uh, hang on, sorry. Awkward. After Wednesday, awkward silence. Yeah. Uh, it's clear why this community, don't use that word. Uh, I like constituency. I like that. Yeah. I love this community. It's so strong. I love this community. Stop it. <laughs> why, why, why don't you just say, I love commie. I love communists. I, uh, I love commie. I'm so proud. Calm down, comrade. Calm down, Calm down <laughs> commie rad. Uh, special shout out to Amanda from Chicago, I think. And her mom, Amanda, was the first person who recognized me. So hail to FNT. Hail to the fellowship. To the chat. Baby Thor. And Hawaiian pizza. Fuck yeah. I'll have you guys know that Gary has had pineapple pizza sitting here 
for fucking hours and hasn't touched it. That's how much he loves it. Yep. Oh, like as soon as I shamed him into it, yeah. he starts yeah. Yeah. Put, it, put it on the floor, Ryan. Just put it on the floor, and then maybe <laughs> yeah. it'll yeah. floor yeah. pizza. Ryan, I'm into it. <laughs> I, I know there's other pizza sitting out there. <laughs> I, can, can floor I can feel okay. it. I can feel it. Now I gotta wait till somebody say something. So I'm, oh. I'm chewing. Uh, yeah, Roland the Wretched, he said, hey, I'm rolling. I was like, hey, you're the guy that waxed your balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine that was the hundredth time he heard that. Yep. So. I hope he heard it a hundred yeah. times more after that. <laughs> hey, can we, can we do a visual for a second there? Yep. Uh, uh, sit on as, please. Uh, Chris, could you, uh, could you, oh, wrong side. <laughs> back to back thing. Oh, Chris, could you just please yes. tell me how many, how many lights there are? Uh, let's see. That looks like four. four. Chris isn't four. here. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh, god damn it. It I says four tracky. light panels. Gary, yes. can you please tell me how many lights there are? There are four lights! There are four lights! Mm -hmm. I'm here. Shit. Fucking wasted on you, fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> fucking too good for you. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> So Chris went and got me the old pizza <laughs> instead of the Is new, new pizza. Yeah, I'll sh I'll I'll get it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, 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 hang on, hang on. Did Chris just mess up your order? <laughs> yeah, 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 I screwed up, yeah, I screwed up no! Ryan's order. Did. There we go. Yeah, literally that happened. I got my order screwed up by Chris. Hey, Ry yeah. Ryan's F and T journey is hey, complete Jay. in Vegas. Jay, make yourself useful. Could you give us some pizza, please? <laughs> <laughs> He just like said sure. That uh, was a really good attitude for me <laughs> fucking with him. Player. Oh man. Sorry. Did you the finger or all the junk all the J Simps are gonna get mad at me. Drunk 3PO in the, the house. Team. He's here. Oh. He's, hey, say hello, Yay! Jay! <laughs> and he walks out. Is it for like Ryan? a pro. <laughs> I hope Ryan sits on it. <laughs> Put it on the floor. Yeah. He already put the one you brought in, he, he put, put it on the floor. Yeah. It's, it's like, there. It's like his microwave. So. <laughs> it is. Uh, Link fan on the Streamlabs side for $150. Yeah. yeah. Hope you all are having a good time in Vegas. Here is a shitload of dimes to help get you all home. And I hunted, Chris. I, I hunted hunt. for Gary's review of RRR. Oh, it's, nah. yeah. That's coming. <laughs> that's coming. Thanks. Drunk okay, 3PO! Yay! Love you, Jay. Love you, Jay. <laughs> Jay's my boy. Ryan, there's floor pizza over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, don't, shit. don't yeah. sit. <laughs> yeah, I heard you're like, oh, I hope he doesn't, hope he sits on it. I do. <laughs> I still eat it. Gets all up your crack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Jay Cha Cha for That's what 50, Fifty dollars at 50! 50! I had a great time at the meetup. Didn't get to see Eric K though. Well, he was standing right next to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he was there. He was there all night. He's here, here today. Yeah. There my he one regret. My one regret was. What? Oh, hi, Eric <laughs> K. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> I just jumped in to say hello to everybody and how much I appreciate all of you. These are salt of the earth people. So nice. Wonderful. Chrissy, great show last night. Oh, thanks. X-Ray Girl, you know I love you. <laughs> Gary. Are you terminally ill? Why are you yeah. going on with this? <laughs> yes, I'm dying next month. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Chat, we love you all. Everybody who watches, we appreciate you, and thank you. And I uh, promised so chat that I was going to show up. So oh. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, was a, it was a surprise to us. As <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, we miss you. <laughs> He's going to be, As will be your next year for sure. Yeah. yeah. Just want to make sure somebody says it. Mm, yeah. Okay, Gary. <laughs> Sorry I interrupted. It's but all good. Love you. Eric's sober, everybody. Too. <laughs> Eric's sober. <laughs> Thousand there you percent go. sober. All right, <laughs> Gary. Right, just Gary. That was a great opportunity to, to stuff some pineapple. Yeah, pizza. here you go. <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay. Uh, didn't get to see Eric K though. Now you did. So there we go. There it is. There you go. Uh, yeah. My one regret regret was not we getting regret. Regret. Freedom. Freedom. Regret. My one regret <laughs> <laughs> was not getting my fellow 
fellowship members info <laughs> that live in Arizona so we can carpool uh, together next time. Everyone was great, and it was a pleasure meeting everyone. Hail, Jay Chacha. It was great talking Hail. to you. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, Jay, were you the one who brought the carne asada burritos, dude? Mm. Pre- pretty Maybe. sure. I think that was Jay Chacha. Correct me if I'm wrong. It certainly could have been. There's, okay. Like... The amount of people that we get to see from all over the country is insane. Um, like to these things, we had, again we had people from the Philippines, we had people from up in the Boston, New, you know, Northeast. We had people from Washington State, or people from everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. except Africa. They didn't like what we said about Cleopatra. <laughs> they, <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> Too many good characters. You know, I, I just got to mention that freedom line has ruined the accent forever. And there used to be such nostalgic love for the accent from a much better line, which was. Mawage. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mawage. Mawage. Yeah. Is what brings us together, together. today. Today. Ah. No. Like, extra girl's trying to remember where that's from if for that's one of her relatives that said that. No. <laughs> Maybe her dad. Maybe her dad. I don't know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rapture Raccoon for $99.99. Yeah. 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 yeah! Had a great time meeting my favorite nerds. Well, at least the parts I remember. Next time, I promise I won't double fist Jack and Coke. <laughs> oh, never a good plan. Yeah, because you might end up getting double fisted after that in Vegas. You yeah. got to watch out wow. and, and end up paying double for that kind of action. Uh, I woke up hungover wearing a quarter black Garrett shirt and had no memory of buying it. I also woke up with quarter black Garrett next to me. <laughs> no, I added that. I added that. <laughs> That's what double fist and jacket. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, ten out of ten experience next year. I'll try to be less annoying. God bless. No. No. Beat all the annoying. It's good. Nobody was annoying. No. Everyone, no. everyone behaved. Yeah. No, I don't For think the most so. Part, yeah. I, I was really drunk, so people are less annoying when I'm drunk. So okay, <laughs> tough to tell. Everybody was annoying. Everybody was really nice. Yeah, I might have been annoying, but that's I, normal. So I, it's not my, my hearing went like it got louder. And I couldn't hear shit by the end of it, though. So I'm like, am I getting old? Am I starting to lose my fucking hearing? Yeah, now yeah you're like, I need uh, to adjust the gain. No, <laughs> no, yeah, nobody tell him he's been old for a while. We've seen, uh, we've okay, seen the no. font on his phone. Like, okay, listen, we've seen the font listen, on your phone. Listen, man, my hearing's always been okay. That's the one thing that's always been okay. If it goes, shit. <laughs> FNT in a couple years. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, Metallica one's gonna end up being about me. So yeah. uh, I can't remember. Great song, anything. great FNT video. Yep. Uh, Ministry of Wrong Thing for forty nine ninety nine. Hail everyone! Wow. Given people are saying Keaton single handedly carries the entire Batman and the Choker <laughs> movie. Oh. oh. I think it's safe to say <laughs> once and for all that Batman actually does have superpowers. Hey, hey. Maybe he does. I uh, yeah, we'll, we'll. I guess we can talk about that. That'd be a good time. But I, you know, it, it's, are they going to rename it to Batman the Cult? Maybe, maybe they should. Maybe they should. Which is a really good book, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's a damn good book. Your boy I, Zach, I, you need to sort your life out and start making some fucking change. I've heard. I've heard it's. Uh, I've heard it's really. I've heard it's good. I've, I know there's a lot of people that are hyping it to hell right now, the Flash movie. I mean, uh, social media reactions from all the people that were there that were all none the, of us. All the corporate critics. Yeah. 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 Going mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. I have talked to a couple people that I know that I trust their opinion. They say, it's it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's not it's not the greatest thing ever, but it's, it's fine. That's I, what I've heard. Ironically, pretty much all the people that I've watched you videos about it are saying, it's good, but it's not as good as everyone's saying. Yeah. Which is funny because that's what I've heard from every single person almost mm-hmm. is that it's good, but it's not as good as they're saying. So who are the they? Mm-hmm. I guess you know the the random blue check mark screen rant writers and people like that that are gushing over. Wait, wait, by the way, no one out? has blue check marks anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's I funny. had one for myself and Film Threat, and they're gone. Like I don't really care. It's fine. I'll probably end up paying actually because I want to be able to edit tweets. Edit button. Is awesome. Edit yeah. button. Gary has to use it all the fucking time. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think. I think. <laughs> so, so I got it. 
Why would I yeah. get something I'm yeah. not going to use? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll probably do it, but yeah, the, you can't. Well, I mean, the, the blue check mark was always irrelevant, and now it really is irrelevant. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And so um, it, it, it's just it is what it is. And the fact that these weirdos are melting down so much. Oh, it's hilarious, hilarious. hilarious man. Ryan, ben Miller, you, losing Ryan, your you shit over this. Mark? It's funny. I have one yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Those cocksuckers. I wasn't fucking <laughs> important enough to get one before, so I'm like, fine, I'll get one now. So I've got one. Yeah. This is great because I don't have one. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's I love nice. it. I love it. I don't care. It's <laughs> great. I don't. I don't they gave me one. They I, end up giving me. I, I was yeah. choked on pizza. Sorry. <laughs> that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you're eating pineapple pizza, you would end up choking. They gave me <laughs> some, uh, quarter black. Said you should totally just apply one and see what happens, dude. I'm like, all right, fine. And uh, they gave me one. I don't know why. That's funny. And then I lost it, and uh, I was very. Me and Bet were really upset. <laughs> we cried. Uh, we sang. Yeah, I think when I hit fifty thousand followers, I was like, oh, I guess I'll see if I can do it. Right? I go to apply, and it's like, no, you can't. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fuck you then. I guess <laughs> I, I would. I never applied for. I was going to try to get one for like the Geeks and Gamers account, but like for my personal account, I, I never cared about it. But uh, and then obviously with Twitter Blue, I mean, to edit tweets, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's a huge deal. Um, that's really the only benefit from it. Um, being verified is uh, meaningless to me. It, it only meant something to me on YouTube because in the, the live feed, like you can't click on a channel to verify who it is. So people can just make up a name and, and comment and you can't click. Like used to, you could, you could click on the account in the live feed, but now you can't. Yeah. 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 So that was the only reason it meant something to me on YouTube because it was an actual reason that it would be beneficial, but not on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. I guess Instagram has the same policy now. Like, isn't it that the, the, they have Instagram verified now? Where well, the other thing is they're now going to incorporate where you can do subscribe. I mean, like, what if yeah. Tucker decides to do his new broadcast yes. as a Twitter subscription based yes. model? Yes, oh. absolutely. And and I'm looking now. I I Very did crazy. apply. I did apply for the subscription thing on Twitter, even though I don't really know what it entails yet. But it's an opportunity to because to me, Twitter is going to become the new media if it already isn't in a lot of ways. Right. It's it. It's a. It's becoming. It's becoming the definitive town square right now. And um, that. You know. Well, that was one like, of the incentives for. Uh, sorry for for signing up for the blue check mark, dude. Because yeah. you were also supposed to get like more video. You, your video would get more play. Right. Yeah. And uh, you get priority. In I the mean, they're going to algorithmically basically is going to do what Twitter used to do for establishment media. Do for anybody who's part of Twitter Blue. Right. And oh. to algorithmically boost it to and create all kinds of new mech. He wants to sort of integrate everything else that's going on technologically into Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like you have a YouTube function, you have a, uh, you know, a podcasting function. You have all of those capacities along with the clips and the little tweets and all the rest. You have right. ideally like a Substack component. That's why he got into sort of competition with Substack. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the potential there is extraordinary. Yeah, and I mean, um, it, it's th these weirdos from before, their blue check mark, that was their entire identity. They had their little nice little verified tab, and they could all kind of talk bad about, you know, all of the, the Yahtzees out there and the MAGAs, and now they don't really have that anymore. Yeah. That was their identity. That's that's what defined them, and now they're Aww. broken. Well, There's nothing that disassociate them from the dirty plebs at this point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, well, the thing is, even with all that boosting, they could never get meaningful attraction. Like yeah, they, right. they weren't getting meaningful right. involvement, yeah. engagement, and the rest. And then the fact that they now the the, the standard they applied to everybody else being government backed and foreign governments and so forth, RT, Russia, etc. Now they get that label because Musk says let's have the same label for everybody. Right. And NPR is leaving. <laughs> BBC's talking about leaving, Canadian broadcasting companies talking about leaving, uh, even Aww. though they've all been government-backed and taxpayer-subsidized this entire so time. Sad. And then yeah. New York Times said they were leaving, and then they, oh, they, now, they, now they ended up having, now they have the gold $1,000 a month check mark. So mm. after they said they were leaving, and now they're back. So. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they yeah. did? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so New York Times has the gold check mark now, so that means uh, it's, it's $1,000 a month is mm -hmm. what that is for a business or something like that. So, yeah. So, oh, wow. so, it's so, kind of nuts. Yeah, honest. that is a lot of money. That's a lot. It's a of money. lot, but uh, they, they'll pay for it. Yes, it's they will. Hilarious. Because now the gold check mark is the thing that I guess gives them their cachet. I guess, but they got to pay a thousand dollars. But there's still no twelve grand a it. year. Yeah, yeah. 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 nuts. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's it, like a, a few decisions are going to swing the pendulum in a certain direction right now, and Tucker is going to be the top guy on that. Wherever he goes, that's going to shift a lot of momentum to wherever he goes. Whether that's Twitter. Yeah. Whether that's Rumble, uh, that's going to be interesting. Two most logical places. Yes, because I mean, absolutely. look at what Crowder did on Rumble. When yep. Crowder did that, he not only boosted Crowder, you know, a million and a half or whatever yep. views, so much that you know all the 
uh, various campaigns against him started getting launched. Yep. Probably not coincidentally. Yep. That what, you mean like launched. his wife? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> well, take that for you. I mean, I mean, I've represented all kinds of victims of abuse. Somebody who's in that situation, you, you think about, like, when you look at it from a legal perspective, you step back and look at how was that filmed, who filmed it, what was the context for it. Like, in other words, if you have a ring video, you know it's being recorded. What it feels like to me in terms of how it was recorded implies certain facts, which would include, okay, I know he's in a bad mood. I know he's really hot. So I'm going to come out while I know it's being recorded. I'll play a certain role. I'll provoke him to say dumb things on video, and then I'll use it later on in divorce proceeding. And then people just took it at face value. And I'm like, I'm sure Crowder's got 100 issues. People have documented what those issues are. But if someone was in an abusive relationship, one, they never do that. I represented all kinds of victims of abuse. They would never run the risk of actually provoking someone to do something if they were scared of that person. Mm -hmm. She's clearly not scared of him at all. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the second part is it felt faked. You know, I mean, you know, it, it was you're at that level. You say, "Oh, I think you wanted me to die by feeding the dogs." Why you know it's being recorded? Because she clearly knows it. Because who was the one that knew it was being recorded to save the recording off of a right. ring thing? Yeah. And mm -hmm. because in Texas it's not fifty-fifty automatic, the timing of it felt like this was a PR angle by her lawyers to try yeah. to get him to give her, her a bigger percentage. Wow. So I, I just wasn't. That sympathetic. Wait, it's not 50 50 automatic in Texas? No, uh, uh -oh. yeah, no. At the end of the day, I think whatever you want about Crocker and all nah, these people. Just and I, kidding. I, I certainly think that. I'm going like, to get killed for that when I get home. I certainly think the video doesn't look good. But at the same time, I think oh, pretty, no. pretty much any person who's been in any tort side of relationship, <laughs> you could take like a three minute snippet of something. And yeah, you've yeah. probably had moments that look bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like for pretty much anybody. So I don't even think the video yeah. itself uh, is is that bad. If if you have common sense, I think has he addressed it was the bad look <laughs> coming out in your yeah. video and giving yep. all of that context and then bringing Candace Owens, who I'm not the biggest fan of Daily Wire either, but that was unnecessary. If I'm in that situation, I'm like unfortunately, there's some information that's leaked about my personal life. That's out on the internet. I'm going to stay private ask, about it. I'd like yeah. to keep this private at this time. Very difficult situation. Thank you, everyone. That's it. For him to go on a big 10-minute professional wrestler monologue. To make himself into a victim. That was the bigger <laughs> problem for me. The video itself, like, if you are a logical thinking person, I, you can't get mad at anybody for just having a, uh, an argument with yeah. a significant other. Yeah. There's, it's a bad look if you want to look at it in a perspective. Don't act like you ain't said something in private that you don't want the whole fucking world to hear in the heat of the moment. Yeah, everybody has. You know? right? Everyone said something stupid yes. that if taken out of context or not seen the full context makes them look like a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. especially in divorce context. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, the family, yeah. I mean, that's you say the dumbest stuff, the worst stuff. The, the But it, nothing, it just felt like, it felt like an L.A. divorce. You know, a couple mm -hmm. of celebrities fighting over to get a little bit more of the cash, using yeah. the court of public opinion to get a little bit more of an angle so they can get the biggest uh, outcome. Yeah, um, it, but I thought the timing of it was peculiar. It's like, why all of a sudden is there an interest in Stephen Crowder's private life? Yeah. The, is it is it coincidental that he has helped boost Rumble substantially? That he goes independent and is successful? Because you know the the fact that he's outside of almost any ecosphere mm -hmm. other than the Rumble ecosphere, in the same way that Tucker's now has the opportunity to do, means all the gatekeeper control is gone. In yeah. other words, now not even the Foxes, the Blazes, the Daily Wires, they don't even have gatekeeper control anymore. Yeah. And that's going to free up the independent creator. Because people want is authenticity. And mm -hmm. what they don't want is cookie-cutter, conventional, captured media. And yeah. that's what we've had too and, much of. And there's a, there's a huge opportunity with that. I mean, and, and with so even in our little world, because I know Crowder raised the bar for a lot of people. I don't consider Crowder part of our world necessarily. But like when Rakeda got had the issue yeah. with YouTube and he moved over to Rumble, that that raised all of us up on Rumble. That that helped all of us and, yeah. and got that was a big bump. And so Tucker is on a different level Hell than Nick. anyone we're mentioning right now. So with Tucker, if he goes that route or wherever he goes, it's going to change things. So we'll we'll have to see how it plays out. And, and when it comes to timing with Crowder, it sounds like this was an open secret for a while that a lot yeah. of people knew about. Know what he's saying right. about. But I, I think now. I think when it comes to authenticity, I think some of the things you're starting to hear from ex-employees like yeah. Dave Landau and obviously elephant in the room, Quarter Black Garrett is on this show. Nothing I have heard from, bad has ever come from Quarter Black Garrett's mouth. Right. But we have other people that even were at this meetup that are former Crowder employees that had 
con- very confirming things to say <laughs> about Dave Landau's story. Yeah. Well, you know what and, I mean? So and I, and how's yeah, it, yeah. I mean, how much has that been your you almost, at least with like a bunch of buddies of mine or agents out in Hollywood, yeah. their universal experience has been 85, 90% of bosses are terrible. Right. That, that yeah, the right. stories you hear about Crowder, I mean, he comes from that setting originally. Yeah. Uh, that that's just kind of the reality of the people you deal with. They're not the most uh, likable employers, mm. put it that way. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's what's beautiful about independent content creation. Mm-hmm. I mean, in like what we were showing in like the film you were showing earlier, the, if you could actually really take fan fiction into, you know, to actual cultural, uh, actual films, actual, you know, th- that that could really break through not only the sort of corporate barrier, but break through the barrier of bad employers having a near monopoly over your means of employment. 100%. Agreed. Uh, we're seeing the decentralization of media, of Hollywood, uh, and I think it's all good. I think it's great. I love it. It's gonna be. It's gonna fracture into like little, little constituencies. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that, that's what you know. It's. I, I talked about it uh, on Tuesday night main event, like with local bands now. Like music, music is still around. There's a music industry, but it's like homogenous and terrible and and. Taylor Swift gets all the top 10 songs, but there's like little local bands like they can make a living now and all they need to be is tour Texas. That's all I have to do is tour Texas, tour Oklahoma, be an Idaho, you know, like big Idaho's biggest band now. That's how it can be for comic creators, for for making a, 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 a television show, a streaming show, whatever you want now. That's the future. In the territories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's, I think it's great. I think it's fantastic. I hope it happens faster. And there was that one San Antonio band we saw with uh, at Revan Horton Heat that was fantastic. Yeah, I, f- I forgot their name. Yeah, I forgot their name, too. But they but never made great. it out of San Antonio, but they're yeah. freaking awesome. Oh, I'll my God, they great. I'll figure out. It's yeah. cowpunk. They, they sang cowpunk. Yeah. So it's a very specific type of punk that I liked a lot. So, uh but it made such an impression that um, we both forgot. Yeah. I don't know why Gary awkwardly looked at me when he said that, yeah. but it made me feel oh, a, you're, you're a, a, a little a little weird, but it did. in a good way. In a good way. Well, I mean, you're like the most uneducated Southern person here. I mean, well, I know I'm I'm, I'm a Southerner. I, I'm a, <laughs> there's nothing to do with the uneducatedness. The, the, the South will rise again, Jeremy. No, Rainbow and, and, Alabama. And I went to school in California, so I'm functionally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> and I got kicked out of those schools. So I mean, I just identify. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, uh, you, speaking of retarded. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about you, Chrissy. This time. Uh, I'm talking about Hollywood. They're about to go on strike. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I find this hilarious because no one cares. I don't. Well, I, exactly. I kind of feel like this is, well, feels like a lot like Bob Iger. Re- this feels like Bob Iger retiring when he knew his company was going to collapse so that he didn't take any responsibility for it. And Hollywood's collapsing unless they don't push woke bullshit. Like, if, hey, if you don't push woke bullshit, you can succeed. Well, they're not going to do that. So let's go on strike to just – that's why things are down. How much do you think the, the... I, do, I do sorry, I just wanted to clarify what I say when I when I said I don't care. It's like I don't care about them saying, Oh, we we're so mistreated and stuff like that when they're producing such garbage. I do find it an interesting story to see what's going on, especially if, you know, it might improve the quality if all the writers go on strike. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. That's how reality TV uh, developed in the first place, was right, the yeah. big ma- massive mm-hmm. strike. How much do you think that what is wokeism is it, it is really a reflection of bad writers. You know, those bad writers who can't get a gig legitimately. I think that's you know, a huge part of it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's Plays not like good propaganda. Like, it's, you could do good co- propaganda. I mean, I mean, you know, the communists in the early 19-teens, 1920s, mm-hmm. they, you know, you can't produce comedy in communism, but you can produce some good films. I mean, there was actually some good, quote-unquote, art that was propagandistic. Uh, you know, Goebbels was famous for his propaganda. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. This is bad Chi- propaganda. Yeah. Th- this is not Chinese good cinema is uh, Chinese cinema is riddled with propaganda, but the movies are good. Yeah, well, exactly. And, yeah. Going back and to bullets, point, too. Riddled with bullets and propaganda. The, the, whole, the whole thing is the fact that when, within communism, one of the first things they want to do is destroy art. And how you do that is you hire shitty artists. That includes writers, directors, film producers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I mean, it, it's... All part of the plan, essentially. And, and is it part oh, of like safe space people who could never get a job normally, and they use wokeism yeah, yeah. to get a job because that they couldn't get? Yeah, meritocracy. Yeah, meritocracy has been thrown out the window, and people yep. are getting hired based on check boxes over talents, and as a result, they make products based on check boxes. So, so 
what good. exactly what's happened and this will be uh, in my video coming out sunday uh is it has uh it's been incompetence it's been pretty much incompetence uh and a a, a environment of fear in hollywood especially since trump was elected mm -hmm. so if you are a conservative if you're a classic liberal you just keep your mouth shut. You are closeted at this point because of the political bigotry. You're closeted, right? So I, I've made that, a video on that recently, Gary, on, on Night's Watch about even I've experienced that, that, you know, people will find that I was conservative and Christian, but as soon as I became more outspoken on a separate channel, well, that was too far, you know? They're okay yes. being Christian so long as I don't talk about it, basically. So as far as, like, there being a giant, you know, there's not one puppet master uh, what what Hollywood is doing is what the comic industry did. They're committing suicide. Yes, they are. They're not dying. They are committing suicide, and they're committing suicide by surrounding this. They've got this big bubble, this echo chamber. R Razor Fist has talked about it, but it's allowed activists to come in in the middle management area. The, okay, so you have the tops. It's, it's because of corporatism too, but you have the tops, and the tops are the executives who don't watch any of this shit and don't know anything mm -hmm. about it. So they hire middle management, tons of middle management. Who are they? They're all fresh out of university. They're all fucking woke activists. That's where the activism comes in. Then they start, uh, they've always been in the unions. Unions yep. are inherently communist. Mm -hmm. That's why they suck. But they're here. I mean, like, think about it. We have an, an actors and a writers union. I know some people in Hollywood might take that very seriously. It's like, you make pretend and you mm. have a fucking union. You're not working in a salt <laughs> mine. You're not putting together a car. You're not putting together yeah. a rocket. And you're not in the 1920s. Yeah, they have a union to make sure that, like, in their contract, when they ask for no green M&Ms in a bowl, that, like, that happens, right? Yeah. Like, the very important thing. Well, yeah. uh, COVID has made it worse. But you're right. Uh, Chris, back me up on this. There's a certain amount of producers and line produce they dictate how many people can work when they can work yeah. and it's it's all made to keep people out it's it's yes. unions yeah. are made to gatekeep that's that's their whole point it's not to pres it's to preserve the jobs that are there and keep motherfuckers out mm -hmm. so now they want to be inclusive so yeah. what's their big what's their big thing on being inclusive Keeping well, certain people out. Keeping yeah. certain people <laughs> well, out. And, and how they do that is through the HR departments. That's where a lot of the stuff yeah. start happening yeah. is that the HR departments, the recruit, the recruiters, they're able to go and filter which they, out who Which they didn't see. have yes. until Harvey Weinstein. There was no HR in fucking Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably could have used it before then. But, they yeah. probably, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm just stating a fact. There was no yeah. fucking HR in Hollywood. Yeah, but that's how uh, like a lot of these companies are going woke. That's how they infiltrate is they get in through HR, and yeah. they're and able advertise. to filter out yeah people based off of the characteristics they don't like and get the people that they do like in, and they pass them off to the hiring man. So when they have they have a th okay the UK our uh, uh, um, uh, Mahler's country the UK uh, has this thing called the black <laughs> the, called the blacklist. Yes, you know what it is. It's a list of black writers. Black oh, oh, it's a list I, of black I, people. I thought it was wow. going to be when every role comes up, Idris Elba gets put up. That's, yeah, but that's that, essentially that's what <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. right. uh, but no, their black list is black people. It's a list of black people that they call the black list. <laughs> the God. little black self awareness book. is uh. not existing right? there. Right, but it, it's supposed to be for inclusion. But if you think about it, okay, so this black list does this black list consume? include all the black people you're talking about <laughs> or is it just the the black people with the right politics and we know the answer to yeah. that so it's mm -hmm. not it's bullshit it's always been bullshit but it's this very elaborate scheme to keep straight white men out that's pretty messed it's, up to make a list of good black people yeah, yeah. We, no one here would ever do it. Ryan, like would, uh, well, Ryan's working on one for yeah. Friday Night Tights, actually, <laughs> as, as part of our diversity list. and inclusion and yeah. equity mm -hmm. uh, officer. He's doing a great job, That's by right. the way. It's basically our so guest proud list. Of him. Eric July, yeah. Gothics, um, Clifton Duncan. Yeah. And Eric July back on again, and then Gothics, <laughs> <laughs> and Clifton Duncan. We're all about diversity. Epic Mike, but he's like skin. Uh, he's half. Yeah, he's count. light skin. <laughs> that shit don't count. Colorism, dude. Yeah, fucking colorism. Jesus. The word, that, the so fact stupid. that that word is there and it's yeah. in the lexicon and it's like being used unironically mm -hmm. now. Yeah, like you have the right background, you grew up on the right island, you grew up in the right way, understanding all this culture, but you're not you know, dark you're enough. You're not dark enough in these pictures because you haven't been tanning in a while. One time we had three so. black people on Tuesday night's main event. Ryan threatened to quit the next week. So. <laughs> yeah, because they were all That's good. <laughs> they were all I, really I tried good. to quit today. Like, my internet was trying to quit for me, and then like it was so bad and so dreadful. I wanted to. 
jump off my fucking balcony, but unfortunately, it locked the doors. So that, even even that went wrong. Couldn't get out there. Uh, oh, what's that story from Trent? It was some female singer who wanted to kill herself. Sounds about right. And she called Trent Reznor, and he said, "You can't do that. The windows are locked." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but on bump. Yeah. Uh, Writers Guild members are preparing to picket studio headquarters. It, they picket. Again, like, <laughs> I want to write. Bad CW. I want, like, it's fucking funny. It's hilarious. Oh Please strike. So yeah. Razorfist pointed it out correctly a couple of days ago on Twitter. Like, the last major strike was in 2007. Writers had power then. TV was the only show in town. YouTube was in its infancy. Mm -hmm. It's a different fucking world now. Go on strike. Go on strike all fucking day long. None of us are going to notice. None of us are going to care. There's there's a thousand projects already in development. Uh, what, what what did we lose out of the writer strike? We lost a, a, a one good show. People will say Heroes. I think mm -hmm. Heroes was always meant for one good season. Right. But the Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles, that was a mm -hmm. fucking good show. Keen Eddie was also a good show that died because of that. Terminator was like the one show I gave a shit about. Are you out of booze? Do you need more booze? You want to no, I'm just fucking with her. She wants this. Ooh, phone stands. Yeah, the phone stands are cool. Ooh. Yeah, they, you know who? I keep this. Salty hand. No. Uh, yeah, salty hand. your point. Is there a single good show now that would be affected by a writer's yeah. strike? Because. Most of them are crap. The only one that I'd be worried about is maybe Houses of the Dragon. But, but it's already in production. That's why they. That's why they. That's why if you if it's I correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. Mm. If they finish writing the script, they can still put it in production. Oh, yeah. oh, How yeah. does that affect yes. rewrites though? Yeah, like well, they they're, kind of they're, screwed. they're fudging. Yeah, you'd probably do it like on on the spot or whatever yeah. instead of doing like a full rewrite or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that if, if you're wondering, if you're worried about Mandalorian season four, I'm don't worried. worry. John Favreau, Dave Filoni, they were planning for this. They got together, they planned out everything, and John Favreau has everything written for season four, so they won't be affected by the shutdown. Oh darn! Mm. Mm. Except for John Favreau's leaving, that's what yeah. I heard. Probably. Wait, wait, wait. Star Wars is dead. Wait, that would mean he's not teaming up with Dave Filoni to take Dude. over Lucasfilm. Dude, what do you, you want to know how retarded Disney uh, Star Wars fans are? I made that tweet about Rosario Dawson. Uh, basically, I said she went, what did I, she, she used the world in between, I said Rosario Dawson used the world in between worlds to go back in time and save Daisy Ridley's career. Yes, she did. Disney Star Wars fans thought I was serious. <laughs> they, they quote, go look at the quote tweets on there. They all thought I was serious. Really? They, they had no idea really? that it's like okay. obvious sarcasm. They were just like, he really believes this. The, he is unhinged. He's finally he's finally drunk too much. I'm like, I don't drink at all. Like they they didn't take it as like it's a bad joke or no. They thought it was true. That's the other guy. I was like, my <laughs> god, man. It would be crazy to think that they would use the world in between worlds to erase the sequel trilogy. Uh, yeah. It's a little crazy. It's a little out there. Uh, and uh, incidentally, it's not happening at all. Uh, the Last Jedi guards were in there. The, a little, remember when the little puppet was bouncing away from the Last Jedi? Did you see Bro, you missed that? That was I, so, so bad, I, dude. It's it's one of the most like for people that are that want to go full oh, oh like puppetry stuff like that. I get it, but when you're trying to do scenes like that, it doesn't work. Like you need to give me CGI Attack of the Clones Yoda. That looks infinitely better than what they put on screen, right? Like it I, did. Like that's sad. Dude, the craziest parts. There are parts in the Mandalorian season three when you slow it down, when Grogu's doing stunts or flips. If you just pause it, it's literally just a puppet. They have taken like the puppet, like the sideshow puppet or whatever, and they've just like thrown it across the air, like because it's just like it has no emotion. It's just like this. <laughs> I know it's not moving his legs or yeah. yeah. You know what? Have, even would have looked better than that if they couldn't do the CGI. Just. Put someone in a giant baby Yoda outfit so their head, the, the actual head would be huge so it has the right proportions and have them move around and do forced perspective to try and marry it in the size. That would have even looked better than what they did. Just this stiff, unmoving puppet just on strings being married. Yeah, well, yo, you get comics to do it. Be, yeah. I knew really somebody <laughs> was going to make comics. <laughs> I was waiting for baby Yoda. I, I will say, I still, <laughs> think, I still think the girls go German. crazy when they see... Fucking Grogu doing a little walk or something like that, like walking quick. I think they think it's cute, but they do. I think I think that's women uh, ruined Star Wars. They did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, more L ways than one. Uh, the Writers Guild no, member. No, that wasn't a joke. That was just a fact. No, I'm <laughs> a statement of, of fact. I agree. 
Uh, Writers Guild members are preparing to picket studio headquarters and production sites in the event uh, the AMPTP refuses to make, that's uh, some other guild of producers, uh, re- uh, refuses to make a deal that fairly addresses the concerns of our members. The WGA said in a statement to Deadline on Friday, as uh, negotiations uh, for a new WGA contract enter the home stretch, the WGA has hundreds of picket signs ready to go. <laughs> can, can anyone explain to me why they're striking? Like, what specifically is it? Compensation or what? Chris? You know, Chris? No, they, they want their oh, um, uh, wages to be lowered because they're shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, they want equal pay. We're getting paid way too much. Uh, we're going on strike until you start docking <laughs> yeah. our pay. Yeah, we want fair pay, which means we have to start paying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think part of the problem was uh, streaming created such this mass content, right? That, yeah. like, people got fat and lazy effectively and now that all that like production has wound down in hollywood it is wound down dramatically so the other thing that no one's talking about here is ai is going to affect things dramatically oh, I, it, they're like, already coming up with rules about how ai can be used by writers so for example uh, you could have a first draft of a marvel movie written fully in ai as a first draft you're still gonna have to have writers go in and do stuff but you can have your first draft. Dude, I literally did that in yeah. a video. Where you I, did, you I, did I, it? Yeah, I did it where I wrote an episode of The Mandalorian using ChatGPT. And it was way fucking better than <laughs> anything they came out, that came out this season. Yeah, or, like, how many times did they say, this is the way? In the, no, in the it, it didn't. But it, it, I, I basically wrote a brief synopsis in there. And I, I said, okay, do this, do this, do this. And it actually wrote it did it. a way better. I mean, not an actual script, but it, it wrote a story outline. Yeah, just you're just like, hey... Can you make fake Star Wars but really boring that contradicts itself? Season <laughs> well, I, I don't. I don't remember what I what I said, but it's actually in the video. I, I list out what I put in the chat GPT, and then Grant went and uh, anim- animated everything and had the AI read it too. So it, it's like it was funny because, like I said, it was a better synopsis than anything I've seen out of the Mandalorian. Did, did you you see, could even deep fake a voice. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Did you see yeah. Lizzo? Um, obviously, everyone sees Lizzo. You can't miss him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she was doing a show, and for some reason, she had gro- a little baby Yoda out there with her that had like it looked like eyelashes and earrings, like a drag queen Yoda oh, that she was carrying with her on stage. That's I saw dumb. Rebel Force Radio tweeted out a picture of it uh, earlier today. At some point, it's like God. They've been trying to make <laughs> baby Yoda trans. Yeah, how is oh baby Yoda? No, baby. (laughs) How is uh, baby? What's been the reaction to all the political disputes with Disney in Florida? Well, I think the thing is, I think there's a big lie that's going around from the mainstream media and some conservatives uh, that are trying to say that Disney has DeSantis right where they want him, and like, and legally, that's completely false. Exactly, Uh, Disney uh, legal mindset did some great breakdowns on this. Introduced through the great Nick Mercado, because he actually specializes in what is a very niche area. Yep, special legislative districts and their bond. And he specifically did work here in Florida. Yeah, exactly. In fact, he's worked with Disney, and that was all the background of it. So the uh, on the opposite side, not with Disney, but the there's no doubt from a constitutional perspective, their First Amendment. uh, claim is completely bogus. Yeah. I mean, the only grounds is they got an Obama judge assigned the case. So <laughs> maybe he just ignores the law. But the 11th Circuit... Probably. 11th Circuit, true. exactly. I mean, the problem yeah. is uh, the government never targeted Disney. They, what they targeted was a special legislative district, which is simply an extension of the government, and they reformed it. They can do that anytime they want. Disney was an incidental beneficiary of it, and they were I- illicitly controlling it. They weren't supposed to be controlling it to the degree that they were. They were uh, arguably they breached their bond obligations. They're subject to massive class actions and clawbacks on taxes and a whole bunch of other issues because of what they've been dumb enough to say in court about how we were being particularly targeted Disney because we were secretly controlling something we weren't supposed to be secretly controlling that we told all the bondholders that bought the bonds we weren't secretly controlling. Yeah. Uh, so legally, they don't have a good First Amendment claim. They don't have a good claim on. They're creating more risk now than they did before. So if Bob Iger was supposed to fix things, he's making things worse rather than better. Not ultimately politically, but definitely legally. Yeah, and I think that uh, as, as much as there's noise out there from the mainstream, the reality is I think most people are completely fine with DeSantis taking Disney to task and holding them accountable. And yeah, they're, they're not punishing them. They're simply not allowing them to have 
benefits that no other no, single no entity has. Right. No, no more special privileges. No more special Disney privileges. privileges. <laughs> yes, which is how they've had an advantage for decades here in Florida. I mean, they used to be able to build their own nuclear plant. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to. I mean, yeah. That's what they could have done, which was all insane. Universal doesn't have those benefits. Exactly. Nobody else in Orlando has those benefits. And that's what scares Disney so much is now they are... Go, not going to have all those inherent advantages. They have to play on the same playing field as every other theme park, every other entertainment industry or industry here. And I think really what Ron DeSantis did in Disney might have brought or with Disney brought some attention to it. But they are the ones that caused this. It's not Ooh. Florida that punished them, that made them you know lose all this market cap. It's their agenda being exposed when they decided, hey, we're going to go to war. Because we want teachers to have the right to sexualize kindergartners. When right. they had leaked Zoom calls that came out about their not-so-secret gay agenda. When they had PowerPoints about critical race theory. Disney are the ones that have done all this damage themselves. That's why people aren't going to see Disney family movies anymore. And now they're really just scrambling. Every step along the way for Disney in Florida, whether it's the last-minute thing at Reedy Creek, whether it's suing DeSantis in Florida, it's out of desperation. That's yeah. what's going on right now. No yeah. more Disney comfort. Yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. Well, look, the bottom line is, is is none of this is going to whatever happens here. None of this what's going on is going to hurt DeSantis and none of it's going to help Disney. Disney being in a legal battle with the very very popular governor of the state of Florida is not going to help Disney in their optics game right now and they have a huge optics problem. Families are tuning out from all of their films. They've hurt their brand from that perspective, and none of this is going to help them. So anyone that you know needs to be – like anybody that hates Ron DeSantis already and sides with Disney, they're not going to be convinced of anything regardless as to what happens. But the people in the middle, the families in the middle, they're just seeing Disney continuing to find themselves in situations they don't need to be in. Because that's not why families have supported them over the years. So it's a bad move for Disney all the way through. And how much of these woke lefties actually watch Disney products anyway? In other yeah, words, like all this woke stuff is made with the idea that there's a modern audience and an audience, that, but there's no evidence of it. They just lose audience and they don't gain a replacement. It's not like right. there's this new. It's like most of the lefties I know are not rushing to watch Disney on TV. No, they're right. not watch, watching you know these kind of uh, films. They're, they're not watching sports. No, yeah. none of them. Yeah. I mean, they're not participating in any of it. They're, they're not. And if they are, they're probably it. pirating it. Right. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the same exactly. thing with comics yeah. well, and any of the SJWs that were reading comics. They pirated. They didn't. They didn't right. go to shops and pay money. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, everybody and I won't get into it here. I deal with this on Cobra Cast. Everybody knows I have issues with DeSantis right now uh, from a from a different perspective. But in terms of this, I have no issue whatsoever, and I side with him one hundred percent. Disney, like, yeah. To your point, how how Lightyear do? Lightyear lost money. Chris Evans, not a real movie star. People like there's no there's no scenario on the planet that Buzz Lightyear, a Buzz Lightyear movie, should not have made a billion dollars. What are you talking about? Didn't you see Ghosted this week on <laughs> Apple TV Plus? <laughs> I did. What a piece I of shit. I, I, I might see it for Anna Dermot, not for him. <laughs> what a terrible. Mo there is one good sequence in Ghosted where they have all these master assassins going after them, and it's all actors that Chris Evans worked with in Marvel movies. Yeah, yeah It's I actually funny, that. but that's it. That's that, That's the only thing that makes him relevant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd take him back as Johnny Storm, though. Uh, once again, because Flame Anna, On has a different meaning for him. Anna, Dude, but dye your fucking hair. <laughs> Chris, Evans, Chris Evans plays two Marvel characters, both have blonde hair, never once dyed his hair. Uh, Fuck him. <laughs> hey, George, could you share my screen real quick oh, if you get man. a chance there? There we go. Uh, these are our picket signs here, folks. Is that saying, what does that say? What does it oh, fair it contract. says, yeah. oh. fair okay, contract. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's coming from Deadline, right? Right. Deadline Hollywood. This is a tweet that came out a couple of hours ago okay. by Deadline Hollywood. Paramount Animation, Hasbro, and E1 are teaming up on the first ever Transformers animated movie. What? what? Wow. What a bunch of retards. What? The first ever Transformers oh, yeah, first animated ever. movies. I, Never, that, did, I didn't see the one in the 80s. No, I did, no, I, no. not at all. Not that's the, the one that's going no. to explore the origins of Optimus Prime and Megatron, right? Could you share my yeah, screen? They were again? actually yeah. gay lovers. Yeah, yeah. And everybody knows. Everybody one. knows what so that means. Here, here we go. Uh, fair contract going after Disney. There. These are just compelling. Yeah, did they so, have fucking uh, people with Down syndrome drawing? Uh, yes, they the did. Fuck? 
<laughs> no, wow. Ryan, they, they had all the children that Disney have kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kids in cages. Kids, Kids in cages. In cages. <laughs> <laughs> Better have my money, says the Writers Guild. Yeah. What the what? fuck? Better have my money. <laughs> Where's my money, hooker? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, who, are you, who are you? Fucking him? Yeah. No, better no. have my money. Yes. And then we have uh, Amazon Fair Contract. Oh, they're really creative with these, aren't they? Writers made Zaslov rich. Good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what does it say about writers on strike that they can't even write good posters? <laughs> right? <laughs> <It's> seriously. <laughs> very true. good. We've seen good writing on this shit as well. I mean, the future yeah, of like, writing like is like at stake. <laughs> What's well, not? Uh. <laughs> that one's rich. That oh, one is wow. great. Yeah. Yep. I'm actually expecting the writing quality to improve while they're on strike. It's been that bad. Because uh, oh, it actually might hire people with talent. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Hollywood, reach out. No. I, I can do a bit of writing. If you've got a big show and everything, you've been hiring irrelevant no-name people. I probably have more experience than the people you've already been hiring, honestly. Reach out. I might be able to help you out during the strike. Now, like you said, Chad, it's not 2007. A lot of shows are going to get canceled uh, that we're not going to even notice or we're going to praise. We're going to go, oh, wow, you're saving money there. That's probably a pretty good move, you know. Uh, it'd be better to set it on fire. At least it would keep somebody warm, or you could donate it to, to feed some people. I don't know, but st stop making the shit that you've been making. Uh, but yeah, okay, I, I, I don't think anybody's worried. Like people used to be, oh my god, we're gonna have a writer strike. What, what are we gonna watch on TV now? It's like, oh, does anybody even watch TV yeah, anymore? I, I, no, they don't. No one cares about this stuff yeah. anymore. YouTube is the future. It is for now. Unless it's. Fucking shorts. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shagsworth <laughs> for fifty dollars. What's up What's for fifty? Uh, hail Friday Night Tide. Fifty. And hail the fellowship. Thank you guys for an awesome week. I've, I'm going to eat my pineapple pizza whilst wearing a man bun, awaiting my flight. Also, Ooh. Garrett, stop forgetting your wife. Yeah, Duke Garrett, get in here. Where's he? Uh, he's out there sitting. Yeah, he'll probably hear you. As long as they had the volume up up there. Well, we need to talk about uh, forgetting your wife at the airport, dude. What? <laughs> what? What did he do? Well, he left her, you know, she she was she was checked baggage, and I guess he didn't wait for the package. No, I'm just kidding. He can sit here for a little bit. Uh, what's he doing? I don't know. I'll find it. The thing is, it, smoke someone sent in a video that we might want to play. Oh, we should, can we? Do you know what we're talking Yeah, about? we got to yeah. figure Yeah. Here's a video that, um, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there was four videos I was sent. Just, just play one. Play one of them. Yeah. All right. How many? Vi he said, oh, "Pick the best one." The email said, "Pick the best one." I didn't have a chance to screen these. <sighs> All right, here we go. Okay. X-ray girl. That big tits in them. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, X-ray oh girl, God. it's your father, X-ray <laughs> dad. <laughs> Your mother and I are so disappointed. We moved all the way from communist China, so what? You can move to Canada? Oh, what's the point? Trey is this your dad? Because he's not saying anything. What? <laughs> How did my dad get on the street? Wait, we gotta play that again. We gotta play that again for Ryan. I didn't hear a thing. That was yeah. That it's was coming through the same channel. For them, it's coming through the same channel. Holy shit! That was amazing. Yeah, that was. <laughs> oh, Gary's that was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! X-ray dad's a little pissed. That man. was amazing. Fired <laughs> <Start> up. <laughs> So Sounds like a superhero. Wait, Chris is apologizing for that. Why? Are you Twice not... during the show, he said X-ray girls. Hey, exploded, what's up, Jay? But he's apologizing exactly. for that. Come on, Jay. Get Come in here. here. Get in here, here Jay. It is hot. It's not hot in here. I'm freezing. Oh my God, you guys are. I'm what? To, I'm, I've got a... It's hot. You're it's freezing. Hot. I'm not hot. Like you are all chicks. By the way, <laughs> you're just chicks. Oh wow. You heard me. <laughs> you too, as. Are you too cold too, as? It's cold in here, oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm well insulated, I'm afraid. There you go. Drunk 3PO, everybody. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hot, hello. Thanks for the invite. Of course. <laughs> I was enjoying the show out in the uh, other room. Oh, really cool. all right. Somebody's got to talk and like apologize. <laughs> yeah, all right. Put you on front street. It's the way we do it. <laughs> Jay, you would never leave your wife at the airport. 
Now, okay. To be fair, I've <laughs> no. Got, oh, you go ahead. Context. This is Vegas. Okay. What happened? Is that I don't know context? what's going on That's here. I just context. came into a weird question. You did. All right. Yeah. So, first day we get here. I, I'm I'm road tripping for a long time. I'm just backing up. Make myself sound good. I was road tripping for a long time. Get here. We're partying. What not? Hanging out. Flaud's here with me. Having a good time. I uh, I go to sleep. Pretty late. You know, it's like three in the morning, and then I uh, I wait. I hear bzz, 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 bzz. pick up my phone. Fifty three calls. Oh, oh my god! Oh my, god. my wife. Holy shit, go, Garrett! Garrett! I instantly go, oh shit! That's, <laughs> uh, that's rough. I pick up the phone. Oh, no. I go, immediately uh, hear screaming. Uh, hello. Yeah. Um. Are you in Tower 3? Yes. Come pick me up. So I go downstairs. <laughs> Silence. Because I know what I've done. I know what I've done. I haven't told you yet, but I know what I've done. I went down there, I, and she's sitting there. And I just walk up. I don't say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She didn't say anything. Goes up. Goes to sleep. I left my wife at the airport for two hours. <laughs> Because I was supposed to pick her up at 6 in the morning, and I completely forgot about that. Oops. Yeah. So, uh, to her credit, she has not killed me yet, <laughs> which I think is totally, totally warranted. He's walking with a Wait, limp, did she though. not get That's... an Uber? She did. Okay. That, that was a problem. So, she was, she was like, I had to download Uber, and I had to set it all up, and get all the way over here, and she Aww. wasn't on the room, so they couldn't let her... In and she wouldn't. They wouldn't let her call me because I was a heavy sleeper. So it was bad. It was not good. But hey, uh, she had a good time at the meetup. That's and, good. Uh, so let me tell you. By the way, you, you're screwed, buddy. Let me I, screw I, when you get no, home. Garrett, she's Garrett, so good because she has not yelled at me. She didn't get Garrett, all, like really mad, but she's got this. Let now. me tell you, oh, as no. as a fellow man who has forgotten his wife at the airport <laughs> and straight up forgot, like she got another ride. What? This was uh, that, 12, that? 13 years ago. Uh, she remembers it like it was yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. They never forget. Yeah. And uh, absolutely, if it happened the other way around, I would be like, oh, I'm, I was so tired. You didn't pick me up, and I had to wait there. Man, what the heck? Is that, uh, what, is that what's live so right now? she was so chill about it. She was so yeah. chill about oh, it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's cool. That yeah, she, you know, that Gary, I think I think she's getting her ring footage ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't love me. I was me. about to make that joke earlier. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a ring? It was so. Yeah, question. I have a really great mm -hmm. wife. I love her very much, and uh, I don't deserve her whatsoever. So. And she did not write that for you. No. Okay. That was all from the heart Aww. down here, just trying to get out of being in trouble. <laughs> she is really nice. She's really she's nice. She's great. She's great. I'm very lucky. She has to be. What were they screaming at the uh, when we were leaving? They were like Gary, and then Garrett, and then somebody was started with four more kids. Oh four my God! Kids. No, don't! Four more I don't kids. want that energy. Don't put that out there. We're good. All right. I have all my great kids. Oh, I love them no on. more. Do it, you coward! Well, you I know, can't catch up to you. Chef. They have scalpelous uh, vasectomies now, so uh, you always yeah, get I'm, that. I'm get a I got a book one right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get on the phone and call it right now. Get a double double vasectomy. Just to make sure. Yeah, a yeah. quadruple vasectomy. Can you even do that? Just chop them off. Just just in case. Just chop in half. Do, and sleek. Do do I don't know how that works. Man. Balls or no balls. Look I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. You thought about a vasectomy, drunk three PO? Nah, man. Okay, I got just check. I got kids all over the world. You do. Oh, well, so. that's you're traveling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Repopulating the earth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the tiny <laughs> apple seed, buddy. Did you see? <laughs> there's a picture of us going around Twitter. Just oh see yeah. It. Mm -hmm. uh, what is I it? Yeah. It's signing an autograph better. on my back. Yeah, it's not what it looks like according <laughs> to the <laughs> according to the angles that people Let's took that picture. Up. Let's, <laughs> bring I, I, it up. Let's find it. Go to go to my Is this Twitter. another wet spot incident? Is another oh. really good one of Chrissy? <laughs> I wasn't trying to do. I, I was. Someone had wanted me to sign the poster, and oh. Chrissy was out there. Uh. And I don't know like, why, like, when I have a couple of she's days, like, hey, so sign it here. To, like, use my back to sign autographs. I don't know why I think that, that's, that's hilarious. The, the, the funny uh, thing is that one guy that's smoking replies. a cigarette. Group chat. It's okay. Point it's, it's like, it's like getting, it's like being on the internet with your grandpa. I understand. It's like, uh, check the group chat. Get, make the words oh bigger. God. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So that's the, that's the, the photo. And it looks better. Just scroll down a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
But look you at the guy. My, my. Look at my man smoking. <laughs> 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 yeah, context is very important. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> she's zooming on my man there, like smoking a yeah, cigarette. He's just, like, he's just his, like, yeah, he's like, he's like, what the Love freak? You, like, how does <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, man? What happens in Vegas? It's like watching yeah. homeless people bang in the alley. How does, how does <laughs> Jay find himself <laughs> in this situation? Man, there was a bum that came by that was like picking up all the like cigarette butts and like smoking them. Finish and, them off, really? Yeah. Vegas man. Ew. Vegas. Vegas man. Well, yeah, shit. I did that. <laughs> I've done like it. Yeah, really? when you're fucking tweaking, there's no cigarettes. You just find a couple butts, light them up, you know, finish it off. It's all right. Yeah. You already got like sores and shit on your lips. It's great. It's great. It's such a great life. Uh. Fucking miss it so much. <laughs> wow. I'm really, really selling this. Am I selling yeah. that yeah. tweaker <laughs> lifestyle? <laughs> hey. There's nobody telling you what to do, man. Yeah, man. You're, you're just free, walking bro. the streets, smoking cigarette butts, shitting your pants. Oh. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the life. No bills. No bills. Just breaking yeah. into cars, stealing, you know, shit to pay for your, like, really cut meth. It's fucking awesome life. I miss it so much. Uh, Orion Reborn. For fifty dollars, uh, fifty, fifty, fifty. I wish I could be there, but unfortunately, my service connected, di- my service connected disability makes it impossible for me to. I was like, a cell phone service? No, I was like, <laughs> for me to work right now. But hail to the fellowship, hail to the hail. chat, and hoo to my navy brother. Or isn't it just blue oyster bar? You Navy guys are all gay, right? Yeah. Gay. That's what I heard. <laughs> Ask uh, Ryan about his time in the barrel. Aww. Yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard the all, the, all the Navy guys are gay. That's just what I heard. Might not be true. In the Navy. <laughs> Popeye wasn't gay. Or what? he was bisexual, right? So Him and uh, Bluto. Bluto, yeah. Bluto. They, they, they weren't fighting over all of their fighting. Over the he was constantly flexing. There was like, there was like yeah. this fan-made, like serious Popeye trailer. I mean, really? it's super fan-made, but it's funny. It's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, it was gri- a live-action film made. No, yeah, the Robert Altman movie is weird. weird. It's weird. I love that movie. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's weird in retrospect. Trash, but it's so weird and strange. Yeah. Like the, just the no, it's movie. like... Is it Shelley Duvall? In, it is. Yeah, yeah, she looks great as well. Well, the 30s yeah, cartoon. I, you see where he's going, because the 30s versions of the cartoons, the... Uh, were fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. Cool. They, were they were a little really surreal. They were rapey. Very rapey. Yes. They were very. Yeah. Rapey. Well, have you read the comics? I think the thirties yeah. were very rapey. <laughs> so I was at uh, near UCLA. There's the uh, Museum of Modern Art, and they had some of the original comics, mm-hmm. and like all of it is him beating the shit out of all of Popeye, <laughs> like beating the crap out of her t- for talking to Bluto. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. Very much a product of its time. Very much a product of its time. Based on a real man. Based on a real man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's right. I forgot about that. Popeye, yeah. A gray soul on the Streamlabs side for $100. Woo! Hail to the fellowship. Apologies to you, Gary and Mrs. Neurotic, for spilling beer on some of the... Oh, don't worry about it. Perry spilled a beer on me in this studio last year. That is true. It's okay. Uh, Frank Gore spilled on me uh, at the meetup. It was awesome. Who? What did he uh, you did. You? Oh, oh, Frank, Frank, yeah. Frank Gore. Gore. I mean, uh, Chris Gore. Oh my God! <laughs> it's been a long. Uh, it's been a long week. So nice good, to meet you, Frank. So good. Can I get a different camera angle? I want to get out of this one. So, uh, it's been a long week. You Chris got one Gore. of my names. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. I'll never Jay? live that down. Yeah, that's good. Ne- next time, call him Al. Okay. Al. Well, he didn't. He didn't realize how big I was, and I, I walked up next to him. and He's like. Oh my God, it's Jay! And he like went to hug me and like whatever he had in his hand. I was like, it's all good. <laughs> all right. So really, would yeah, you yeah. would you describe it as gushing? <laughs> yeah. uh, it was more like a like a splash. So yeah. well, I said to Jay, I said, "Wow, you ate your vegetables." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Frank. it just shows that uh, <laughs> that Chris is Frank, also Frank. a midget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hope Gore. this makes up for the damage. My bad. Frank Gore is it? Frank I'm Gore, say, I'm football say, player. Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to get yeah. names. And, yeah, Frank Gore, so the sorry. running yeah, back. Yeah, he's a running back for the 49ers. Yeah, I mean, much better yeah. than Al Gore. <laughs> this is why I'm not on the show much, regularly. Well, yes, it, better football yeah. player than Al Gore, and better <laughs> sure. better yeah. on the climate than Al Gore. Yeah, man, I apologize. Don't apologize at all. 
Jay, it's, it's been a lot of this in my <laughs> life. This week. It's, yeah, it's Vegas. Yeah, uh, hope this makes up for the damage. You didn't need to do that, Gray Soul. It's all right. Uh, for those that attended the meetup, Thundercats, ho! Oh, that was nice last night at the Nerd Bar. Which I mean, they really need to work on that place a little bit, Chrissy. I thought. I mean, yeah, it was underutilized. You call it yeah. a new bar, Nerd Bar, but it's like basic. Like really cheap shit. Why do they have a yeah. big robotic penis that you can ride on if it's a, ro- if <laughs> if it's it's a, a nerd, nerd bar? The theming, the yeah. theming yeah. seemed off. The theming's yeah. a little off. Where was that? They should have had like an that awkward, was last night. An awkward but indie All the ladies corner. singing the Pokemon <laughs> theme last night was fucking cool. That yeah. was awesome. So shout out to the ladies who were singing the Pokemon theme really well, like in key and everything. Nice. It was really kind of cool. Uh, and drunk as fuck. And they did it. Uh, <laughs> Drunk Emerald Arrow Galaxy <laughs> Express Media for $50. 50 I can't do it 50, like that. 50 Express. Um, Hail FNT. It was another incredible Vegas meetup. Incredible, hum- incredibly humbling that I was remembered by you all. And hail to all the members of the fellowship that I was able to meet. It was one crazy night with some with many people. Chrissy, excellent show. Oh, excellent you. show. Yeah. Yeah. You too, Lila. And, and Dylan. Yes, Dylan Mulvaney. Dil- yep. Dylan. Yeah. Dylan, yeah. Dil- Dylan was a surprise. That was a good joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was fun. So she's going to make, like, Dylan videos, right? I, yeah, Jen oh, for like, sure. She's got to do that yeah. like, right yeah. now. It's her new thing. Yeah, it I'm has making to be. it happen. She should be, like, by the pool doing yeah. it right now. <laughs> right now, as Dylan we speak. Dylan cosplaying. Yeah. yeah. America's twink. America's twink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pride Dane Chronicles for 50 British pounds yep. as? That's proper money. 50. From your country. 50. See, yes. I acknowledge that as it is from the UK. Lies, Gary, lies. He does. I mean, he does. I uh, like hey. some acknowledgement. I'm part of the crown as well. You know, us Australians, we're secondhand British people. Thank you. <laughs> You're criminals, though. You're <laughs> cast offs, British cast offs. <laughs> But but still, uh, you might want to ignore us. But we're still part of the crown. We have the you're queen like on our. The, uh, you're like the Meghan Markle and Prince <laughs> Harry. Shot fired. Brutal. I thought we were friends. That was your first mistake, no, Chad. No, what Az oh, just said. I think I think Australia's going to stop their war with the birds and actually attack the UK now. <laughs> just over that Especially statement. over that comment. Yeah. Jesus. Move back to New Zealand, you bastard. Bastard. <laughs> uh, I say more British than Az. Sometimes. No. <laughs> Everywhere's got oh, a north, okay? Uh, hello, the F T crew. Give my regards to the ghost of Mo Green, uh, who, according to Hyman Roth, invented Las Vegas. Okay. Uh, all right. Is that More true? You know. I have no idea. Is that true? I mean, loosely, I mean, what they're talking about. Yeah. They're talking about Bugsy Siegel and all that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the, yeah, it's I, a I love the to pictures the of, like, Father two of uh, Father Part Two. Yeah, that's right. In the 40s. Pictures of Las Vegas, you ever see it? It's like oh, there's yeah. a mob nothing. museum. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the mob museum. I, I want to go. Down on Fremont Street? Yeah. 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 There's, there's a, a punk rock museum. There's an Ooh. Area 51 museum. Oh, shit. Wow, that's cool. Wow. When I go into these things, I need to go to these. Yeah. yeah. You can go up to Oscars, Oscar Goodman. There's a man the, bun yeah. museum, and you walk yeah, in, and there's just my brother. a gay flag. Just me, <laughs> and it's the bathhouse. Me, Dan Bath. And you have sex with men. Shit. Wow. Relationships with women. This is wrong. I got news for you, buddy. You got a Man bun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, short hairs. <laughs> Just jealous. Hey, my hair was longer than you. BMC than yours. CB for ninety nine ninety nine. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Chris bought uh, bought the dock off of, uh, on Amazon. Hope Jeff gets your cut. Oh, sweet. Uh, Ryan, today Thanks. we will. We all got. Uh, what is that? Today we all got order mods for seven seven hundred and thirty days. What does that even mean? When's the two thousand twenty five meetup? What? I'm just reading what it says, and I'm like... I copy and paste that Thank one. you for your super chat. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> Ryan, today we all got order mods for 730, 730 days. When's the 2025 meetup? Which meetup? Like, the 2025 know? meetup for Vegas will be uh, two years from this week. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Two years from this week, April... 
during CinemaCon, we're not. None of us are going to go to CinemaCon. We are not going to pay twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Right none of us are going to go to CinemaCon. No, settle settle down. down. None of us are going to go. We refuse to go. Oh no. Wow. Hello, Twitter. <laughs> hey, now, now Gary has officially joined the one nine 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 nine. No, uh, but we will do our event during CinemaCon. So if any corporate shills want to come and hang out, they're welcome. Welcome. They're absolutely welcome. Except for one. Except for one, Jeremy Johns. I like Jeremy Johns. I love Jeremy Johns. I, I like Jeremy Johns. So I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't apply that to him. Everybody else, yes. Uh, Comics Division's ball sack for one hundred dollars. <laughs> From here, how does it manage that? I That's have no awesome. idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy By the way, talks. Is, I hope you're having fun in Jamaica, <laughs> asshat. Oh, he's in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah that's, Jamaica. Why he's not here. that's why he's not here. He's uh, in Jamaica. Don't get stabbed. Yeah. By a machete. Well, the, the funny thing is, he's been you know sending me like a play by play of his vacation. I've been getting all these photos. It's like, why are you, why, dude, you're on vacation. Leave stop, me stop texting me. Yeah, my ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to have so fun in Vegas. once again, Comics Division's ball sack, which at least is on the Streamlab side. So. Uh, uh, Whatever, whoever the stupid fucking CEO of YouTube is now doesn't get his cut. Uh, holy cow, Gary. We had a luggage mix-up, and I ended up with toxic man flu in I ended up with toxic man flu in Jamaica instead of Las Vegas with comics. So his balls are in Jamaica, too. That's uh, good to hear. Uh, I've been basking in the travel. Caribbean sun, getting spa treatments, and eating pineapple pizza with a scotch uh, bonnet peppers? Is it bonnet? 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 I don't fucking know what those are. Uh, hey, that sounds pretty good, though. Uh, hail the Fellowship and hail Comics Division's ball. I Hopefully you're reunited with your ball. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I will. <laughs> I, I hope so. Question probably is, probably is next it, Thursday. Is it wax? That's what I want to know. Robert Cole for $100. Woo! Woo! Holy shit. Woo! First time super chat. Hey. Oh, uh, bring. 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 We'll be gentle. Vegas Meetup was a blast. Great to meet you guys and some other fellow nerds. Long live the fellowship. Long live you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, we, oh, God. Uh, person, great person. I forgot your online ID. It was, oh, God, I don't even drink. So we were in, uh, Chrissy does it. I'm, I'd, I'd ask you, but you were drunk. You were actually drunk last yes. night. So. <laughs> Uh, we went to White Castle last night at the Fremont, and no um, a uh, well, somebody in the flying industry, I'll just say, maybe he takes special ca- uh, packages from Columbia back and forth. Not, I, I can't confirm it or deny. <laughs> bought everybody White Castle. Oh yes, yes, yeah. that's a real one, right? Yeah, there. yeah like trying to get every- diarrhea. I housed eight burgers. I have it right now. You can't even smell it. <laughs> I think I talked to him. Is yeah. it him? Was it him? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to that same guy. He was awesome. It, that's what I love about hearing uh, all the different stories from people from the fellowship out there, where they are in their life. Uh, something I, I thought about and the, what I really enjoy is since we've done this three years, you're seeing uh, some of the same people from the first year that said, hey, you know, like, I really want to make my own comic book or I want to make my own music or I want to make YouTube videos. And then three years later, them coming up and go, here's my book. That I made. Cool. Here's yeah, my channel. Cool. Here's mm-hmm. the thing that I've been working on. I love getting those like catch ups and like learning what they've been doing. I, I'm hearing so much of that this year as I'm getting out and making stuff. Before it was, yeah, hey, I'm thinking about it. I don't know. And now they're doing it. So it's fantastic to hear. It's great. And uh, you know, we hung out with, again, Hayden. Hayden. It was his idea to go to, to Fremont. Him, well, him and Ryan. And then Ryan fucking backed out. But <laughs> <laughs> we all know why. Uh, but uh, it, it was a wiser decision, believe me. But uh, yeah, I've been to Fremont in a long time. It's fucking nuts, man. It's so fun. It's, it was it's, so I, fun. I haven't it been was there at all. Super so white trash. trash. Yeah, it's I love great. it. Yeah, I love it's it. My yeah. speed. Yeah. Hell yeah. Anything can happen. It was great. It's fun. Is it like dirtier or something? Like what? No, it's a, the <laughs> right it's dirty. Dirty. Yes, it's, it's the right kind of dirty. Okay. It's like, so like you're going fun dirty. Fun yeah. dirty. Yeah. When you come to Vegas and you're thinking, I want to go to Vegas, it's more like Fremont. Than yeah. Vegas. Most of the time. There's an occasional shoot. Okay. Oh, I've free, never been free, there. Fremont's like, the old strip, basically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's right. like classic strippers Vegas. and like 12 year olds with pit bulls. It's oh, like dude, a whole everywhere. Mix. Did you see yeah. the guy pulling the two like sleeping kids? Yeah. Through like 
like they have they're blasting music and we oh, can't yeah. hear it's you like can't hear yourself horns. fucking think these kids were crashed out and i'm like are they dead <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead maybe kids. they just were purchased they uh, maybe <laughs> they, uh, i don't know i don't know what he was dragging his kids through that but it was fine and then right next to the uh cowgirl for as that i got you know right yeah, like, that was, yeah. That was little fun. hearts over her nipples yeah she with whipping people I heard what you guys said on Twitter. You said she was a walking STD. You don't know oh. that. You don't know that. That's as his girl. He will fight you to the death for her, too. <laughs> no, Aren't really. all STDs walking STDs? I, <laughs> not necessarily. I mean, there might be some rolling STDs. That's very uh, ableist of you. Yeah, uh. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but the, oh, those rolling STDs still get you better parking spots. So. Uh, Duke Devil 95 for forty nine ninety nine. Thanks to all of you for your great meetup. For the great meetup, always great to meet you all, but also great to meet other members of the fellowship. That's what they're there for. Yep. Uh, met a bunch of guys at the Orlando meetup who I stream with now. Met even more people this time. See you at the Orlando meetup. Hell, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That is Wait, awesome. when is it? When is it? The Orlando one. Working Jeremy? Working on it. Oh, no, no, TBD. 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 Yeah. Do you have a month? A month, yeah. I mean, I, I would like to do October again, but I'm not committing to that yet to look at all my offers. Tell them so to late, get later in the don't year. Don't do the end of the month. So I have did... a millennial fandom bar that hands me shit. <laughs> <laughs> I pay a lot of money for these. Fourth, fourth quarter of the, of the year. What can you, I say? French pour. people like me. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is neurotic. Let's be real. Um, hey guys, if there is anybody are you going to the UK? Did I hear you're going to the UK? Wait, wait. Did I hear let, that? Let him get his seat back. He's, hu he's hovering me. He's like, Jay, it's time, to, time to get Jay? on you. Get on my I got my five minutes in. Thank Jay? you. Drunk Why? Radio, Where's everybody. Yeah. yeah. Where's your book at right now? Uh, Where's your book at right the now? The campaign is getting really close to 88K. Uh, I'm hoping to try to at least get to 90. It closes out May 6th. So if we can get it to 90 by May 6th. 100. 100. 100. That's Man, that would 90 be. 90 talk. That'll be. 100. I only. I'll, Keep going. That would be, Ma that'd maybe be crazy. Maybe we could get. Uh, uh, Gary got an advanced Ooh. copy. So oh, there it is yeah. right there. And uh, don't open it because you'll give away spoilers. So Ooh. look at that. It's pretty awesome. So maybe? it's real. It's real. It's a big one. Look at that. It's a big one. I'm right next to Chrissy. So Aww. it's a big one. Yes. That's it. I uh, thank you. Thank Maybe you very much. Maybe we can get a Frank Jay. Gore awesome. to retweet it. Appreciate it. it. Awesome. Time. Uh, See y'all when it's done. Need a Frank right, Gore thank quote. you, Frank Gore. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this book is fantastic, Frank Gore. <laughs> a, a, a Frank Gore quote would be: "Our backs were against Fret the wall. Film. We gave 110 percent every game. <laughs> exactly. It's all about you know score more points than the other team." <laughs> Frank Gore. Yeah. It's every sports interview. Every it's sports interview. Like yeah. 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 Yeah, I told Jay we'll get it if we get it to ninety k before the uh, closeout date. Then he has to reopen it until we get to hundred. So I think we can do yeah, it. hundred. Should, we do that? should hell yeah. We should mention Razor Fist, our boy Razor Fist. Uh, last Friday, oh wow, before it was midnight central, his book hit one hundred and seven thousand yep, yep. yeah. dollars wow. thanks nice. to the fellowship. Yeah, so you guys are fucking Thank rad. You. And it's, where is it at now? I, whew, probably close to two hundred, if not, if it hasn't wow. passed it yet. Uh, Ghost of the Badlands. Yeah, Garrett and I. Are going to go check out the town? Yes. Yes, we are, because it's right near Meteor Dude, Crater like on our way right back. right there. We're so. going to Meteor Crater. We're going to check out that we're gonna giant go check hole out in the that. ground. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to go to the town that Razor Fist was talking yep. about. So I'm excited. It's like uh, Di Diablo Canyon yep. or Canyon Diablo. I can't remember which one. I think which, it's Diablo Canyon. Is it? There you go. The, yeah, but the chat knows. In terms of Orlando, obviously October is kind of our um, the date that we're always looking for. And uh, But I'm looking at venues, but we just got to find something that works. Last that that venue was a lot of money in Orlando. Uh, so I, hey, anybody, any of our listeners, yes. uh, audience members out there in Orlando, if you own a venue, yep. if you own a venue, contact us. Yeah, because we yeah. will bring you lots of people. We will bring ourselves. We'll bring lots of people. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so we're 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 gonna work that out. And there's a couple of places I've already looked at. So um, actively working on that. So I'll keep you guys posted. Yeah. So reach out to Jeremy. Or better, Ryan, actually. But uh, reach out to Jeremy. <laughs> More consistency. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we can, we, can, we could have a very good time. Uh, what, 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 the Millennium Phantom Bar, what we do is we buy a couple of rounds, right? We buy a couple of rounds for you guys. And then you guys drink like uh, freaking alcoholics. And, it's great. <laughs> and they love it. And uh, that, they made a ton of freaking money. 
uh, thanks to you guys, because well, y'all have good jobs, as Chrissy had pointed out, mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah and uh, it made it made the bar very happy. That's why they like us a lot, <laughs> uh, and we're not a bunch of dicks. There's there's no fights. Yeah, we don't trash there's, the there's place. No, we don't trash the place. There's no puking anywhere. Uh, yeah, it's. Well. You know, I mean, maybe some. Frank, yeah. Frank, Gore, <laughs> Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Frank Gore. He gets wild. <laughs> yeah. Frank Gore at least made it to the trash can to puke. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was the comedy show. Uh, uh, Lila. Lila puked right before she went on That's stage. Right. Yeah. What? And she doesn't drink, so she just like had yeah, a, rib, a Red Bull to She's mix pregnant. it up. And I wonder. Uh-oh. That's what me. Like, well, sorry, Lila. But uh, me and Melissa were like. Mm. We'll have to take a break. Congratulations to Lila. Congratulations, <laughs> Lila. Congratulations. Congratulations. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> what happens in Vegas? Stay, yeah. the, Stays in Vegas. Did not you obviously stay in Vegas. Right. She yeah. just got blasted out on a stream. Yeah. I, I'm just kidding. She's See, totally that's not. That's what pregnant. happens when you gush. Comic gush on her. Gushed all over. Uh, she- <laughs> <laughs> uh, sheep. City and sheep. Fifty dollars. Fifty. It's, it's it's my boy Aragorn. Uh, he won the Xbox Series X yesterday. Did. Did. Okay, and if you look at that Wizards of the, with the card, the magic yeah. card, that looks like sheep. That looks Aragorn like sheep card looks like yeah, sheep. It does, it's not it? a bit. It's real. That's right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for not kidnapping me, Gandalf. Also, uh, thanks to Gimli and uh, Quarter Aragorn, Aragorn for okay. popping up on the show yesterday. We got to get you all on the show soon. Anyway, Matsuri's our next <laughs> sighting. So until then, for Frodo and the Fellowship. Hail sheep! Hail sheep! Hey guys, yes. I need to bounce a little early this time around, so I got to head out. Okay. What are you, no. what are you tired? No. What the heck? Yeah, the well, sun just I rose. Think of something. <laughs> I know, right? No. But it's been heaps of fun, guys. Yes. And who knows? Maybe sometime in the future, I'll be able to come. Oh. oh. Yeah. 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 I'd love in, to see your sword uh, in person. Uh, September. See you in person. Mm. September. Yeah, we'll definitely do that yeah. in the UK. Mm. All right. Hey, Chad. Is there anything you need to tell us? Not really. He's gay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, aside from that. <laughs> yeah. What, what gave it away? The five children? Uh, yeah. You could have adopted. Yeah. Cover. Listen, Chad, that was us trying to not get demonetized. If you would have agreed to it, you would have saved us all the... Yes. the yes. We would have got the yellow, uh, the yellow yeah. money symbol. Now we're fucked. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's not about the truth. It's about what we can project to the woke. I'm pretty sure all the Hitler talk in the first three minutes might have contributed to that. (laughs) No. It was the Holocaust joke. (laughs) 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 Bye, Shad. All right. Love you guys. Shadow of the Conqueror. Take care, man. Gary, the the sun's getting low. Sun's getting low. Hey, Az, love you, man. See you on the real BBC. Gary? I'll see you on the real BBC. See you on the real. I love you, Az. Love you, man. Love you. Love you. Appreciate you. I might not be there, guys, but <laughs> in spirit and in heart, I just want to say, I don't like any of you. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey. 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 Thank God those guys are gone. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Shit. Now we can have a real show. <laughs> Uh, Captain Garrett, which isn't you. Captain. Captain yeah. Garrett, uh, for $50. 50 dollars. Fifty. 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 Of the channels, swords, and starships. It was so awesome meeting all of you in, at the Vegas Meetup. Gary, Ryan, Gore. That's Frank Gore. Uh, Culture <laughs> Casino. Even George. Hey, George. Up, George. George. Hey. I have George. to say, I even got a compliment. Compliment on my jacket and a hug from K- Chrissy Mayer. Oh. Was it a sympathy? Was it the one you said you uh, you hugged people a little bit harder because you knew they were all single men? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never tell. Uh, yeah. What's what's they that know. at your show? Sta- I get three that show? different kinds of hugs. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you just got to guess what kind of hug that is. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, this got me thinking. Wow, I must uh, have really made an impression. Next night at Chrissy's uh, fantastic stand-up show, me and my dad were having a blast Aww. and super impressed by how she worked the crowd. Oh, Chrissy knows how to work. I a crowd. appreciate how you guys took turns. <laughs> wow, <laughs> 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 laughing. Uh, uh. And did improv for half the show. At uh, one point, she said, "I gotta scroll down." And I talked to him and his dad too before the show. 
Uh, she said, she said, oh, sorry, that's a cramp song. You know what that song is. Yeah. Uh, of the meetup attendees, wow, looks like uh, it. it's going to be a while for some of you guys. Oh, yeah, this is a reference that she, uh, she said at the, of the attendees, wow, it looks like it's been a while for some of you guys. <laughs> so I just give you some, I give some of you a hug. I laughed hysterically. Oh. Then I recall Chrissy giving me a hug. <laughs> that was the moment I realized, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. That was good. It might have, well, you know, COVID. Yeah. Staying inside and, you know, playing D&D or whatever. I can relate. So I got a wife, you know. She, she you lock played, it down early so you get the Lock it down and, early. Yep. You just lock it down early. Like, yeah. literally lock it down. You, yeah. like, lock it in a room. Make sure it goes <laughs> like, hey. okay. Eventually it gets, like, <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome and stays, you know. Then you show the... You start out balls. by watching them sleep, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> through the blinds. Just not every just, night. Once a night. Just distance. through the blinds. Distance is important. Not yeah. inside. I want to feel like you're too Not imposing. inside. And then you move it inside. Mm-hmm. You just got to make sure, like... Dad is a heavy sleeper. Mom is a right, heavy sleeper. Right. The windows are unlocked. Then you watch sleep. Uh, then you like leave flowers and a cryptic note. You yeah. know. Give her a teddy bear with a camera. Yeah. <laughs> Play hard to get. An, an Ireland guide. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I tell you, it's, I, I might start a channel. I'll I'll be part of the man. I'll be part of the manosphere. Yeah. Relationship <laughs> advice with Gary stalking Beekler. advice from Nerdrata. Gary, yeah. From Gary Beekler. yeah. How you land a girl? How, how yeah. you? Yeah. How you? How you lock, catch the one. less creepy? How way. you lock it down? How you lock it down? <laughs> how to lock it down? The less creepy. Way. Yes. <laughs> Project Agro. Gifted ten Nerdrotic memberships for fifty dollars. Hail yeah. fifty. Hail. 50. 50. Man, I wish we had the gong right now. J- the, really fact that, the fact that Jay has made drunk three videos made that into a you know every time Egg Roll shows up now it's like the chat goes crazy. Uh, look at the guy. Hey! They're Asian. They're Asian. Yeah. They're Asian. And they have a podcast. They have a so podcast. No, that's how this all started. So on Tuesday night's main <laughs> event. Real quick. So Project Egg Roll met X-Ray Girl, and when they oh both met, I have it on video. I'll send it to you. Guys. <laughs> they both bowed. At it, was, it, was, it was glorious. I was waiting for him to crack because I was bowing to him all night. Like, no. So the whole Egg Roll thing was uh, they started showing up in our chats on Tuesday night's main event. And every time they show up, Jay just interrupts whatever conversation. You go, guys, 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 I just got to say, the Project Egg Rolls in the, in the chat, they're, they're Asian. <laughs> and they have a podcast. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And I'm like, well, why is that a... And then so every week they would show up and get... Egg roll! <laughs> and then it just became a thing. I, I met no them. Asians can podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, Asians we did can meet do them. stuff now. Hey, they are the coolest dudes, man. Yeah, they are they super, cool. super cool. Shout out to Jay for, for making that a thing. But now, like, they are really cool. So. Flew out from the motherfucking yeah. Philippines. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that so, is yeah. insane. Yeah, so. it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. So, shout so out to Project of, Egg Roll. Project Egg Roll. They're Asian. And they have a podcast. And they have a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Lee McGovern has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. 50. 50. 50. 50. Travis's World has gifted five Nerdrotic memberships. Um, X-Ray Girl didn't do the math, so I don't know. $25. $25. Thank you. (laughs) And the same goes with Jesus Davila. All all right, uh, that's twenty five dollars too. Uh, Tartarian samurai. See, okay, if he's really a samurai, he can have a man bun. Okay. Why? Yeah, what is it? Well, Gary, that's you have to why? become a samurai. You then. have to become a okay. samurai. Yeah. Right. I just learned the ways of the samurai. Yes. <laughs> Trying to get my beer. Well, you can find it in between, like working for me and Dave Lando. I'm sure you have. Tons I got a of lot of time. A lot of time on my hands. You don't need those kids to sleep. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, this is for that me was, too. That yeah, was a very yeah, yeah. like. Oh, well, that's that's a very fix. king yeah, of the double hill. fisted. Yeah. Double fisted. Yo, these are good. That's really? A... I was like a spiked seltzer, but Spanish. Uh, I, I don't know. It's Modelo. Oh. What is it? I don't know. Modelo. Modelo is good. Modelo. This one's is this lemon. Fancy this one's way to mango? drink your booze. Dang. Just wave it in front of me. It's okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> is it like... uh, Keanu Reeves once tweeted. The Matrix was a documentary. He was telling us the truth. The historical narrative is a lie. Research Tartaria. 
the year is closer to 1223 than 2023. Uh, the millennial reign of Christ already happened. Get saved. Love you. Right back at Hey, you. that's some forbidden oh. frontier. That is some yeah. forbidden Stuff frontier. Right oh, man. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was like no, a No, because that just reminded me of the bullshit. Oh, yeah. So if you're not aware. Why? Sorry. No, it's okay. No, Forbidden Frontier is fine. We love Adam Krigler. Oh, yeah. Champ, chomping at the bit. I think we might be able to sneak in a show this Sunday. I'm, I'm, I'll be in a hotel. We, we sneak it in. We can I sneak think we in. can sneak it in this Sunday. A cookie? Uh, yeah, but, sneak it in. Yeah. Cookie. But we were supposed to... Uh, we're still going to the Cosmic Summit. We're still going to go. Fuck oh, yeah. It. I'm going to go. I'm going to go see Randall, but Graham Hancock and uh, backed out, and Jimmy from Bright Insight is kept out. Yeah. I, I don't know... Well, that's not true. I kind of know what's up with one. Don't know what's up with the other. Uh, Jimmy will be on our show when? Oh, um, sometime in May. Sometime in May. Sometime in May. Sometime in May. I wasn't this. But he's 14. under an NDA. He's already talked about it on uh, on Twitter, and he can't say anything and whatever. But that like, sucks. I have every intention of bringing him on the show. We're going to talk to him about like uh, the stuff you want to hear. Yeah. It's really sad. We're seeing it through conservative media. We see this in ufology. This is why ufology fucking fell apart. Yeah. And now we're seeing it in uh, ancient civilization research, which I'm I hate really to see into. Infighting, man. So but uh, yeah, yeah, there's been a falling out between Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson. It's fucking no. sad. What? Yeah. <gasps> it's sad. Tread. Yeah, they're not talking. And uh, it's, it's I, 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 I tell those crotchety old fucks to get into a room and fucking work Hug it out. Work it out. Work it out. Be adults. Work that shit out because you, you have a lot of people who like both of you. And yes. quite frankly, you're better together. Kind of like pineapple pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. Man. Why'd you have to go there? You're like, better together you know, with you than you, said you are up. apart. You then, you, then you had to take it, it in this disgusting <laughs> freak way. And Don't fuck up. up my so awesome, gross. beautiful analogy. It was, it was awesome. It was you awesome until you brought that, that bullshit into okay. it. Okay. Sick. Subscribe to Dan Vask. <sighs> Uh, uh, subscribe Chris. to Nerd Rotic. So yeah. Subscribe yeah. to Dan Vask. You want a permanent, you want a permanent spot? You want a permanent singer? spot? Uh, I got two spots. <laughs> 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 right Jeremy's more. busy. Ah, oh, man. Dude, I, 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 this is it's crazy because I spend most of my time criticizing Dan Vask, but this is this has made me become a Dan Vask fan. So, ooh, snap. <laughs> wow. I prefer Bon Jovi over pineapple and pizza. So, so you are gay. Why are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gay? You're the one that's going to perform uh, a Bon Jovi song so, on me. <laughs> I know. No, I'm not. I'm going to be writing a song. The confidence. The confidence. Oh, what? He what? Four videos a year. Well, like for one. Oh, yeah. He's not going to get no toss a coin to your fucking Witcher from Witcher season three. <laughs> All right. I'm going to roast the shit out of that show. <laughs> I'm going to make multiple videos. He's going to have one shitty song to cover that he'll do better. I mean, like it'll I, be better than the show. Dan will do yeah, better, be better than, than the show. show. Let's be. That's real. why you yeah. should subscribe to Dan Van. No. And get him to one million no. today. What song would you sing if you had to pick today? If, uh, <laughs> I don't know all of them. You know what's fucked up is like it's literally, e literally yeah. every person, literally every person watching this show Blaze was already glory. subscribed to uh, to, uh, to Nerd Rotic, But you know, there's an opportunity. We there's can, some, there's yeah. some space Say, there. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to Dan Vash, you can go there. You're already subscribed here. What are you gonna do? You can take the look a look on his face. Means you may be uh, looking for a job soon. I don't work for him. So. I mean, I, I he's can't got a backup say job already. Yeah, um. I wouldn't say that. See, you hear that? <laughs> Ed two, Jeremy yeah. and Quarter Black. Hey. Ed two, God, John Quinnelly for sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Hail 60. to the fellowship. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. It's perfect. Uh, I have a great time. I had a great time at the meetup. Thanks to everyone who had uh, who made it happen, including Mrs. Nerdrotic. Wonderful to speak with Gary. Although I'm pretty sure I butted uh, to the front of the line boomer moment. Oh, a bunch of people did. A bunch of people did. Yeah, I, I was like, whatever. Like that's that's we, clever. We don't have any structure. Yeah, yeah. there's no structure. <laughs> and, man. I mean, I'm a firm believer. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm fine with it. Uh, John Quinnelly, for, like everybody. See, it's a fellowship. They're cool. Yeah, they're like happen? loaning yeah, each yeah, other man. money oh, yeah. and shit, giving each other. No, I never. But they were <laughs> no, they were doing. Hey, they man. were really cool. Like uh, you know, uh, if somebody needed help, there was help right yeah. there. Poor guy. I don't know. Oh, that poor guy who lost his phone at your show. Yeah, oh, he yeah. left it in oh. an Uber. Oh, oh. Yeah. no. Yeah, dude. I like that he waited till the end of the show to then go find his phone. 
Wow. He went to. He did he go to the show. The full mm-hmm. show. Yeah. Yeah. He watched the full show. Hope uh, Judicon. Hope he got it, buddy. That's yeah. the fellowship, right? There. He's hope a good he dude. Got he's, it. Yeah. He's been following us for a while. But somebody loaned him a phone like immediately. It was like, you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Uh, John Quinley for uh, continued. Uh, thanks to Frost for picking my ticket for one of the switches. Speaking with the legendary and gracious and probably very drunk Frank Gore, <laughs> topped off my <laughs> night. <laughs> Chris Gore. That has to be your drunk ego, alter ego name. Yes, <laughs> Get the Twitter account yeah. right now. My Vegas name. <laughs> Chris, uh, as I experienced in L.A. when we hung out, we were total yeah. bros that week. Uh, we were. Can, can roll with the best of them, man. I, I, I just you love just, people. Yeah. I love people. Whatever. Everybody's like, oh. Gore's coked out. I'm on no. Just on, he's just yeah. that's the way he is. Like high, high on he's energetic guy. I love it. Love it. As somebody who used to be really coked out. <laughs> <laughs> coked out. Uh, everyone, please watch the trailer for the fan. Uh, that the dude. How did you know that? Oh, maybe you brought it up. Popeye the sailor. Hey. Oh. The I'm fan. Look it up. You want to look? We could look it up and oh. watch. I mean, it's like it's fan film, but it's. Uh, I'm a huge <laughs> Popeye fan, so. I grew, uh, that, he was like my kind of my first hero when I was a little little kid. Before even Spider Man, I was watching Popeye cartoons all oh, the yeah. time. Aww. Tom Aww. Hatton, Wall. you remember Tom Hatton? Channel Five, Chris, were you there? No, you don't remember Tom Hatton? No, I don't. No. God, I'm more SoCal than you are. <laughs> well, I grew up in Michigan. Okay, and moved to Channel SoCal. Five, KTLA Channel. Uh, the chat will back me up. Tom Hatton used to play Popeye cartoons all the time. Uh, Popeye the Sailor. I have no involvement with it. The trailer makes me want to watch this movie more than the Batman trailer or the Flash movie. <laughs> uh, I saw it. You know what? It popped up after the Sisu trailer. Because I was watching. Uh, dude, I, Sisu looks Sisu, awesome. I've seen Coming it. Out. I've seen Sisu. Is it good? I see that. It's dude, so good. It it's so it's 93 minutes. And it's just. It's, he takes a pickaxe and like sticks on the bottom of the plate. Dude, that dude there's so awesome. many cool things. I can't. I want to watch just, it. The trailer, that's the movie. It's just balls out badass. That nice. comes out this week, right? Or it's out now. Yeah. It's out this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Check out. I season. have to see it on Sunday. I highly recommend it. I'm looking up that Popeye thing because I want to put it in my... Well, I like the definition, it. too. It's not a name. It's a word. It's a word for... It's a word. It's a Finnish word. It's a Finnish word for, like, not giving up, basically. It's like... Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. They, they show that at the beginning, and then it's like... Real simple. He's just taking his gold to the bank. That's it. Oh, oh sh- Whoa, no! <laughs> cut, to, oh, cut to the camera. Cut to the camera. Oh, Another. Oh, she fell oh, on the... Oh, the okay. I was... I, I, I'm eating a Starburst sneakily. And that's supposed to be candy. Oh, my God. Oh, I was throwing Man, my right, wrappers right. so nobody would see. And then I fell. Yeah, nobody <laughs> noticed that at all. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, oh, Chrissy, Frank are you okay? <laughs> Chrissy, are you okay? <laughs> You're all right. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. My 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 producer mode just kicked on. I was like, cut the camera over there. I didn't see it. <laughs> Sisu looks fucking awesome, and I can't wait to watch it. It might be my really favorite good. movie this year. It's really good. If it's just if it's just him. It's Fucking like up, like just in horrible ways. Just pure. Is it like oh, it's, gory it's as hyper shit? Hyper violent. Oh yeah. yes, over he, the top, ultra violent. Beautiful. He doesn't. The character, the lead guy, <laughs> has no lines. He doesn't talk. Oh, well, that's at, great. At the end, there's a little bit, but he doesn't speak, mm. and it's just awesome. Him battling Nazis. He, t- he tells his dog. He like he whispers to his dog. I guess you don't hear. Oh it. yeah, that right. He whispers to his like, dog. Dog to yeah. go. And go. the dog is basically saying, "Dog, go." You know, and yep. then he takes care of shit's business. about to go down so good then he stabs that guy in the freaking head yeah yeah, yeah right. like yeah. Oh, i was so good oh that's the beginning of the movie yeah it's yeah. like that's yeah it's so it's awesome man yeah. uh press tiled has gifted 50 neurotic membership 50 hundred and fifty dollars holy shit james russell for fifty dollars first super chat will be We'll be gentle mm. for you, glorious bastards. I see Ryan's Irish tan is coming in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, what's in the mug? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I've been seeing the. I see you in the chat. Um, <laughs> I, had, I had one high noon. I see and, you in the chat. And one. Coffee. I see you in the chat. <laughs> okay, okay, one coffee right chat. Now. Yeah, she had some coffee. Uh, <laughs> great show, and I hope to be at the next meetup. Hail to the fellowship. Hail FAT. Yep. Uh, for comics. <laughs> 
<laughs> like for Frodo. I get it. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. <laughs> An intro for the future. Why so heartful? Hi, Perry. <laughs> Uh, math 79 for 55 Canadian pesos. Yay! I grew Canadian. up Canadian or Canadian. 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 I grew up with TOS reruns. I embraced TNG. I love DS9, hated Voyager. And, yep, and I quit New Trek at Starfleet placing bombs on dead Klingons. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Mm. Yeah, th they. Uh, they conquered the Klingon homeworld by putting a bomb in the center of Kronos, and then uh, Mikey Burnham had an iPad, and she said, if you guys ever fucking misbehave, we'll press this button and blow up your planet. Wow. It's oh fucking stupid. God. That's Dang. dumb. Okay. It, no, so it's bad. It's mm. bad. It's bad. Horror Amara. Horror Amara. Horror. 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 For a hundred dollars. Thank you guys Woo! for the great time nice. and putting this together so we could meet up. I appreciate everything you guys put together for us until Matsuri. P.S. Hail to the fellowship and fuck the government. I love that. Yeah. 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 Fuck that government. Uh, I wanted to mention that I'm no longer on Twitch. I don't like that they don't care about my uh, about viewers or creators. I am now... Joror <laughs> Amarada. Really? Joror? Or is it the H is supposed to sound like a... a, a Ho, uh, the J yeah, is supposed to sound like a... It's like La Jolla? Spanish. Horror. Horror Amarata. Gaming on Rumble and not a cult on Locals. Ooh. Check out my short story and audio of the original Mermaid on Locals. Check it out. Ooh. Yeah, she's been writing Ooh. short stories and stuff. Nice. Or as comics says, stories. Stories. <laughs> 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 Gary's broke ass monitor. Oh, but you're still around. You're Making not in a junkyard. Comeback. Make it yeah. hasn't been recycled yet. For a hundred dollars on the Streamlab side, update on my life, Gary. After failing to be uh, being recycled adult toy, I was sucked through a wormhole into Lizzo's vagina <gasps> and oh, no. used to make the oh. card's android body. Once uh, a lot of space in there. One poor thing. Want to guess which part? <laughs> Love you all. Bon Jovi, Pearl Jam, and Springsteen suck. Pineapple pizza forever. I love you. Yeah. Boo. yeah. Horrific take. Horrific Boo. take. You like Bon Jovi? Like unironically? Like Bon Jovi's fine. I don't. I don't have a strong feel. They're like the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, everybody has a strong opinion on the Cowboys. I'm kind of whatever. So I mean, I like some of their songs. I don't. I don't. Have a passionate take either way, but yeah, fine. Bon Jovi blows. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I, I feel like I guess putting that much energy into them would be a more of a waste of time. Like I just yeah, I like some of their songs. They're good. I buy all the John Bon Jovi CDs and I just stack them up and I blow them up. <laughs> we should do that. Yeah, yeah. Buy everyone on a, on the stack. If by some miracle I lose this bet. I've got a plan. <laughs> I, a plan? I've got a plan. Should always have a plan. Okay. I've got a plan. You're part of that plan. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Subscribe to Dan Vaz. <laughs> no, no, no. You are part of the plan, my man. <laughs> no. So basically, you're going to help dig your own grave. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Remember that before. couch from the audition? It's coming back. It's making a big <sighs> comeback, okay? Uh, Bad Rememory Show has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. 50 <laughs> I really missed a great opportunity. That should have been like, I celebrate their entire catalog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> office space. Somebody just said that yeah, in the chat. Oh, like, oh, I wish I would have done it. Office space. Yes. 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 I celebrate their entire <laughs> catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Good for $100. Had a great time. You guys are amazing. By the way, Chrissy. I'm the same age as Nick DiPaolo. Thank you. Oh, is this the guy that I said looked like Nick DiPaolo? Mm hmm Okay. Mm. Cool, cool. Ooh. Is that a compliment? Um, yeah. I mean, yes. I, Nick DiPaolo is a great he's, comedian. Yeah, it just means you look like you're funny. You look like you're really <laughs> oh. fucking funny. And he's kind of one of the funniest people yeah, alive. I love so. Nick DiPaolo. Yep. I'm just saying he's not model material. No. No. But he's he looks like jacked. a guy who would be really fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty jacked. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Been, he's been yeah. working out. 
uh, WG on the stream website for one hundred dollars. WG, WG. Woo! Thanks for coming, man. Great hanging out, dude. Great hanging out with you. Hail Friday Night Tides. Had a great time, but the Soylent Green moment during the meetup when we figured out pineapple and pizza is code for swingers. The secret is out. Gary, you sly dog. Hashtag not another slide. Oh Makes a God. lot of sense now. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, okay. You know you what? See this right here? Pineapple. So that's what he meant when he said when it slides in, it feels good. I uh -huh. thought he was talking about the pizza. My oh, wife. Oh, why else do you think there's a hole in the middle of it? <laughs> My wife's. Oh, she was talking. Like, there's certain signs if you're if you're a swinger that you hang something outside it's your a house. Pineapple, right? it's a and pine one is like a, a star on your yeah. house. Yeah. So a pineapple does mean like. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of outside. It does mean you're a swinger. Yep. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> We didn't know that. <laughs> is that from your home, Gary? <laughs> All right, we just gotta get it's this over. It's your bad, your bad signal. Up. This is your vacation pineapple. <laughs> it's also my safe word. Uh, Nancy Drew in the case of the missing period for fifty dollars. Yeah, you chicks really like to joke about your periods at your shows, by the way. Not really. Not really, just all three just of you. Just all three of you. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned it. Sure you I don't did. think Chrissy mentioned period, but the, but Lila and the, the your host did. Keanu. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just sexist, so y'all sound the same to me. Anyway. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> hard to tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. The whole, most of the show was like the peanuts. <laughs> 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 Uh, they invade our space and we fall back. They assimilate IPs and we fall back. Not again! The line must be drawn here this far, no further. Titanfall 3 will be made if we demand a Titan mode and pilot character in Apex Legends. Preach, Brother Jeremy. Ah, uh, Titanfall 3. I don't know if Titanfall 3 will ever, will ever happen. Um, I actively don't want to play Apex Legends because that, that's kind of the reason we don't have Titanfall 3. But um, maybe one day. Respawn's got bigger fish to fry, like fixing uh, the latest Star Wars game that's broken as fuck right now. Um, so I guess they're not going to have which, time to work on it. Which oh, I heard that? about Jedi that. Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's the shit. sequel to uh, Fallen Order. And apparently, especially on PC, it's broken a as hell. Like, I didn't realize it like, even came out. Release. Yeah. So the game yeah. itself. Broken? The game is unheard yeah. of. So apparently, like the game itself, actually, there's a lot to appreciate about it, but it's just the functionality is just broken, which is not surprising from EA or a major studio to release a broken ass game. Apparently, they've made a statement on it. I just saw it on Twitter. I haven't had a chance to uh, read it yet, but apparently, they've made a statement. It's like. How about instead of making a fucking statement on a game that you released broken, how about just release the fucking game yeah. without it being broken? I, I, I don't know why we continue to find ourselves in these situations with these video games. Well, this but. is the problem with the internet, honestly, when it comes to gaming. Because there, it allows them to go and release a broken game and then do a day one patch. Back when everything was on CD, we didn't have this problem. Yes. And, and you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, I, I, look, I was the same way. I used to give people shit for playing Fortnite. And I play Fortnite a lot. People was like, oh, you can't play, believe you play Fortnite. Call of Duty's broken, Warzone's broken, Halo Infinite's broken, Titanfall is dead. What, what, what do you want to play? The only game that is worth playing is Fortnite because they actually keep the game up. It's the only it, it, online game that actually works. You know what isn't broken? Outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, non pineapple and pizza is not broken either. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah. just you know. Witcher Three isn't broken. Um, I think they had some issues when it first released. They, yeah, they, they did. did. Yeah. But they don't now because, well, it's been 20 years or whatever. <laughs> it's been 20 years. Uh, <laughs> Gary Gaming playing a game, over playing here. A game five good, was, years after it released. It was a good try. Witcher 3 is not broken. <laughs> All the kinks are worked out. CD Gary, Project Red would like, never release a Gary's, game broken. Gary's going to play Cyberpunk in like five years ago. Uh, Cyberpunk, that works perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smooth. <laughs> whatever. You don't buy a car in its first year of production. <laughs> ever. Okay? Exactly. Or a phone. Or Well, I did that. That. Yeah, what, but what, what, uh, have you seen this phone? It's insane. Did you it show is. them? Show them this okay. this phone. Here, should I show your so phone you, we, you your phone number? You, you want me to show you? You guys phone? know <laughs> the the Lord of Gary's phone. All of the text is massive. There's like three three text on the screen. Don't so he sure. gets a phone oh, that is two phone phones. <laughs> <laughs> really spreading it That's out. Great. That's the Z Fold, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Z Fold's actually a really good phone. It's actually a really good phone. Unfortunately, I found out, I got some bad news on over right. the Vegas trip, that uh, iPhones actually do stream better than Android. They 100% oh, do. Uh, if you're streaming from an iPhone, it's so much better than an Android. 
It's Damn. so much better. Uh, but streaming from your phone is gay, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't do it. No, it's uh, we have. So I have two Android phones, so I may have to make my uh, my backup phone the iPhone, and my primary still stays Android, so I can actually because we're going to be doing a lot of the IRL streaming. Shout out to CobraCast IRL, the number one stream on YouTube with IRL in the name. Um, but uh, <laughs> and, yeah, and so, CobraCast preceding it. That's right. Yes. So you know that's what it's that's what it's all about. But yeah, uh, uh, fuck iPhones, but they work. So you know it's all you can ask for, I guess. They get all the like. From what I understand, Apple gets all of the updates like first anyway. So even like in Twitter, Twitter Blue rolled out. Apple got it yeah. first. You know, Android always gets things. After the fact, hmm. so but no, oh well, I hate I, I hate Apple so much, but I love our audience. So if I can give you a better experience from an iPhone, I'm willing to do it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, S echelon. 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 Two on the Streamlabs side for. Forty dollars. Nice. Hail Friday Night Tights. Forty. Forty. Long time <laughs> listener. First time Ooh. donation. Ooh. Nice. Hello. Hey. Uh, you guys have helped. That's almost better than the ring. Ring. Yeah. Uh, you guys have helped me and my family through the rough times recently. Last weekend, I took my wife and in-laws to see The Covenant. It was an excellent movie. Please shout out. Uh, please shout out more Guy Ritchie movies or get more. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Is Henry it good? Cavill, Guy Ritchie's great. Henry Cavill's in the new Guy Ritchie movie. They just wrapped. So which one? Like there's good. two. It's like there's, a historical movie. It's like World War Two or something. Yeah. There's what about what happened to Argyle? Isn't that is that Matthew Vaughn? I think it's Matthew Vaughn. Yeah. yeah. Argyle's Matthew Vaughn. But I think that's kind of a bait and switch movie, to be honest with you, because it it's not about like Argyle. It it's about the author or whatever. Uh, Jade Scott for fifty, but yeah, no, uh, the gentleman really yes. fucking good. So, uh, Jade Scott for fifty dollars cash in. Uh, yeah. 50. Fifty, fifty. Dude, you're like a soundboard. It's like perfect every time. I know. Beardo's not here, so I, I have to. I have Teamsters, to, I'm still in Beardo. It's good. Case in point: Teamsters unions love supporting Democrats that push heavy DOT regulation for trucking companies across the country, but the film and TV Teamsters get special carve outs to ignore the same limits. Two hours, we can work per day. Evil. Yeah, the Teamsters are evil. They, they, they back Gavin Newsom, who just made like uh, diesel trucks pre-2011 illegal. Oof. Jeez. It's going to wipe out like uh, a third of the truck, if not half, of the trucking industry. Oh, and that uh, those, uh, those uh, Mexican folks he loves, pretends to love so much, they're done. They can't bring the... the so the whole like trucking from Mexico... Y'all right, got to have yeah. modern yeah. California, not U.S. compliant, yeah. California compliant trucks. We're going to cost you a fucking fortune. That's your boy that you're back. You get what you deserve yep. on that one. No, 100%. sorry, but not sorry. But I love the truckers. Just don't truck in California. You'll be fine. Uh, WG for $100. WG. <laughs> Thanks for the meetup, especially with all the veterans, and in particular, Adam, a.k.a. Vets Talking, who I met. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank Comics Culture George and the Salty Nerd Podcast. I just had a stroke. Podcast. <laughs> Podcast crew as well. Thanks again. Thanks, WG. Sorry thank about you. the stroke. Mid super chat stroke there. <laughs> I do it too, Gary. It's a not just stroke. you. Uh, Cassius for fifty dollars. Fifty. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm cashing in royalties for two geeks, 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 two gamers. <laughs> Something about family. <laughs> I'm cashing in royalties for two geeks, two gamers. Yes. Okay. So it's a joke. It's a joke about. Uh, so I I renamed our. Clips channel to Geeks and Gamers 2 as a placeholder until I decided like what I'm going to call it because we're going to do vlogs over there. Okay. So he super chatted on main event and said you should call it Two Geeks, Two Gamers, like Two Fast. Yeah, yeah, two yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. like, it's actually not a bad idea. It's a good name. That's a good two name. Game, yeah. Two do Geeks, it. Two Gamers. <laughs> I, do I, like it. I don't give a fuck. I named something Cobra Cast IRL. <laughs> the hell, I don't care. He just showed me two girls, one cup right before we went <laughs> oh, on no. the air. <laughs> that happened. I was about to make a, uh, a joke about that. Two Geeks, yes. One Gamer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jorgen Lope or Jorgen Lope? 
I like mm-hmm. Jorgen because it just sounds better. Jorgen Lope for $150. How is it? Are you drinking like three right, so, things? Okay. Like, what the fuck, Garrett? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. So I got the and he was mango. Passing, he was passing more he passed along me over the mango. Here. And I was like, ooh, this is good. We gave and then I got the, the, I got the lemon. Ones. And I was like, ooh, this is good. And they passed me another one. I was like, oh, I'll just drink it. So I drank it. Pineapple's and I, not good. It's yep. pineapple. No, oh, trick me with pineapple. Well, you should see when uh, Chrissy was yeah. trying it. He's like, oh, she was trying not to vomit. Like, yeah. she tried. And then they passed it. It was awful. And then I went. And then he passed, passed it to her. And then he passed it to her. He got over to me, and it's awful. Oh, so now, you, what was that uh, disease awful. you always you have that? Which one? Uh, mono? The one with the, the microphone one that you talk. HPV. Oh, that joke. HPV. Oh, nice. So now you got HPV. That was a joke. I know, but this is not. This is serious. But you do have AIDS now. We got pineapple. (laughs) Awesome. Awesome. Mountain yeah, yeah, Chrissy was talking about the sores she has on her lips. From like, I'm just <laughs> it's a joke. They're just they're just legions. They're not sores yeah. of memers. Um, oh, oh, yeah. oh. Shout out. That was funny. <laughs> Gary, here's my annual FNT subscription fee. My brother and I were to head to Vegas for the meetup, but we had to film some Apple TV show. Uh, so maybe in the fall. Of course, if you do not, if we do not meet up in Wisconsin, I will buy a Shirley Temple before then. Well, what's your Apple TV show? We're curious. Yeah, working on a show. No. Yeah, That'd be interesting. yeah. I got a free trial of Apple TV so I could watch Tetris, which was really you know good. What? Uh, good. I heard good things. Tetris is really, really good. There, there is somebody who watches the show and is a fan, and they are in a show. I, I'm not going to totally what? out Ooh. them. Ooh. That's in the top. 15 Nielsen ratings right yeah. now. Oh, that's good. So, hell, see, people are watching. Mm-hmm. Yep. People are watching. They want stuff to change. So, uh, good. Hail to that person. They know who they are. Uh, Sir Neof Strife for $100. Yeah. Honey. Nice. Uh, Gary says Dan only is able to release only one video, then Dan releases the metal version of Peaches. Uh, th- that's what, that's <laughs> did what he, he released did. it. If, uh, if, if, no, he's not out. It's not out. He needs to release it. That would be out. awesome. Yeah. Would, he, if he if he no, drops, he's this, just using me to drive up his subs a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he is. And he absolutely should. And you should and subscribe should to Dan. No. <laughs> Dude, if he drops if he drops a metal version of Peaches, oh, it's over, Gary. Does. It's over. over. He's going to. It's over. He said he's going to. I know. Over. It's just I'm I'm not I'm not fully committing him to it until it happens, but. It, oh, if he'll he do does it. this, it's going to be huge. He better hurry up, though. Yeah. Yeah, because he's, you got maybe a few more weeks of like it, it staying super relevant. Like, if Dan would have dropped this like the week of the movie, holy fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd be over. Yeah, Dan. Yeah. Screwed. yeah. So, I can't wait. Your, your I can't lazy wait ass was playing fucking Fortnite, and I hope you <laughs> <I hope laughs> can fucking. You know what? Go on Mario Kart seven nights yeah. a week. Yes, he wants <laughs> Yeah, he's going he's gonna to embrace Dan playing more video games now. Oh, just, hell yeah. Dan, just play yeah. Fortnite just with play Geeks Fortnite. and Gamers, man. Just take it <laughs> <Yeah>. easy, buddy. <laughs> it's all right. Got a video coming out Sunday. <laughs> Uh, Amy Johnson for forty nine ninety nine. Thank Amy. you. Uh, Fifty. Hail Friday night tights. Wish I could be there, but husband and I lost everything in a fire. Oh no! Oh, that's oh, shoot. We have uh, a thing for donations because insurance doesn't cover all the loss. Yeah. Contact me to verify. I love you all. Uh, while trudging the road to happy destiny. Hail FNT. And hail all. Yeah, email us. Email us and uh, for you. we can, uh, sorry, yep. I'm not clapping that your house fucking burned down. Gary at nerdrotic.com. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll deal. We'll uh, throw that out there. I think you have a GoFundMe, something like that. We'll help you. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine Snick has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. 50. 50. All right. <laughs> we're, right we're out of time. The rest will be read from the road. I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, not streaming on a fucking Apple device. <laughs> uh, yeah, he realized how bad of a spot he was. It's gay to stream from your phone, but hey, I'm going to stream from my phone on the I road. have to. <laughs> well, I actually have a tablet that I use, too. That I, I, this is the first tablet I've Getting owned ever. Yeah. Well, so I can read the Super Chats on the road. I can't read it on my phone. <laughs> Not, yeah, big Gary's not big enough. Gary's not big enough. Gary's gonna get a tablet for <laughs> his phone so he can read everything. <laughs> well, it's, it acts as a phone because it's got its own number and everything. So I have a separate line. You had to get a bigger Ooh. phone than the big phone you have. Yeah. Well, I can't read it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Size I'm queen. going blind and dying. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> 
we're all dying. Sorry, Garrett. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Glad you find that amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Garrett's coming for you next. Yeah. It always comes for everybody. He yeah. does. Well, he's a betraying motherfucker. I got knives all over my back. I got a Dave Aww. Landau knife right here, Aww. and I got a Dan Bass knife right here. <laughs> Just walking around. They're buried between my shoulder blades. It's okay. Gary. Bill's character. I still have your back, but subscribe to Dan Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. I love Dave Lando. He's fun. I want to say that. I love so Dave I. Lando. Uh, apparently, you do. He's great. He's yeah. great, dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just very happy to hear that his audition was much harder than there was a lot of blood and uh, screaming. And you cried. It was difficult it was screaming. So uh, I didn't cry. That made me so happy. What? Okay, what I didn't cry. Don't shame me. Did Jay call Chris Frank or something? He called yes, him. he did. Yeah. He yeah. called yep. Frank Gore. <laughs> and he Frank, Frank Gore. Gore. Just with full confidence. <laughs> Frank Gore, <laughs> you spilled a beer on me, Frank Gore. Back to the 49 <laughs> 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 no the, doubt at all. I see the meme, but then I saw the meme, but then I saw Jay respond. He just said sorry, and I'm like, did he call you Frank Gore like the football? Player? He did. Uh, uh, hey, Frank Gore was a great running back. Oh, he was yeah. awesome. Yeah. University of Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so uh, <laughs> only. So I'll read these probably uh, Sunday during the day. <laughs> Because Garrett and I are doing a little Forbidden Frontier Razor Fist kind of side trip on That's Saturday. Right. And uh, we may have a drone if, we, if that Maybe. works out. Might have some footage to show on Get the next some show. Drone footage. Yeah. That'd be uh, yeah. super fun. But uh, thanks everyone who's uh, left a donation. Uh, it, again, it will be read from the road. So look for Nerdrotic Live Sunday. I'll let you know on Twitter in the community section. Thank you all again. Uh, we got to get out of here, you know. Uh, and so let's go around the horn here, except for uh, Quarter Black. We don't need to hear from him. Oh. Uh, we'll start. We'll start with Comics Division. What do you got coming up? Oh, uh, I have uh, a uh, new video that should be dropping soon. As soon as it's done being edited, it's called "How to Save an Already Dead Franchise That You Killed the Disney Way." Yeah. Is that even possible? Well, apparently we'll Disney see. found a way with celebrations, so... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about Star Wars, so uh, right. it's, it's with Grant right now, and once, uh, once he's done with it, it'll be nice. out. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I got. Exodus. Goo. I want the gong so bad. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so weird not to hear it. Um, uh, let's see. She Poor said she wants the dongs. No, yeah, that's what I heard. I heard the dong. I like, heard, are we literally going to just let that happen? So the fuck? <laughs> we can't just let that happen. <laughs> we cannot just let that happen. That Friday face. night tight. Step it up, bros. Let's go. We can't allow something like that, that to be that said and bad. just not mean the hell out of it. Mark, I need you. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what? He's going to put Gonna bring the dog in. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, speaking of, I make a lot of poor choices, especially with right. birds. Nice. Uh, okay, that was good. Oh, that was good. Subscribe to that channel, uh, X Ray Girl, and I. Uh, maybe I'll play. There he is. There he is. The dog has arrived. Yes. <laughs> 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 Get out of here, paperclip. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, X-Ray Girl, um, I might play Conan on Sunday. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It depends on what time I get in. Oh, see okay. if you can so, fit it in. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to fit it in. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, that was great. Oh, do I get, a, I, I get to say something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Let's wait for the light to go off. Uh, hey, it's Quarter Black Garrett. You can find me on my channel. And... <laughs> I'm and I will be on the to a come show on. with Dave Landau starting in the end of May, Yay. possibly in June, more than likely June. Uh, Is he going to let you be funny? Or uh, what, hopefully, how's that work? We'll see. Dude, we'll, he better have a light I have for a, you. I have a strict <laughs> have so no funny. light policy in my contract. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not leaving FNT. I would never do that because I love these guys too much. Uh, so it's going to be fun. So uh, look uh, out for and it. He's not leaving me yet. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Well, that's it up depends to you. on whether that's Dan wins or not. You own him. Oh, wow. Do I have to beat Dan Vass for you to stay? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Go subscribe to Dan Vass. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's easy. I mean, he lives in Brazil. I can just hire a hitman. And it's oh, you just let the Jaguars get him. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> the Jaguars. <laughs> uh, Soldier Spirit. I might as well read this for $5. Great meeting everyone. Excited to have Ryan on Vets Talking, 
But don't bring Jeremy. He's a bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Had to read that one. Hell oh, yeah. Uh, speak. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Speaking <laughs> you, of bitches. Were you going to say speaking of bitches? <laughs> speaking of oh, bitches. No. Wow. Oh, better, better pull that back. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Better cut that up. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, you know, I roasted you once on Twitter. That's enough. With the uh, doll. So I didn't want to do it again. Oh. Okay. I'm going soft, okay? Sorry. I have that effect on men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you to everybody who came out. No, 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 no. I'm not letting that, I'm not letting <laughs> that one go either. Uh, <laughs> Perry Chan, he just screamed, I'm going soft. <laughs> I, so I, Perry Jeremy Chan's got a lot of, ma- yeah. Like I, Perry I, Chan has a lot of work, okay? A lot of work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank the you Legion to everybody of who yeah. came out uh, to the show last night. Really appreciate it. It was amazing meeting so many of you. I love these meetups. Uh, they're just a blast, and uh, I feel really grateful to be here. This is a really cool studio. Thanks for having me on this, guys. And uh, if you're in Dallas, come see me, Lila Hart. Keanu Thompson will be at Hyenas in Dallas, May 5th and 6th. Uh, and then after that, uh, I got Richmond, Virginia, August 9th, and um, Houston, August 11th. So go to ChrissyMayor.com for tickets. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, Chrissy. Yeah! Yeah! 50! <laughs> Perry, I see Just you in like the chat. I see you in the chat. How you We're doing, Perry? Screwed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to go to Jeremy or not at this point. <laughs> but I'm forced to. Where's Ryan? You have to. Jump get him. He's, yeah, get he's, Ryan. He's I'll go get him. He's dead. Um... In all seriousness, I really appreciate all of you guys for making this possible. I appreciate everybody on FNT making these. Like, I'm honored to be part of this. I have no idea how this happened. Hanging out in Vegas all this all this time, hanging out, meeting all of you. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. So thank you so much. Uh, it's just, man, every year we do stuff like this, and we always wonder how it's going to go. And every year it blows our expectations out of the water. So really, you know, the fact that Chrissy could put on her comedy show and we had – ton of people show up there we sold, sold out, out you know sold yeah. Out. yeah so it's just it's been great to be part of all of it and uh you know we'll never stop being thankful and we'll never stop remembering who put us in these positions uh and with that said i've been lying the whole time fuck dan vask subscribe to nerd drotting yeah! dan vask is a piece of shit i'm not letting it go <laughs> fuck that whale bone i'm right there with you yeah man. <laughs> it smells like Quarter Black Garrett farted in this seat. <laughs> it's because he did. Yeah. He did. Try the pineapple drink. Don't. No, I could be tricked like fucking Quarter Black. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pineapple You also get the sores that he left on there, too. <laughs> Whatever STDs. Uh, Ryan! Are we saying goodbyes? That we're saying our on? goodbyes. I've just been out there drinking. Um, yes, obviously, I'm sure everybody said the exact same thing. Uh, totally humbled by everybody that comes out here. Never, I, I don't think there's ever been a time for any of us walking into these things where we don't have that fear that eh, maybe we know to show up this time. <laughs> you <laughs> yes, know, like yes. we're just fucking normal people talking about uh, race swapping Little Mermaid and <laughs> Disney Star Wars and why is everything in Doctor Who trans? So yeah, it just means a lot that we have uh, that we're able to do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And awesome to have Chris Gore come out and talk, and of course and Robert Barnes and Frank Gore. Let's not forget and Frank, Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's not forget Frank. But yeah, and Frank Gore. This is awesome, and we will we'll see <laughs> you, we'll see you guys again next April. Yeah, every time That's we right. do these yeah. meetups, I, I feel like we're living on a prayer. Um, well, well, I will know, say we're, uh, we're halfway there. We're halfway to the Orlando <laughs> yeah. meetup in October. Yeah, so we are halfway to Fuck the next you one. All. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> yeah, it's now or never. Yeah, so, <laughs> don't you start? <laughs> we're not gonna live forever. I, I might come out for that. I might come out for that. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, uh, Chris Gore is just committed to coming out. I need to the Orlando. <laughs> meetup in October. He's committed to coming out the closet, though. Yeah. 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 Due to the economic uh, uh, downturn, nerd. Erotic has to fire 39% of its staff. <laughs> it's it, it's going to be a bad headline because you're going to fire all minorities because that's the only people you employ. <laughs> so, that's true. Yeah. Barry, you're next. Yeah. I might have to fire myself. <laughs> <laughs> to save face. <laughs> we have to fire at least one straight white male. <laughs> yes, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Boiled again. Yeah. My goodness. 
Uh, Robert Barnes, thank you for joining us, Hell man. Yeah. I yeah, finally Robert. got to meet you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. absolutely. Awesome meeting you. That was fantastic. You guys do a great show, do great work, and it's a great uh, constituency that you formed. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Glad he to knows what's up. Dude, thank you for coming. What do you got coming up? Oh, I mean, uh, well, we're just uh, doing cases all across the country and then uh, doing the Sunday show with Viva Fry. We'll be talking about uh, how Disney will lose bad to DeSantis in the courts, if the courts are honest. And I think at some point they will up on Sunday. So that's uh, live with Viva Fry on Sunday. Hell yeah. I love Viva. Viva's good. So thanks for coming on. Exactly. He's in America now. He escaped. I need to to get in touch with him. (laughs) Come on down to Texas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, our special guest, Frank Gore. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Former 49er. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the third leading rusher of all time. Yeah. Hall of yeah. Famer. First, yep. I, I want to thank Robert Meyer Burnett for not showing up. Uh, right. <laughs> giving me more time to talk, which Rob is live streaming now talking about The Flash. Uh, so... I'm going to fuck with him. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here. Like The meetup is so much fun. Meeting everybody there, just talking nerd stuff. That's why my voice is the way it is right now. Lose my voice just talking to everybody and just like always great to just connect and, and talk to everybody here. I'm fans of all you. I was watching you since way back when, when FNT first started, the secret origin of FNT. You know, everybody got bitten by a radioactive Gary and, and <laughs> got their superpowers and FNT was born. But uh, no, just truly thank, uh, just appreciate being a part of it. And uh, and thank you. And I'll I'll be back. I might be in Florida. I would definitely be back next year. Florida, if the dates work out, I'll go to that. And I'll be back next year. And Gary, thanks. You're just an amazing host. And thanks everybody. Uh, my channel's Film Threat, not Frank Threat. <laughs> <laughs> so look up Film Threat. Subscribe. We're trying to get to 169,000. That's Ooh. our next goal. Yes, nice. We crossed 69,000. Yeah. That's nice. My uh, co-host, Alan Ng. My just, dad! Your dad. Uh, yeah, his favorite thing to say is 69. So, yeah, uh, check out Film Threat. And check out my documentary, Attack of the Doc. I made it for fans, for everybody. And because I think that, you know, look, I expect politics to always be divided. That's just the nature of politics. I didn't expect we, we'd be divided over all this nonsense happening today in pop culture. So this matters to me. Because one of my favorite things is to just talk. Even if we disagree, I don't care. I love the conversation. Yep. And that's what's great about this show. So thank you for uh, having me be a part of it. I'm, I'm really humbled by it. And I'm losing my voice, and I need more high noon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I've been drinking Frank all Gore, show. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Dude, you remember, Gary, you remember the first time you told me that like Chris Gore was watching us? So we were in San Diego. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Chris Gore knows who we are? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. And I'm like, that yeah. is crazy. That's when you guys went to Galaxy's so. Edge and you hated it. Yes. It was, it was, it was <laughs> yes. hilarious. Yes. That was, you met Ryan there. That was the yeah. same weekend that I went to yeah. a little meetup that was about eight or nine people yeah. back yeah. then That's in 2019. Yep. Summer of 2019. Now it's doubled. Crazy. Yes, yeah. now it's double. Yeah. Now we've got two dozen people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and seriously, thank you to everyone who flew out here to be with us. This yeah. is just it's you're, so you're, amazing. You're welcome, comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for helping me get out here, too, guys. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, and w- w- one thing we hate, that's why like, I, I tried something different this time. I know that we're not going to get to meet every single person that probably wants to meet us, or at least you can't spend much time there, but... We try our best, and, and we know that – I hope no one you know, felt like their time was wasted by coming out here, that we're wanting to come to the meetup. I hope you got to meet someone, the person you were looking for. Uh, hopefully you got to see Chrissy bending over in front of Jay. Uh, there's a new <laughs> picture, <laughs> apparently. Uh, I'm trying no, to find it there is, now. There is also oh, – no, saw- there's a clip somewhere of Chrissy <laughs> bending over in front of me when I was pretty drunk at what? the meetup. Yeah, I think he has that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I may or may not have been humping you oh. from behind. But I think we're both oh, drunk, so it doesn't greeting. matter. Yeah, I just yeah. we were just saying hi. <laughs> like dogs. Okay, to- <laughs> have some weird traditions. Uh, I can't find it, but that picture is pretty good of you with the with your face like. Oh my God! But there's a better picture. I, I wish we could. I could find it, but it's someone taking it from the front, and you're bent over, <laughs> screaming, and Jay's behind you, and it looks. Yeah, he's behind signing, yeah. and you're just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It's my favorite sex position. The autograph. <laughs> <laughs> the autograph. <laughs> <laughs> we already got a Frank Gore meme. Way to go, Fat, <laughs> <laughs> fat oh, yeah. Steven. Yeah, that was like an hour ago. They were fast. <laughs> so, hello, my name is Frank Gore. There you go. Now we just need like an image of actual Frank Gore superimposed on like a film threat live stream. <laughs> that's, a, that's a race swap you don't see go that direction ever. That, that is, is crazy. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> You're going to get Netflixed. <laughs> Cleopatra. Oh, should I tell oh, that man. story real quick before we go? Yes. What story? Oh, it's going to be terrible because I don't know the, the UFC fighter's name. There's a UFC fighter. Uh, USC? UFC. Okay. UFC, okay. not USC. Okay. It sounded like you said USC. I, well, I, I didn't go to school. So. <laughs> so I don't know letters. I don't know letters. Good. Okay. <laughs> I, a guy who streams with a UFC fighter who I've... Sorry, not I'm not in the UFC. They were just he was telling me an anecdotal story that this guy he's got a lot of followers. He's guess he's well known. Netflix optioned his uh, story. That's right. And it's a, it's a you know it's a it's a per- story of perseverance and uh, you know he and his wife had three kids and uh, the first pitch uh, they wanted to make Dana White a woman. And what? Uh, what? Wow. Yes. To be fair, they Dana. Have to yeah. change the name. Gender yeah, neutral I name. Mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then the other part was like his wife was, uh, if I'm out there telling it wrong, dude, sorry, but I'm, I'm like, you were telling it to me at the meetup. And he's like, yeah, the next pitch was his wife is like doing the training with him. She's got the pads up and he's all done. She's yeah. like his Mickey. <laughs> you know, oh it's fucking God. Netflix adaptations. Man. You're They're talking about the fighter's the wife, not, the fighter's Dana, wife. not Dana White's wife. Right? No, no, no. Dana's okay. wife, she was the punching bag. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, she started it. She started it, to be fair. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, too soon? No, I, is this the wrong town to make a joke like that? It, it's actually not. In, Am like, I going to make it out of town that, now? Is that a headquarters that is, close by? Yeah, it is. Right and that is, that, is like one of the, that is one of the best ways you could have possibly handled that shit. Both of them drunk. She did something stupid. He responded. And he owned it. He's like, hey, this is what happened. I, I'm not. I'm not fucking stepping down. I'm not doing anything. It's uh, Dana White is the template to handle it. almost any situation. Yep. I showed a clip of him when he was on with some ESPN guys, and they were like, "Do you ever, ever get any pushback for being friends with Trump?" He says, "I don't give a shit." Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna say yeah, after that? That's great. Yep. That's how you have to handle all that. I don't yeah. give a shit. Uh, that's how you have to handle it. So Dana White. You know, he, he owns his mistakes, he moves on, and then there's no lingering bullshit that that comes along Respect. with it. So, yep. Respect. I, I have this fucking celebrity's poop thing. I've had it right next to me <laughs> with Chris Gore. With his freaking. I love it. I Chris love Gore it. with his mini Hitler stash behind me the right. whole time. All right. Whispering well, in my ear. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching uh, Friday Night Tights, everyone. Uh, thanks to Perry Chan for the intros. Thanks to the Mod Rodics, who always do a great job. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. I got a video coming out on Sunday. And thanks to everyone who came up to the meetup. Uh, I can't express my gratitude. It was completely past expectations. And the best part is seeing all you guys hang out with each, with each other. And, you know, we, we made Chrissy's show, and somehow a bunch of you managed to get from Chrissy's show to Fremont. I don't know how yeah. the fuck we did that. We're like, well, let's meet in front of the Golden White Nugget. Castle. In front of White Castle. And we managed to meet most everybody there, and we hung out for another couple hours. That's awesome. So it's been a ton of fun, and hanging out with uh, all you guys is the best part of my year. It's the best part of this job. So thank called, you all. I called Gary last night, and y'all were out there, and all Gary goes, I can't fucking hear you, you piece of shit, and I hope you got home okay. Go fuck yourself. All right, bye. That's all he said. I'm like, oh well, see you later. I, didn't know. <laughs> I saw you, you call. I mean, should I pick it up? I'm not going to be able to hear a fucking word he says. Aww. He just so screamed at me. I was just screaming. <laughs> And Frank Gore screen too. Yeah, so Frank. Yeah. Frank Gore's like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Attack of the Dock is. Heck yes. a, 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 you have to see it. Yes. You have to see it. It is really brilliant. Yes. So please uh, buy it. Yes. Please buy it. Uh, but until next time, everyone, uh, we'll be back here next year. This week, of April, we'll be back and uh, we'll be back in our homes uh, roasting each other from the comfort of our chairs where we can fart, fart away in. <laughs> And not have to uh, hold our farts. Yeah, quarterback Garrett clearly didn't. So. <laughs> I think that's more of a shark. Yeah. So, oh, ciao, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Good night, everyone. Bye, Hail. everyone. Hail to the fellowship. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Sticky Balls. Shout out to...
Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs>